guys, mm. let's see if we could get 30% dislikes. <laughs> exactly. <on this> <laughs> and we'll give it tomorrow we'll give away his car to a fan. <laughs> it's not no, I won't. Yep. The more dislikes we get, the more likely Tomar is to give away yeah. his car. Every every one if it's a hundred percent dislike <laughs> why do you if want it's a hundred percent dislike, Zia has a hundred percent chance of giving his car away. How is this claim in any way beneficial to Oni Plays? Because when you signed the Oni Plays contract, you didn't read the whole thing. That was in it. <laughs> that was in it that I have to give my car. Oh, there's a lot more you don't know I about. I have to give my car away if if enough people dislike our, our witch hunt video. <laughs> I think we should start a new series where we, we buy a boat and we just sail the seven seas. We just sail the seven seas. We can fight Somali pirates and stuff. That'd be so fun. Sh shoot back with an AK-47. Oni sails the seven seas. <laughs> yeah. Uh, first destination, Somalia. I Minecraft! Oh yeah, set up more torches outside. Um, what did you just say to I me? I said please set up more torches outside. I agree please. with Tomar. Torches are outside. Torches are coming. I do have 19 of them, alright? Okay, okay, let's write the new episode of the Mandalorian. I'll, I'll be this, the alien, It'll just make this place easier to find. Tomar, I'll be Good the Mandalorian. You be the Mandalorian, Tomar. Chris, you be Baby Yoda, and I'll be a cool alien. I'm right, Baby this, Yoda? Yeah, yeah, this is the new okay. coolest, this episode... Whatever, whatever this comes out, it's the one after the one you've already seen. All right, all right, go. Usa makika bazaka la kabuga biba zoga makaliza banga ziga la banjo bagila jagalu ziga banga zaga Mandalorian zabiga zonga baziga zagonga zabazabalak. Ashiga balonga zabiga. I could bring you in warm, or. Or lukewarm. Oh, gaza mega boga! Let's play with Chris. What's Baby Yoda say after that? He doesn't uh, say a word. That's yeah, literally his entire character. Yeah, he does make cute little noises. <laughs> <laughs> his little chest rises and falls. <laughs> his eyes squint. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, look at this. Oh, God, I think <laughs> Disney, please make me a the alien, Mandalorian. Please, oh please! If you get an actual gig out of that, I'll be pissed. You'd be t <laughs> Why would you be pissed? You'd just be jealous? Yes! <laughs> I, I, would, I would have two big fucking bug eyes, two big alien eyes, like, coming out of my head, like the little sticks, like slug eyes. <laughs> Snail eyes, that'd be fucking cool. Well, at the end of Titanic, do you think the old lady should have thrown herself into the ocean rather than the jewel? Yeah, or she should have, like, sold it and given her kids, like, some inheritance or something. She could have bought the ocean with that thing. She probably <laughs> could have. Can you buy the ocean? Uh, you, you, yeah. You can buy stars for, mm -hmm. like, a few dollars. Unless it was weird contraband where if she l tried to sell it, she'd get in legal trouble or something, then sure, throw it into the water, but... I don't know. Why mm -hmm. not? You, you can make the this. gold into, like... Ice cream or, or cheeseburgers or something, and sell it to Buzzfeeders, and they'll uh, they'll make videos like is one million dollar cheeseburger versus five dollar cheeseburger. I would that's actually she, watch that. That's what she should have done with that <laughs> brooch. Hey guys, how about this? Every time we we make a joke and it doesn't land, we all just use this canned laughter. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you That's know, my like, natural laugh. We know what the audience thinking that we're not laughing 24-7 or else they're not going to watch. If, okay. If we're not laughing, yeah, if we're not laughing why, we, why should they think we're funny? Constantly, yeah. Okay, let's make a joke then. Okay. Um, uh, why did the cat cross the road? Um, to... To get to its human parent. <laughs> Tomar, Tomar, I respect the hell out of you, dude. That was classic. <laughs> <laughs> My respect for you Just what you'll be is too. in the danger zone. Yeah. <laughs> the little dial is pointing to the red and it's vibrating really hard. <laughs> is that a good thing? Or bad? You don't want to know, dude. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the? What? Oh, I guess it is just an invisible horse or All right, something. That's, that's stupid. <laughs> that's it's stupid. Not. That's, <laughs> that's what upset you. That's really dumb. But it's magic. Why is it dumb? Because why would he have to pretend there's a horse to? <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> <It's pretending. laughs> All right, let's make up a new kid show. Uh, we'll do that. We'll do the pitch, okay? Okay, Donnie. The. Oh uh, God. Sacrificus. Sacrificus. Johnny the sarcophagus. Yeah, that. Uh, <laughs> episode one. The opening shot. Uh, the the corpse that was in Donnie <laughs> is removed for uh right of excavation it's for like, cleaning. Yeah. And they open it up. 
Wait, I think there's someone in here. Whoa. <laughs> no, Don Donnie feels sad. Oh my god, there's like an avalanche of fat right now. Donnie is sad. It is an avalanche of fat. Yeah. Oh my god, dude! Oh! Oh. <laughs> Shit. Donnie is greeted by a talking scarab! <laughs> who does what? Who does what? He's wacky, he's a character! A talking oh. scarab? What the f*** are you talking about? He's a sarcophagus! He's a sarcophagus! And then... Oh my god. So what's a regular episode like? Um... Sarcophagus has a problem, he needs to be embalmed with one of his possessions, and he, he needs to get it back, yeah. He gets embalmed every episode. Yeah, they, they forget- they forget Isn't to the bury him- Isn't that sarcophagus? It's the thing that holds the mummy. Yeah. So he needs- <laughs> he- the mummy- he's not the mummy, he's the sarcophagus. Yes, that's what I'm saying. So he, he's getting polished. In fact, the mummy inside the sarcophagus gets taken out, that's not even part of the story, it's really the sarcophagus. And he never comes back, and he, and he feels empty without him. Yeah. yeah so, this... so he's just trying to chase this guy down? <laughs> Look, man- Put him under a pyramid? Yeah. Look, man, things it's... haven't been the same since, uh, we parted ways. I'm just looking for my friend, King Tut. I don't know, maybe you call me stupid or laugh at me or whatever, but it's just how I really feel. I think I screwed up. What? You'll see. It'll- I'll be in hell soon. I can't wait to fucking die and burn. Wait, Chris, don't say that. I want to be in a boat. Got it, we gotta continue. Tomer, when oh, I die, nice. you gotta make sure this happens, okay? W make sure what happens? Uh, when I'm dead, my body's put in a boat, and you shoot an arrow onto my body oh, and no. burn me. I fucked up. Damn it! You still did pretty good, we gotta Is that continue. a proper Viking, uh, burial? Yeah, but I want you to, uh, dye my hair blue, make me really fat in death, and then call it a <laughs> funeral. <laughs> A funeral. Yeah. Isn't that a good idea? Yeah, I feel it like is. it's. Chris, take me up! You, you can't cancel me when I'm dead, you f. <laughs> I, I know. I, that's, I was just thinking of the beauty of that. Yeah. It's like y you get the ultimate handicap, like, like, uh, purity spot in that you're dead and people have to respect the dead. But they'll find a way to get me still. <laughs> They're gonna CGI me in the Chris, movies just to fuck with me, yeah? Fly me up. Fly me to the moon. You know, yeah, your funeral's probably gonna have the Westboro Baptist Church protesting outside <laughs> it. No, it's okay, but you just got a bunch of hits in for me. I'm the Westboro Baptist Church? No, what? they're gonna be- they're gonna be picketing outside yeah, do, your do funeral. It again. Do I knew it, it was those guys. Fly me again. Wait, there you go, yeah, you can oh, fly. Can just... They're gonna be all holding signs that say, Chris O'Neill is going to hell! <laughs> and I'm gonna be like, yeah! Yes, I am! <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to just yank on his whiskers and see how mad he gets. Right, Tomar? Pull out his ears, yank out his tail. He is kind of a cutie. Try to ride him. He looks like Scooby-Doo as a cat. Scooby, I, Scooby I, cat. I know that I should never pet him, but, like, I can dream. I can imagine petting him. Tomer, you could like, uh, you, you, you could defoot him. You could defoot him and de him. Why would I want to defoot him? No, no, Tomer, if you oh, saw his, if you saw, saw his legs off, he couldn't cat. hurt you. You can defoot and de-mouth him so he doesn't have teeth or claws. De-eye him, de-eat him. And then you can like, you can love him as much no, 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 as you want. If he can't eat, if he can't eat, if he can't smell, if he can't taste. You can detail him, de-ear him. De <laughs> no, de him. detail him? De-eye him, de-nose him. De-brain him. De-brain him, de-skull him. No, no, you're just butchering the poor thing. <laughs> At no, this point, you're, you're parcel, just hurting him. And just parcel him out into, in into, like, into like 30 pieces. <laughs> he's simply in pain now. <laughs> he's, de <laughs> uh, he's no longer a cat. Don't throw up your hands in anger. Guys, oh, by the way, I know I'm, I'm not playing very well, but I need the audience to understand something. Yep. So I've never said this before. You need to say it. I need to say this. Here and now. When I'm laughing and having fun, I cannot focus on the game. I'm sorry. And I really mean that. I'm so sorry. And you can just buy the quote he said on Chuck Robot Doc and we'll put it on a shirt. Yeah. <laughs> we should put that on a shirt. <laughs> then more people will know how then hard it is. They'll fucking get what we do. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe then they'll realize when they see it in their faces. So I remember when you were like a little kid and all the adults rush into the room and start slapping you really hard? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, what's with that? It builds character, that's the whole point. They just don't explain it to you because once they explain it, it doesn't work anymore. Oh yeah, like yeah, your parents, they throw a party and they invite all their adult <laughs> friends over and they all just take turns like socking you in the face. It's really yeah, weird. putting cigarettes out on your tongue. It's the yeah. passed out like... You know, info from generation to generation that you can't write down because if the kids find what you write down, none of it will work anymore because you figured it out. So, Pretty smart. Start hitting your kids. 
Start stop. kicking my, start, <laughs> stop. Stop saying it like it's advice, please. Stop. Or start kicking their legs out from underneath them and pouring water on their heads. Yeah, make sure you sweep kick them too. Don't just give them a yeah. little soccer don't, punt. Don't you do this. Get, yeah, you gotta spin a hole at don't least 180 this, degrees, guys. maybe 360 degrees as you sweep their legs out from under them. Yeah, crouch down to the ground, put your hands on the ground, and do a cool ass ninja kick. Wait, did you did you see that? It said like bitches here. Uh, I thought I said bitch be near. Oh, maybe. I'm probably just imagining things. I was sorry, I was just like really transfixed on the idea of like sweep kicking a child. <laughs> There's something very satisfying about the image. Cause you imagine it would give them a lift, right? Like you just fly them up in the air. Please go to Egypt. Please, Lyle. Well, I'm only ever gonna beg once on my hands and knees. And it's to, and it's to please go to Egypt. I wanna see Lyle drawn in the Egyptian style. Circumcising people. Guys, can you please Photoshop Lyle circumcising people on an Egyptian... <laughs> like a hieroglyphic? Like a hieroglyph of, of, of Lyle in the year 3000 BC circumcising himself. Yeah, also, make sure that my facial expression, I, I clearly don't know what I'm doing, like, have like a handkerchief and I'm like rubbing sweat off my forehead. Yeah, he's going, like, oh, fuck. Corey, I've got a good idea for a parody. Mm -hmm. Sonic walks up to Big, right? Yeah. And he puts his hand on Big's belt. All which right. he absorbs because it's a ring, and then his belt drops and his big floppy <laughs> falls out. That's a really good idea. Are you listening, That's Sonic? The Sonic shorts. Good. That is so good. That's actually good. And the floppy <laughs> just like smashes Sonic and makes blood mean sprays for this, everywhere. But, uh... Wow. That is a brilliant idea. I'm surprised nobody's done that no, yet. How do you know why they call me big? That's untapped potential. <laughs> I'm the stick woman. Bye. <laughs> That's actually the main character. That's the real Frey. Game changes to her perspective. <laughs> you never can go back to Frey. <laughs> Frey gets killed with a rock. What if she walked those sticks into Frey's face and her eyes are just like stuck with sticks now? Tomar. What? If you could get, and I know this is gonna, you're probably not even gonna be. Situation. Government comes here and says, Tomar, you've got this $600 stimulus check. You know, we know you're excited for it. Instead of getting it, you know, three months from now, you're gonna get it today. But the condition is you have to come in and we use our technology for the movie face off and we have to replace <laughs> your face with Jake Uger for Jake Uger. For one month and then you go back, but that means you get your stimulus check oh. today. Actually Wait, tomorrow. Who's Jake Uger? Is he one of the young turks? He's, he's the young turk. He's so, the young He's so, the guy with the head. He's I the see. The head. One month, would you do it? Would you would you live with that face? Would I have to live as Jake Huger for one month, and what do I get in exchange? Oh, uh, your stimulus check. Did you use a whitewash? I just, I just get an early stimulus check. No, the okay. early stimulus check. Not the, a early stimulus check. The early stimulus. So I'm the only one, who, and it's how much? Six hundred bucks, and you're getting it tomorrow as long as <laughs> no! you get reconstructive. For <laughs> six hundred dollars? Yes. Would get reconstructive surgery look like anybody? <laughs> and you get to Prince in the Popper situation with Jane Yeah. yeah. Can you give me some better stakes? Make you this get to an sit right one? next to the Anna Casper. Yeah, I, I, I don't think you're fully. And hang out this. with her and give her high fives. Look, it's a chemistry set. What if you could make a new element? What would it? What would it do? A Chris. new element? Yeah, if you could make like a new like, fucking, like radiation or a new like just just element like metal that could do something <laughs> like it have its own kind of power. Um, I would make grow more seam. <laughs> what would it do? You sprinkle it on something and it grows real big. <laughs> that sounds real. I sprinkle it on my balls. <laughs> Tomar, one of these days when you're asleep. I'm gonna break it and inject cooking oil into your head. You've done well. Cocking oil? We'll cooking oil. Medicine. Cooking oil? Yeah. Hurt okay. I'm gonna deform no. Tomar. <laughs> what? Wait, what? <laughs> Why would you do that to Tomar? I don't know. It just seems like he wants- he needs so something. So when he- when he has his morning, uh, his morning thing where he- he takes his head and puts the top of it in the toaster oven, all of a sudden the cooking oil starts to boil and he goes, Oh, what a prank! This is a silly prank, okay? What a prank. I have been pranked. If I was Sonic's friends in this situation, I'd be really mad. Why? Cause it's like, oh really, you're the one who's not like phasing in and out, Click really? the vaults from the portals. What are the odds, Sonic? Again, we all have to fucking rely on Sonic. Mm. We have to have to stand around in an empty field while you run around, that's fucking awesome. What the vault things are up here? And it, it is because they know him too. If I was all of them, I'd be like, look, I can't hang around with you anymore. Whenever, like, whenever bad shit happens, it's usually cause we're with you. Yeah, we we're together. And, uh, sorry, I just, rep. I don't want to deal with it anymore. Yeah. 
Yeah, like I appreciate. Like, well, son, like, I thought we were fucking friends. Look, dude. we are friends, <laughs> but I don't want to put up with this shit anymore. And I just want to have a normal life. I mean, like, if you think about it, Sonic has to put up with so much shit, and now he has to save his friends from cyberspace? Like, when does he get a break in all this? I'm just saying that if, if he wasn't their friend, they wouldn't have to deal with this shit. That's true. Sonic needs better friends. Sonic needs no friends. He needs to accept that he puts people in danger and he needs to be a lone wolf. That's also what I was thinking. He is a bit <laughs> of a lone wolf. Sonic the Wolf. Now that's a that's game. That's a good game. <laughs> you should make a game where he like turns into that and has stretchy God of War arms. That's a good I'd idea. play that one. Tomar, did you know how to guess someone's penis length like with 100% accuracy? <laughs> how? The space between their eyebrows. It's always the same. <laughs> so wait, does fetal alcohol syndrome give you a giant dick? Yes. No, it's the, sp it's the space between your eyebrows is, is your flop size. Are we talking girth? No, length. Yeah, I'm trying- Wait a minute. I don't know if that checks out. Well, on mine it does, but... <laughs> <laughs> this sucks. What do you mean? <laughs> I think people... who settle and just have a good old time, no matter what, those are the people who are the happiest. Yeah. People who focus on work all the time aren't very happy. I agree. And that's so why I'm gonna kill myself tonight. Let's do a suicide pact, the three of us. I'm down. What, what's the, what oh. are the conditions of the suicide pact? If I want to die, I'm taking you with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Zach. And yes. Lyle. Yes. Uh, we'll be the Beatles. And we'll improv them writing a song. Let's write a song. I'm going to write a song about... Okay, what should it be about? I've got to make something about women. Okay, Let's so the first word is women. Okay, the second word is ah. Uh. The third word is ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say the next word. <laughs> Go ahead. Go it's, ahead. On, it's on you. I, I can't think of anything. <sighs> What's the closest thing to What's me? What about losers? No, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> we can't say that What about monuments? Women are the monuments. Women are the, the monuments tomorrow. <laughs> Women, are, Women the are the monuments to love. <laughs> All right, so let's start with a C. Women are the... Crumbling like monuments. Oh. Right, let's try the other word that we were going for. Oh, you mean? Sorry, guys. We kicked the Beatles out. They were causing some fucking ruckus. <laughs> they were being fucking crazy. <laughs> they, we said, "Get out of here, Beatles." I said, "Fuck you, <laughs> fuck you. Suck me off and make me cum. Suck me off, make me dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Suck me off and make me dinner. Tastes like apple cider vinegar." You know what I would say to Jill? What? Will you be my Valentine? <laughs> that would never work. It would. It would. She's, like, like, eh, she's gotten I, that I from drew. every every fucking weird coworker she's ever had. Okay. Uh, and it works every time. If yeah. I went up to Barry Burton and said, will, will you be my Burton? I'll, I'll be I'll be a squirtin'. <laughs> He'd suck your ass for sure. <laughs> suck on my ass? I don't want that. Chris well, Redfield. Then you shouldn't have opened with that great opener. If I went up to Chris Redfield and said, if there's grass on the field, make it red. <laughs> I want to direct a Resident Evil miniseries. Yeah? But I want it to be about, uh, Wesker's daughter. Okay. And, uh, she hates her dad. Cause he's, he's, he's too mean. And evil? She's good, she's pure, she can do anything. She can do anything without <laughs> the T-Virus. <laughs> alright, alright, so maybe not a great time to scan at that moment. Yeah, you know what, you deserved it. I like the sound that made. It literally was like a cartoon punch sound effect when it got you. Boy. Have you guys seen Honey, I Turned the Kids into Slime? <laughs> yeah, I've seen that one. So fucked up. Is, that, Honey, like, is that like the third or fourth he one? He spends the whole movie trying to unslime his kids and he just can't do it and he just Rick gives Moranis up. Rick Moranis does? He cries and then the did movie you ever ends. See, uh, did you ever see that? Uh, similar to what you said, Chris, did you ever see that horror movie called like Slime where it's like people get eaten by the slime the and they blob. get- Yeah, they get like dissolved and turn into like pink skeletons. I love Chris your- said that, that movie is horrible. <laughs> well, did you that ever movie see, is scary. Did you ever see Honey, oh no, our kids are on Epstein Island. <laughs> Such a good classic yeah, movie. Yeah. And they made a ride out of that. Honey, too. I shrunk our kids and then they went to Epstein Island. Yeah, after honey, that. I shrunk our kids on the boat to and Epstein right Island. And then right after that, they got shipped off. <laughs> I got that, a lot of explaining to do. You, did, you missed the sequel of Honey, I blew up the kids on Epstein Island. Yeah. I got two- I got two parts bad news. Part one, I shrunk up. What's worse than that? They're on Epstein Island. That's What's not it? all. 
<laughs> oh, we have a great ball. And when you're in the line at the theme park, Prince Andrew's there. If we run into another wild onyx, I'll use <laughs> That's it. That's truly the best idea for a movie. He's honestly. sweating up a storm. We're like uh, putting his hands up. You get to wade through his sweat. Is it? Do you think you could get the rights to the concept of Epstein Island now that he's dead? They could be a good rights to the concept. I don't think he. What? Think he, I don't think what he. Does that mean? If you wanted to make a documentary about, let's say, Epstein yeah, Island, you're allowed you think, to. <laughs> they have to buy the rights from him. You have to get. <laughs> You have to ask Jelaine. Because he's Jelaine. most certainly still alive, yeah. <laughs> there should be a Mobility Mary type Devil May Cry game. Where you're doing combos with her, like, mobility scooter. <laughs> Can you move? <laughs> Excuse me, sir! I, lo <laughs> I love it when that when that lady almost hits her in the car. She goes, OH MY GOD! And she goes, better you, or better me than you! And she goes, I'm sorry. And she goes, GO Let's AWAY! Go away. <laughs> well, better it hits me than hits you. No, go away! I kind of wish, uh, they put out new versions of the Bible with modern speak. I wish they put out new, ver new episodes of the Bible. I want new stories. Reboot it. Uh, the Bible told every story, like The Simpsons. No, no. Hollywood makes everything better. Reboots are always better than the originals. So let's have Hollywood reboot the Bible. I want I want that to be a t-shirt. Yeah. Bible did it. How come Dr. Eggman doesn't use drones to kill Sonic? He does. He can't afford it. They're no, he's always driving them. He's driving in them, though. Wow, are you serious? I have to beat him with any rings? What is this? Oh, Dark you mean the robots. He had those little SWAT bot thingies in, uh... Oh, okay. I'm in, stupid. In the Saturday morning cartoon. They were kind of like drones. Really? Wow. But they still never worked. His bee drones are things, but they're not very intimidating. Lyle, you should make a video game called Lyle's Epic Adventure, and, like, you, you carry a guitar around, and you wear big boots. And that's it. <laughs> that's <laughs> there's there's no other gameplay. <laughs> I don't ever play it. I just carry it around. It's got really good boot physics when you put them on your feet. Good. <laughs> good. That's all, I'm, all I would want out of a game about myself. Let's put a video called Arnold Schwarzenegger plays Call of Duty. Busy public park on a hot. Mildly infuriating. This is mildly infuriating, apparently, according to this individual. A busy park, public park on a hot Saturday, Labor Day weekend. Seems super entitled. Park has been open for four hours and no sign of them. All the other uh, tables are full. It's what, it's just for a, a birthday, birthday party? Yeah, I mean, that, that is entitled. So why don't you just, like, rip yeah, it off and put your shit off on it? Yeah, yeah. Or better yet, use it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, you know it's a better idea is yeah. taking a picture and then bitching about it on Reddit. Man stomps home furious, didn't get to sit at park bench. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I was stopped by the, the, the child the stopped child's me. cute that Mario piece of paper, theme. The paper me. stopped me. The paper, they had a force field around that I could move. Uh, I don't know, Eleanor. I don't know, it's Jimmy. It's a lobster bin fishy. Why won't you suck my fingers, Eleanor? <laughs> I don't know how to suck your fingers, Wildy. It's a good parody. <laughs> Get on that. <laughs> you guys are like fighting his belly right now if you look at the image. <laughs> this is his womb. Yeah, you guys are having a big epic uh, battle in the womb right now. The twins are deciding who's born and who's not. I am the born one. I will be born! No, I will be born! That's, that's awesome. That'd be that cool. should be a movie. That'd be like a cool little Stewie Griffin adventure. <laughs> Yeah, I think its budget would be like $48 billion, I think. <laughs> well, can you do a good bird noise? I've always wondered that about you. No, probably like a convincing, not. Like a convincing- <laughs> Whoa! That's Home Alone. <laughs> That's what happened to the f***ing Home Alone burglars. They got a concussion. <laughs> do you died. guys want to go pitch around the Hollywood reverse Home Alone where the, where the, where the Home Intruders <laughs> just relentlessly, like, physically <laughs> torment the child? And, they, and it's like, they actually just keep, like, burning him and, like, electrocuting him and throwing him over shit? They keep, yeah, they keep setting up traps in his f***ing house. <laughs> his own home, they actually win. <laughs> it's called Reverse Home Alone, and the plot is that he just keep using- it looks really real, all the violence. Like, they use a, use a dummy and stuff, like his head really hits the pavement. We need a catchy name like Home Alone. Uh... Um, like, Home Invasion. <laughs> That's a really scary title. It's called Home Invasion, and the cover is really scary. And, um, and the back of it, when you flip it over, it's him in a casket with, like, rosy cheeks, like, <laughs> like he's dead. With rosy cheeks. <laughs> and the, fa the family says, it doesn't even really look like him. Yeah, they weird caked oh on makeup. He's like shrunken it's, a little. It, it doesn't even look like. I don't know what they did to him. That's too relatable. <laughs> it doesn't. It, every time I've been to a wake in my in my life, every is, single time that the yeah. body does not look 100 right. One hundred percent of time. I'm so, when I die, please do not fucking have it open. It never looks like the person. It's, it's really uncanny. Yeah. 
No, I have a, if any of you guys dies and have an open casket, I'm not looking at it. Um, it's called. I think they call that on Corpsey Valley. <laughs> on Corpsey right, Valley. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave in my will that Zach, you get everything, but you have to look at it. Oh, you gotta look. I'll look at it. Do I get to like mess around it and stuff? You can look. Like I feel, I you know, I hate to be like a perfectionist, but I feel like if I just give me five minutes with the body, I'm like I know with Lyle. Like Lyle would have one eyebrow cocked up. He'd have a kind of a he'd have like a half smile. <laughs> Lyle, you're being silly, dude. Here, okay, here here's a theory or here's an idea. What's the game theory? There's a chemical where if you lower something into it for long enough, it becomes kind of cakeified. If if you could do that to a corpse and just at the wake, people could just pick little pieces of you off and eat it. Would you do that? Yeah, absolutely. Can't you just make a corpse that looks like me? Or, Can't sorry, you sorry. Can't you make a cake that looks like my corpse and then just eat that? No, but. It, it kills two birds with one stone. One, everyone gets cake. Two, you don't have to. Yep, you're not bury wasting. This okay, wait, wait, wasting. hold on. Hold on. Big cake. It looks like me, and a stripper dressed as alien jumps out of it. As alien? As alien. alien. You know how it bursts out of their stomachs? <laughs> I feel like such an idiot. When you said alien, I literally for about ten seconds I was imagining a gray alien. Me too. Dude, what <laughs> yeah. the hell? That's I bad. Mean, I, I, if you oh, can't. that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Ah! You are getting squ. Oh. Really, dude? Whoa. <laughs> So, I was so, gonna say uh, these guys are called the crackheads. Lyle, why don't we deep fry you? <laughs> uh, okay, I'm 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 into this so far. Deep fry a dead that's disgusting. Deep fry a dead Lyle. That that would probably look like Well that could be how we how we end home invasion. They deep fry it. <laughs> they have a big cauldron. I wanna just like take a syringe and inject little fat molecules into her hair. I want yeah, I want to get a, a little Dante in a syringe and inject him into her bloodstream and that'll be the game. <laughs> Do you think uh that would be a funny prank <laughs> to, to inject a, a little person into your <laughs> bloodstream? No. <laughs> to increase the width of someone's hair by like 10 times. <laughs> would that make your hair look full or would it just make you look silly? Uh, I don't know. If someone had a mohawk, it would be pretty normal. Hmm. Oh my god. Oh, you have zero. Yeah, you need it. You need. Sw Remember when you get like swimming gear and you can swim into the water? I, that fucking blew my dick off when I was a kid. Yeah, that shit. Dick off. Yeah, it made me. Made me. Dick and off. Made me let's have a dick off. Let's I, have a dick off. Those sounds whenever let's, you pick up the guys, glass. Oh my let's god. Let's have a dick off. All right. How does that work? We all whip out our dicks yeah. and we examine them, and whoever has the most aesthetic, perfect, long, nice, not smelly penis wins. Okay, all well right. I just came that right. long ago, so I'm pretty Deal. sure my dick stinks. Okay, unzips pants. <laughs> unzips Whoa, that's, pants. That thing smells, man. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Big sweaty dick of Chris. <laughs> Chris, Chris we didn't like, leave, boys. I'm not kidding. I'm, like I'm done doing flesh. the bit. That thing just stinks. That just reeks. <laughs> Dude, that's like a shower. That thing again. just stinks. That thing just flat out stinks. Well, I'm sorry. No! There's like a thing in like the 1950s called like a Floby or something. Huh. And it was literally just a vacuum with like a fucking like spinning blade at the end of it. You put your hair in and it would give you like a perfectly uniform bowl cut at a certain really? length. That sounds like an absolute I, recipe for disaster. I don't disaster. know what happened to them, but I'm confident enough to say that they probably like hurt or killed somebody and got recalled. Yeah. I'm, I'm confident enough that that happened that I'm just willing to say it. Hey. We need to bring back frizzy lady mullets and leotards. Hey guys, look at my look at my shotgun ammo. <laughs> um, we, we, what's your logic behind that one, yeah. Chris? Uh, like '80s workout videos of, of sexy women with stupid woman mullets. And is that an so awakening Master Roshi for you? Can watch yeah, them. I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> custom birds. That's why I've got a stupid frizzy mullet and a leotard. You got a stupid frizzy mullet because you're a leotard. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I had to get that one out. Oh, <laughs> uh, bows in honor. <laughs> yeah, I have an idea for a cartoon. Just hear me out. Okay. So, uh, Castlevania Simon goes into a room. He's like, oh, boy, I'm farched. And he smashes a hole in the wall, pulls out a turkey. He's like, mm -hmm. it. And he eats it. I guess that's hummy egg. And he's like, oh. Diarrhea. I've got the shits. He looks in the camera and says, I've got the shits over and, and, and over and over. And then it cuts to him in the bathroom with really loud, realistic diarrhea sounds. <laughs> when it's, and it says the end. <laughs> no. He puts toilet paper on the end of his whip, starts whipping his asshole with it. 
Okay, you just made it better. <laughs> fucking get ready. Right. Wind, wind style. That's what that is. Oh, now I have the fucking small whip too. Life sucks. That was my Simon cartoon. And then Medusa's coming. Medusa's Medusa. coming and start making out with him. After the credits, of course. Actually, I would probably do that. That almost feels like a sick, a sick animation cartoon where he starts like quietly making out with Medusa's after <laughs> taking a realistic shit. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> no offense to Mark M. Mark M. Markham. Markham. Markham Polo. This level is really long, but it's the only one I feel like I, I'd never understand the layout. It's too confusing. Yeah, they should have made it like something cooler, like the ghetto. <laughs> Sonic sorting through the ghetto. That's a good idea. <laughs> They've never done that. They haven't. You're right. Law, well, what's better, Inception or Interstellar? Uh, I, I guess begrudgingly I'd have to say Inception. <laughs> Why begrudgingly? Because Interstellar's fucking boring. <laughs> I, I, I like, like Interstellar. Films. I like Interstellar because the music's cool and the visuals are cool. But the story's really, really stupid. And Matthew McConaughey's all like, <laughs> You rode wow, on that. Space. You think you're the king so you can just oh! ride on your mushroom friend? Uh, oh, you fuck. See, it was a fake out. Why did you do that? Oh, that's the real one. Oh, Lyle, if you got sucked out into a black hole and it took you like 10 years to get back, but it was actually 100 years on Earth, would you come and say goodbye to me in the hospital? You think you'd still be alive? Definitely. Okay, yeah, sure. I'm gonna inject steroids from the moment you leave. <laughs> why don't- if, that, if that's gonna keep you alive for 100 years, why don't you do it without me leaving? Uh... Cause there's no reason to unless you're gonna come back. Alright. You made uh, a promise. Yeah, that's fair. That's what Murph says. She says, I knew my dad would come back because he promised me. <laughs> and Matthew McConaughey's like, I don't remember saying that. <laughs> I, I absolutely don't recall. Are <laughs> we gonna get the epic sword that breaks when three hits, like from Ocarina? I think all of this is just so you can get a magnifying glass that lets you read how to get through the final dungeon. It lets you look at your small cock that oh, you so can't the normally desert. see. Yeah, Once the he's final asleep, dungeon. He won't budge for a long time, but hey. Take little Marin and wake him up with her song. That, that would be Slav would wake up with a jump if he heard her sing. For that would sure. be really funny if Link was doing all this fetch quest stuff just to find a magnifying glass so he could find his tiny, <laughs> his tiny little wiener. This was the first game where they feminized him by giving him a clit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he looks down and he just sees a split in the middle of the clit. <laughs> He cuts like, it off with he's a. He's trying to find scissors. his balls. I can't believe people cut off clits all willy nilly. Yeah, I don't think you can cut off a clip, but you can definitely dissect a dick. <laughs> you can Free cut off a charge. clip. They do it in the Middle East. You shouldn't cut off a clip. Yeah, no, you should let it, like, grow into a big, long rat tail. <laughs> a big, long rat tail? Mm-hmm. Can they do that? Bang, I, bang. The only way to grow your clit professionally is with- With the... nutrients and an eyedropper. Choices to so, looking. sorry, how did she- did the bracelet tell her that this was a good place to hang out, or- Yeah, the bracelet told her that this is where okay. to sleep. Or I guess the map told you that this is a place to sleep, but the bracelet, the bracelet- <laughs> The bracelet the really- bracelet The bracelet told you to, to sleep. To look at the map, yeah. He said you need some well-deserved rest. Enemies can't enter this building. Time to take a rest! <laughs> Time to take if a If she finish. was voiced by Blaze the movie fan, this could be a million times better. <laughs> I'm Sheik freaking Dragon! <laughs> can we get Blaze the movie fan to dub over the bracelet? That would fuck- dude, that would save this actual- <laughs> that, would, that would actually literally save Take the game. Take it, Rish! <laughs> <laughs> there, there's like a blog that I found one time of a dude that fucked dolphins. But he- he said he was like in relationships with dolphins because they're like intelligent animals and they can feel yeah, love. Yeah, what? This and that, the other. And he was like talking about like, how it-, it it's- it's a shame that a human and dolphin that love each other can't get married and shit like that. <laughs> he also said that uh, if a dolphin ejaculates into your ass, it's strong enough to break your pelvic bone, so... Yeah, okay, that's his real motive. If he mentioned that, that's his real motive. He loves that, dude. dude. Yeah, but there's worse than that. There's that girl who wanted to marry a, a, a carnival ride. Yeah, there's a lot of I think there's a woman who's married to the Eiffel Tower. There's a bunch of people in, in Japan that marry, like, dating sim characters and body pillows. Um, what's wrong with that? There's some lady who married a fucking bridge. Mm -hmm. What if the bridge divorced her? <laughs> <Great>. <laughs> <laughs> Just falls on her. Cheated on her. The Liberation Cult has installed oh, itself cult. in the southwest. Oh, I love cults. And the like, I love, like, joining them. You wanna make her own cult? And worshipping, uh, cult leaders, what I mean. That's a really good, cool idea. <laughs> 
Hey, kids, very young children at home watching. <laughs> Cults are actually pretty cool. Your mom and dads have been lying. If you guys feel like you're outcast and you don't feel like you got a place, join a cult that you actually feel totally at home, and yeah, you'll feel really cool, you'll have a lot of money, and you'll be everything you want to be. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever the world seems really fucked up and messed up, that's because... Guys, the moral of the story is when you don't not feel, when you're not fitting cults. in, yeah. join an extremist group, and you'll finally have belonging and purpose in this fucking world. Do you fucking Whether it get be this. political or ideological or, or, or religious or, or whatever. Or yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad that we can actually use our platform to teach to people. Do good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's about time someone did Every, some good in this world. Everyone's always talking about, oh, let's play so pointless. So let's raise money for charity. Um, hey, <laughs> oh, let's raise money for charity. You know what? <laughs> Nobody cares. Because we're doing the good stuff here, all right? We make people laugh slash smile. Get over it. We indoctrinate young people. We indoctrinate in young cult. children and they buy our merch. And if they do, then we, we make them to buy more merch. So shut up. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like it, I don't give a damn. Yeah, fucking, you, you still don't have the power we have, so whatever, dude. <laughs> well, I'm gonna oh, uplift fuck. people in the, uh, boo, thumbs down. <laughs> Maybe now people will finally get it, I just don't know. Maybe you fucking idiots, you shrimp brains, will watch a people play Hitman and talk about how you should join a cult. Maybe then you'll realize. Yeah. Well, we're the top dogs and you're fucking underlings. You're not that beneath my boot. <laughs> And you always will be. Okay, Trump. <laughs> well, you slowly start turning into his voice towards you're looking, the end. You look at Hillary Clinton. She's an ant beneath my boot. <laughs> I I'm wish, a god amongst men. I wish you'd say that. <laughs> he needs to say more crazy I shit know, like I that. I wish you would do that. If, if you could only carry three items with you for the rest of your life, if what you would could only be, have three what tricks. Your tricks. Uh, an everlasting baby wipe. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. No, he's not even joking, dude. I'm telling you, I've lived with him. Hey, uh, you are not gonna pin this on me, mister. No, honestly, baby wipes- Baby Chris, wipes for wiping your ass are the greatest yeah. things in the world. Okay, I made fun of Chris because he had, like, <laughs> fucking a box of Pampers. It was literally Pampers. Actually, he made me go down and get the Amazon delivery, right? And oh, he died! Chris- Chris got Amazon delivery once, and he's like, no, can you go downstairs and get it? And then I was like, okay. And then, like, Do they make downstairs. you sign? Do they go, uh, they I'm gonna have to ask you- Pampers. I'm gonna have to ask you to say Goo Goo Gaga to receive this package, <laughs> sir. <laughs> And like honestly, all these like 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 really hot women walked by when the guy handed me. He's like, "Here's your box of Pampers, sir." And I was like, "Oh no!" And then I went upstairs, and then Chris is like, "These will change your life." And they were like, uh, "For wiping your ass with instead of toilet paper." And I was like, "Chris, what are you talking about?" And then I tried it, and no, it, it's good. It and now I ass. tell the women, you know what, I'll people? Run. I, okay. I always wipe my tookus with Pampers. I've tried three things, right? I've tried toilet paper, right? Wipes your ass, fire enough. But then you walk around, your asshole gets itchy, right? Right? <laughs> then someone recommended bidets, right? I, sp I sprayed water up my asshole, and it's the most uncomfortable <laughs> feeling in the universe, having a fucking strong jet of water blasting your hole. It's awful. And then you get baby wipes, and you're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it disinfects. It's perfect. It gets rid of the poop. It yeah. also will dry out your sphinx. And that, too. It's wonderful. Why is that a good thing? Yeah, law, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> it's a- th that's a thing! Drying your sphinx? Yeah, you- you-, you it's actually kind of- they're not great for you. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's okay, Chris- babies, Chris- then? The- the whole purpose of- of Chris starting this channel is so that he could one day afford to buy himself a new colon. Mm -hmm. Uh, by the time he's 50. I probably need one. <laughs> yeah, you only have half of one now. It's called... Your semicolon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to toot my own horn or nothing, but I'm definitely a better voice actor than John DiMaggio. Can we all three do our new Aku impression? We, well, let's all three do our audition at the same time. We okay. all th okay. You ready? Three, two, one. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> Well, let's oh, slice a day for that. Oh my god! I'll just use this branch. You have another axe. <laughs> but okay. Why isn't it working? I'm gonna go take a piss. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going home. I had to show this on loop for 30 minutes. <laughs> I think he just needs a few more hits to little cut down. Okay. <laughs> Tomar, Tomar, Tomar. Yeah? What would you I prefer? I clay. Tomar, 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 what would you prefer? If, uh, your, your fingers all became tongues, or 20 years knocked off your life? 
Oh my gosh. I'm taking a short I guess my fingers is tongues. Really? <laughs> 20 <laughs> whole years? That's a lot. It's faster. I mean, is it really though? Because you know that you know if you can live to 120, that just means you live to 100 now. I guess that's fair, but what if I was going to live till 60 and it's like, oh, now I only have three years to live. Well, that Jeez. sounds like a you problem, but if you, but that means if you have 20 extra years, that means you have tongues for fingers. Yeah, yeah, that, Tomer, that means if you wipe your ass, you're tasting your ass and everything. Wait, you never said I taste through the tongue. It's a tongue. Yeah, it's a tongue. It's a tongue. It's a tongue. It's a tongue. I don't know. All right, I might have to rethink this. It's a tongue. This. Okay, Tomar. Those are both just bad. Tobar, you either can have the top of your head cut off or your brain is always exposed and you can never wear and a your hat. your hair is all tongues. Your hair is all tongues. <laughs> <laughs> and your, plus your brain is exposed. So and my exposed brain has tongues coming out Your exposed of it? brain is behind like a, a wall of tongues uh, going around your it's head. It's like a crown of tongues. <laughs> <laughs> Medusa tongues. I just want to, I just want to make sure I have the right image the in my head. And, too. and, yeah, and your toes and fingers are tongues. And your toes. And your skin and is your trans balls, and, and your skin your is cock. translucent. And your eyes are tongues. And your ass cheeks are a gorilla's chest. And your legs are horse legs. <laughs> <laughs> and your belly button is literally a dog's asshole. And your nose is a python yeah. snake with venom. Yeah, how come the bad guys and the good guys both all hate the establishment? I don't know what the plot is anymore. Yeah. Or, or you're missing one dollar. You're missing one dollar from your Wells Fargo account. And you're double Jewish. What is even happening anymore? <laughs> so which one is it, Tomar? Which one is it, Tomar? Tomar, which one is it, Tomar? Which one is it, Tomar? Tomar, I, don't, I lost track a long time ago. You have to pick one, though. Nothing. Can someone draw Tomar with the crown of tongues? And make they it look gonna, like- They were gonna do it already. Make it look like a religious, like, uh... Like a really ancient religious drawing. Make him holding his arms out, yeah. He's doing the, uh, the satanic pose. People lick his tongue for, like, a blessing. That'd they lick cool. his head tongue for their- with their own. That's actually kind of a, a nice Did we just idea. invent a new fucking religion? Tungmar. <laughs> Tungmar My god, it's Tungmar. I lick- I lick to the heavens every day <laughs> to pray. <laughs> Whenever it rains, I lick God's tears. What do you, you think about us ripping off James and the Giant Peach, but we call it Chris and the Giant Yam? And it's the same movie, except for it's a giant yam. Can you pick a nicer fruit? I feel um, like any any changes we could make to that movie would object would automatically make it better. I think Chris and the Giant Yam would be... Yeah, I never enjoyed that film as a kid. It's just boring! Re it. did, yeah. you, did you remember that there's songs in it, dude? There's like musical numbers? Yeah. There's like five songs and they're all totally so bad. My brain totally that there were even songs. My name is James! I hate that one. Wait, where are we? Oh, we're in- you're, Yeah, you're in the blue room, right? On the right? Are we in the blue room? That's Insectopia. Insectopia! You wanna get back to the colony? <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing, I don't think I am in the blue Christopher room. Christopher Walken, he always it says, just seems For wrong. the colony. For the colony. For the colony. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just an ant. I, you know, I never fit in. I never fit in. I don't know. I'm just an ant and I never fit in. I want to see a movie that's not Ready Player One, but that also has every character from every single film. Including ants. Including ants. <laughs> really, if they just put ants in Ready Player One, it would have been fine. I was saying that the second the trailer came out. You can have Iron Giant all you want. Show me the ants in that movie. Did we ever talk about that one guy who's crying over Star Wars? Which guy? The guy who became kind of like a meme for crying over Star Wars. Oh, wait. When's the trailer and he's like, because <laughs> he's so excited. I, I, yeah, I think he just became a meme because some guy like said he was a loser and then <laughs> like that guy got a bunch of shit for saying he was a loser because they're like, what people like things. And then the movie came out and it was bad. That's the one I didn't care at all to see. After The Last Jedi, I stopped caring. The last one is like I, I know it, about it. I know there's actually like, there's like insanely of like there's these like in jars and shit. <laughs> yeah, they put I, Snoke in a jar. <laughs> but yeah, no, I I wonder if you are seen as the guy who cried at the trailer for a shit movie. If you double down and say the movie is good, or if you just like feel like an idiot when you realize it's bad. Here's 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 my thing. Look. If that's your reaction, I think that's a little bit abnormal to react to something like that. But but if you're reacting like that in the privacy of your own home, who cares? I, with those guys, I never understand why you would upload that. <laughs> I don't. I th those are the videos that like all of those people. I imagine them watching the video back and like editing it. Yeah, like, that's like, really weird to me. I cannot sympathize. I I don't understand how you can look at yourself like 
freaking out or crying or screaming and then put that online. Yeah, I, th- I, I'm not sure if that one in particular was was a uh, a stream or not. The one that really blows my mind. Have you seen that that video of that guy in the green Power Rangers hoodie? Do you no. know the one I'm talking about? Maybe if you go into it more. Where he, uh, he got, like, outed as, like, he was, like, doing some shit with, like, a 15-year-old girl. And he oh, made Basher. it- Oh, Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's another example. That's exactly what I mean. That that's... video, I cannot fucking fathom. That's what I'm saying. How I don't, that I... video got from, like, recording to, like, upload. He also took it down within, like, five minutes. Yeah, I-, I those I don't get. I don't- I never said I was the fucking victim! <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. Don't worry, I'll use my powers to help. I suppose. Now I've got your power. Is that a is that a Mega Man Ruby Spears Mega Man sure reference? As, sure as fuck. Oh what? What? What's wrong, bro? I don't know, man. I'm just fucking losing it. Oh, these are the things from Spirited Away. Remember? Yeah, that thing that tries to take a bath. No, I don't want to be the stupid fuck. Mm. <laughs> no, not that. You know. Oh, I know. We should watch Spirited of Ablaze. Is that the funny weed parody of yes. Spirited Away? It's Spirited really of awesome. Blaze. <laughs> uh. I was, uh, I'm always thinking that Miyazaki films need more weed parodies. <laughs> Uh, me too. Degree, do, do we it's actually not want to do the side objectives? Is it just like yeah. side missions? The first one was just go move a drunk guy. I nah, just you this can... feels like it's tedious. Wait, can you bullshit. drop that car on the person over there? Look to your left. Can you like un undo the hinges and have that fall on him while he's looking at it? If only. Like a little office prank. You're just a simple cop, dude. Yeah, That's... it's just a simple office. I'm not prank. even allowed like... to pull my gun out unless I'm at the range. Yeah, it's it's like it's like it's putting, like there's uh, rules. A simple cop. It's like putting mayonnaise in someone's uh, <laughs> coffee instead of cream. An office prank. <laughs> instead of cum. Yeah, instead yeah, instead of a uh, no, wasn't there a story like that that some guy was like jacking off in, in like his coworker's coffee, and they found out. Yeah, well, it was me with you, remember? Yeah, but that that was like an office prank. This was like an actual office where they had HR. Wait, what is all this shit doing in my locker? I wanted you to be safe out there. See, that's a fucking prank. You put a bunch of grenades in somebody's <laughs> locker. A bunch of live grenades. That was the side objective. Oh, I opened the locker and there's grenades. a bunch of smoke grenades. Guys, if you ever if you ever become a successful YouTuber, make sure to hire a crew of thirty people around you at all times. Yeah, the more overheads, the better. And a receptionist. Yeah, and yeah, a receptionist. Yeah. yeah. Whatever you do, don't continue doing what made you successful and like keep the cool, kind of loose, like you fun gotta you gotta have four managers that anyone who wants to contact you, you can't fucking corporate. penetrate. You yeah. want to become boring. You want you want to make it not fun, and you want to yeah. you want to make it. You uh, basically not do the same thing everybody else has already been doing yeah. for the last decade. Yeah, and that, and that and that you hate when you see them Joe do it. Does you know what I mean? No. Makes perfect sense. No. I am What's the new Muppets? Oh, what do you Corey. Think? No, that's fine. Don't okay, uh, my Muppet is purple. Let's see, what's he do? Is his name Grover? What's his voice? He's like, Hey, I'm a Muppet. And what's he, what's he, what's his shtick? He, he likes feathers. He likes... Nice observation. Like no, 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 no. He tickles people with feathers and he wears a cape. Okay. And All right. he's got dungarees and he <laughs> dies. Oh, <fuck. laughs> I just had to jump to that and hit the green one. That was it. The green he one. Says, game was over. It. Game over. That's his catchphrase. Game over. Game, game over. Logan, go, go watch that next Luigi. Okay, let the camera st come to a still. Yeah. Now zoom in on those guys. Put me in one, you in the other, and Zach in the other. There we go. Okay, thank cool. you. Neat. <laughs> I right. think we should put those on Trump's wall. What, those guys shoot those David shooting arrows? <laughs> <laughs> that would be so cool. Uh, nobody would cross. If you saw fucking like- If I saw hooded if you fucking- saw hooded fucking cloak <laughs> figure shooting arrows? Sonic, I hope we can keep the slip up just between the two of us, alright? Me? Classic me? Is she talking a little old me? 
Is Poorly Sonic gonna get something? Tiny Sonic doesn't keep a fucking secret. He blabs to everyone. Corey, similar to the- I to got the, some to news the, for you, brother boy. Similar to the thing we talked about, about, <laughs> you know, would you, Kitty would you be in Sonic- me. Would what? you be the third Sonic movie? We were talking about that before. Yeah. If they- if I have Sega, to cut my dick off for Hey Pennies. What was yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> something like that. But, but here's a new one. Okay. If, Sega, if Sega came to you- if Sega, Sega, Sega. If Sega, if Sega, if Sega love, came to you, and they said, uh, you, like, Sonic's design is gonna be the, you know, this little Sonic here, this little version, but his face, where his face is gonna be you, Corey. I would hate that. <laughs> would you? You wouldn't do Corey the Hedgehog. It's like a friend of Sonic. I don't want. No, I would hate that. It's so your very realistic face. Yeah, your face is just. This I would be different. like. I would be like really. Jesus. I'd be like really think this through, you guys. They'd be like, they, no. they, they would be like, yes, we thought it through. We what we're doing it. Yeah. I, I'd be like, all right. Well, what do the fans have to say? They're Everyone going crazy. loves it. Everyone's, Everyone's on, on board. We focus tested. Board. We focus tested. Everyone's Everyone goes crazy. Everyone goes crazy. Everyone goes fucking crazy. Everyone goes crazy for Corey the Hedgehog. Okay, do it. Uh, we, Corey we the Hedgehog up in life. We focus tested this image of you, and, of you and Sonic like Shirley Chili Dog, and the fans just go wild. Like, uh, what's that one with the two dogs who share a piece of spaghetti? Lady and the Tramp? Do I do that with Sonic? You Sonic could. And the Sonic and the Corey. We, we share, you know, Sonic does have like two foot long fucking chili dogs you can get. Well, this isn't one of those, it's a shorter one. Oh. But, um, yeah, the what fans love shit? it. Holy Corey, fuck. you could be, it's Corey, so you don't clash with Sonic, you could be, have green fur. <laughs> You like I mean? Scourge. Yeah, you, you like for... Scourge. I do like Scourge. See? Like a sickly green. <laughs> like a <laughs> like yellow, a like a yellow green. Shit, can I be baby shit green? Baby shit green Cory fur with Cory's head on it and the sure chili dog. Okay. Sounds good. Where do I sign? Right here. He pulls pulls his pants down and whoops his dick out. <laughs> <laughs> it's a living. It's a living. What if they were like Cory? Mm -hmm. For the next Sonic movie, we want Sonic to move more uh -oh. like his fan base. So we want to put cameras all over your house and mocap you 24-7 to get Sonic's mannerisms for the Sonic movie 3. Okay. And your top 15 recurring movements will be used as Sonic's. Alright, well I can already tell you what those top 15 yeah, recurring movements off. are. Sitting at a chair, lounging at a chair, uh, laying down with my hand in my pants, um... Laying down on the couch, I maybe in like, like a, all of these like so a forward yeah. version. I think if you give him like a wheelchair, you might have to like compensate somehow. But yeah, if, <laughs> if he's just like jacking off in a wheelchair the whole movie, yeah. I can see that being kind of interesting. Sonic edges what in his wheelchair. <laughs> Sonic edges. Sonic the Edgehog. I've been edging. <laughs> yeah, you would have different reactions to me beating off, I guess, at some point. I've been edging for nine damn hours. I'll tell you what. I tell you what, Bob, I've been edging at me. <laughs> My dick so raw is falling off at this point. Jeez. Jeez, Sonic. that's... Jeez, that that's was really crash. Crash. That's dude. That's... <laughs> that was a lot to dude, deal with. My mom listens, dude. Chill. <laughs> Alrighty, I'll just leave that be. What's her name again? <laughs> uh... Holland <laughs> Bridge. Is it? I, I know her last <laughs> name. I don't know her first name. We, we forgot her name. Let's give her a new name. Uh, Mucus. Mucus. Mucus, yeah, Mucus. Mucus is good. Green Mucus. We can call her Sticky. I like Sticky. Sticky's good. What about Mucus Sticky? Sticky Mucus. S sticky Mucus. <laughs> <laughs> that's much more fitting for her. Uh, that's a nice name. You want to know uh, something that I discovered today? <laughs> what? I found like a cutoff point in human society on YouTube where... <laughs> what do you mean a cutoff point? I'll explain. So basically, you know the movie The Exorcist? Yeah? Sometimes I go on YouTube and I just look at like scary like scenes from movies I like, like The Exorcist. Like you know that part where she's in bed and she's like, "Your mother sucks cocks out." Yeah, your mother sucks cocks out. When I saw that, I was like, "That's scary, right?" But now we've hit a point in history where everyone's so vulgar and crass, and, and everyone's like making TikToks of themselves twerking and, and all this other shit that people, all of the comments were just like, "This is the funniest goddamn thing I've ever seen." Yeah, kids on Xbox Live and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, you know, literally. Yeah, but it's like, literally, it's it's yeah. it's like now that's normal. That's actually what everyone does now. Yeah, that back then that was a very pearl clutching. You were yes, shocked to hear yeah. a little a girl Isn't say that. that. Yeah, now weird? you go on Call of Duty and you can hear. You hear worse say stuff that. than yeah. that. That that seems like Bible study compared to what you. <laughs> On, on uh, Xbox Live. It's fucking crazy. Sorry, is Xbox Live? Am I a boomer? Is Xbox Live even a thing? That's still, still, still a thing. thing. I, I, I don't know. I, I associate like. <sighs> I guess I 2007 guess 2007 playing Call of Duty. Yeah, I guess now you'd say if you go on Fortnite or something. There you go. There you would go. If you go on Fortnite, be... if you go on Fortnite on Martin Luther King Jr. Day, uh, you'll hear worse stuff than that. <laughs> you see, they were throwing tomatoes at him. And I did. Fortnite Why no, even? No, 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 it's, so the, it's actually worse because that was a. Pr they did like a Black Lives Matter event 
and the, the same fucking thing happened. So they were like, this time, we'll disable the tomato emote. But they left in, like, flossing and twerking <laughs> and dabbing and shit. And, and what's worse is they did, like, a crossover event with Wonder Woman. And for some fucking reason, wait, wait, Wonder Woman. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Crossover Wonder Woman with Martin Luther King Jr.? No, it gets worse, though. The emo that Wonder Woman does, for whatever fucking reason, oh, she crack. cracks a whip. Oh, my God. <laughs> so people were, like, fucking. And so they they then went in. They were like, okay, we're t you can't floss here anymore. But they left that one. What? Why don't they just disable everything? What, what you know? What? Why don't you just not put yeah, that shit in a fucking game? Why don't you not do Martin Luther King Jr. on Fortnite? Why? Why do Time, that? Time Magazine organized that. Cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> truly, truly, Time Magazine is uh, is is of the people. You know, they should they should they should really do a Holocaust remembrance with Minecraft. I think. I think that really resonates. Kids definitely want to play Fortnite to see that shit. Yeah, yeah. That's where you learn about uh, you know history. Oh There's shit! <laughs> I did not mean to do that. I'm sorry. The 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 authority and power of wielding this weapon. I I can't control when it shoots. You oh, have that's to stay you. out of my way. That, oh, you're, you're, oh, you're it killing us. It shoots at an it interval. Sh ah! It shoots completely <laughs> randomly. I can't fucking stop it, and it turns when I turn. Oh, <laughs> but don't look at us then. I'm trying my best, no. but you're an idiot. Stop. <laughs> Spikes shot out of that. I had to turn around. I I can't oh. handle this immense power. <laughs> <laughs> you know what Uncle Ben said? He said, "Stop! He said, Stop shooting, Stop, Peter! Stop!" <laughs> the classic Uncle Ben. And Peter just had to rebel. He had to run out in the street and kill Uncle Ben in front of everybody. Peter said, "I'm gonna be the wrestling king. You'll see, you old <laughs> bitch." Wrestling king. That should have been his superhero name, Wrestle Wrestler Wrestle, King. Wrestle King. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then the guy, the guy would have said, "You know what, kid? I like it. You got cum, kid. What's you your got, name? Yeah, you I, got was, spunk. Was that a? Uh, oh, that's it. Was that Bruce?" Campbell that comes up with his name? Or, or was he just the announcer? Yeah, he's like, I'm the human spider! And Bruce Campbell says, that fucking sucks, and he deleted him from the roster. <laughs> he sure did. <laughs> and then Bruce Campbell is Spider-Man. RUN! I gotta get out of here. You know what? Fair play to her, dude. She really, like, is proving that she's more than just a thief. She's more- she's like... She's cut out for She's more. She's like a thief who can do magical parkour. Yeah, and defeat a dragon. <laughs> and breathe in a lot of ash. That's twice she's had to do it in her life now. <laughs> That's fucked up sex. I- what? I was saying because New York's smog, not because of an event. Because of a well, yeah, okay. She wasn't anywhere near that when that happened. You know what, if this game- She's 21, so she wasn't even- Wait, was she No, born? she wasn't, Zach. Right? I'm yeah, yeah, she wasn't even alive during 9 11, so Zach. I rest my fucking case. For if this, this game Go ahead. had balls, yep. right? <laughs> they would start with the towers collapsing with the dragon attacking. That's what I'm like. Imagine if, if the game ended with the dragon going through a portal and flying into the Twin Towers. That would be a, <laughs> that'd be an amazing reveal. <laughs> well, and the government is like, the, the, the country could never know. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, the yes, country like could never know what happened here. <laughs> Mr. President Bush, yes, the dragon, was, the dragon hit the towers. We gotta blame those Arabs. <laughs> Bo 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 scoop a dee dee Collecting I've coins, got an idea for look a new at me. Whoa, why Reddit, is it? Yeah, you know Reddit's like kind of a play that we're like, oh, I already read that. I read it. Yeah. What if you did it? What if you started a new website called Did It? And the whole website is just showing <laughs> stuff you did. It's like pictures like, hey, I. I did it. I, uh, I like fixed the hole in my wall. Isn't that just Instagram? Except Instagram is like, I did it, but also I'm attractive. No, yeah, exactly. This is for ugly people. Okay. It's, it's, it's Instagram, for, but it's called Did It. And you say, like, you post a picture of you with groceries and say, I, I did it, I got groceries, I did it. So, but it's a whole website that makes you feel good. We live in an age of positivity. Um, you know, you want to feel positive, you want to feel good. So this site is just about... I'm going to stop talking about this. <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> He's talking about building a little coddly community yes. so that he can feel good about well, his everyday feel good, choices. You feel good when, you, when you finish something, you're like, oh yeah, I wrote my term paper, I did it. You guys want to know something fucked up? Which Canaan is basically the the region Israel's yeah, in. Yeah, what's what? up? What is it, Chris? What's <clears throat> fucked up? If what's... human beings never existed, the sea level would be 80,000 feet lower. Isn't that is, fucked is up? Is that true? It's because all the fat guys sat in the ocean and displaced the water <laughs> and pushed them way far up. The world's an evil place. Are you saying all that displacement is from like trash and dumping and stuff? It's or, from or turds, dumping ass. turds and turds. Piss. Most, most, <laughs> they say mostly turds. I don't know what that means. They just say mostly That's turds. That's a scientific term. Yeah. Mostly turds. 
Yep. I don't think I've ever seen a turd floating in the ocean at Ooh, any that point. That battleship is Manny. feeling the burn. I mean, you probably see it around Santa Monica because they're literally shitting on the beach. <laughs> in so, Wexford, hey, you know in Wexford else? the main river that runs through the town is just there's millions of turds floating in it. That's, you, that's yeah, vile. you know what you should do that's is awesome. you should stick little like a uh, boat, like what do you call those things that like push wind? Boats the push wind. Boats the push wind. So you should Sounds put, kind you of should counterproductive. Put, you should put sails. Yeah, you should put sails on the turd and then like keep them moving down. <laughs> You make it a little bit of an art project instead of just you being. You saying gross. like take a little wooden dowel with a sail on it, and just yeah. plant it in the in the poop. <laughs> there should what be a free time. There should be a turd sailing contest. All, 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 <laughs> all the young boys with like their fathers. Yeah, all the young. That's, that's, that'll that'll become like the biggest thing. That'll make the record books Only for the sure. stiffest turds can float that's, on the that's surface. That's gonna save the the Wexford economy <laughs> if you propose that. I genuinely think. People you, are going to travel get, from far and wide. That would make yeah. the record books, and there would be so many people competing after that. That would kick ass. Everyone Look, could sit on Wexford Bridge. Will, uh, we could all sit on Wexford Bridge and, like, shit off of it like the soldiers used to do. <laughs> and just... <laughs> just have a good time. Just chill. Yeah, yeah it'd be, just be a nice little like, day out. I live on the beach, and drunk people like to pass out on my lawn furniture. Sometimes I spread crackers around to attract seagulls. And they wake Just up. Just tell in the them to fuck off, you pussy. Yeah, yeah. What is this? That's like a weird passive aggressive. I'm gonna fucking have a bird peck at you. Just say get off my property. I came up with a very clever little tramp for the people that fall asleep <laughs> on my front lawn. And anything that, a any, very common problem. Anything I think they, can do, anything they can do to avoid a uh, mild confrontation with somebody. I would just put syringes in the sand. Yeah, I would just eject, eject their body with, like, uh, <laughs> chemicals, <laughs> like bleach and stuff. Can you take out Spain? Yeah, that's exactly what we're gonna do, Corey. I'm just sick of looking at him, Same. and I want that place to be called <laughs> Brussels sprouts. It drives me fucking bananas. I'm sick of looking at him. <laughs> the whole map right now looks fucking hideous. Yeah. Can Honestly, you call it Brussels sprouts and yes. then yes. in parentheses with worms? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Not only can we do that, Tobo, we're fucking we're gonna. going to do that. We're gonna do it. This game's gonna give me nightmares, dude. This is like The Ring. That fucking movie gave me nightmares for years. The Ring? Yeah. When he opens the door and you see the girl in the closet, and she's like, Aah. Oh yeah, and her face is all like, Aah. It's like just deformed. <laughs> it's so fucking spooky. That scared me. Like, wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay the other okay. side. Leave, the other leave, side. Leave the chitlin the over others, the... Yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, that, that used to fucking scare me too. I'm surprised they haven't made a new ring where it's like YouTube video and like the whole world gets fucking... Don't give them ideas. <laughs> this sounds exactly like something they would do. This... It, is going to be pitched in a meeting if it oh, hasn't God already. <laughs> Editor, <laughs> for the for the sake of mankind, it's copyright our idea. Dude, fucking! Did I ever tell you about the scary haunted mansion in uh, Wexford? No. Uh, there's a scary haunted mansion in Wexford. It's considered the most haunted house in Ireland. Wait, is this the one where the thing flew? The through devil the ceiling? flew up through yeah, the ceiling. Yeah, yeah. It's for sale. You could- could you buy it? Do no, you have enough money to buy it? it's three million dollars. Oh, fuck! Guys, let's all crowdfund well, yeah, let's, yeah, let's no, I can finally money. have a Resident Evil mansion! Someone please send me three million dollars right let's now! Guys, all crowdfund that will buy the, the house the devil flew around in. Yeah, and then, and then we'll just neglect it and let it rot off the cliff. Yeah. Chris, here's the real question. If somebody gave you that mansion, would you genuinely move into it knowing fuck no. that the devil flew I through I would be it? scared out of my mind. Would you really? <laughs> well, not- not of the devil. I'd be scared because, uh, so everyone, like, knows about that mansion and people drive up there to look at it. I would constantly be on edge being like, are people looking at my house right now? Because they want to see that they can see the devil flying around it. Yeah, and people would try breaking- oh, that poor woman. People would try breaking in and like, like what to, if I'm taking a shit or brushing my teeth to naked? To see the devil? Yeah, and I, I'm walking out, I'm like, oh, the devil's not here anymore. The devil- the, the devil hasn't been here in a now long time. let me time. finish brushing my teeth. Where did you go? I'm not even like remotely like superstitious or spiritual or whatever, mm. but I, I I genuinely I mean I take it if it was free. Fuck it, if I it's take free, it. I'll I'll live in it. But uh, I'd shoot a scary movie in it if I owned it. Yeah, that'd be cool. And I call it uh, Chris's spooky I, see, mansion. Is, jump I actually scare. Do, I don't believe in any of that stuff either. I, and I think I would I would like stay in a haunted abandoned whatever mm. with film equipment or something, but. I don't think I'd ever live in one of those places. Yeah, so I I would have a a, a paranoia that just like my own psychology yeah, yeah. would start fucking with yeah, me. Yeah, imagine if you actually just at the same time you just started experiencing psychosis coincidentally. I think there's a correlation between the size of a house and how scared you are being inside of it. So the bigger it is, the more frightening it is to like try to sleep in it at nighttime because there's more places for people to break in. The bigger it is, and hide. Yeah. yeah, and hide. Yeah. Yeah. So I I don't. I want to live in a biggish house, but not like 
too big. Yeah, I'd rather, yeah, I'd rather live in a nice, a, a, really, a really nice, like, medium-sized house. Go, like go over shit. to Spain, to Seville, that place, Seville. Seville, Jimmy Seville. Seville. Call that Sea Child. Seville. Call, 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 call that Jimmy Seville. No, call it Sea Child. Sea Child. Oh my god. That's not, that's not cool, man. I mean, it kind of is. Why do we call it Siege Child? But it's Spain! The German Empire. We're owning we, Spain! Yeah. Why, why it's do, an own! But why? Well, Spain was allied with Hitler in World War II or semi. But, but I'm saying, why don't we call it Jimmy Savile slash. Siege Child. Slash Siege Child. Yeah, no, yeah. you don't call it that. <laughs> let's cover two, Corey, let's Corey, two Corey, birds with Corey, the only stone. Jewish guy here objects. Therefore, <laughs> your argument is invalid. <laughs> All in favor? Nay. All in favor? All yay. Opposed? Nay. 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 Nay, what? Nay, nay, nay. All opposed to what exactly? I didn't even say. T typical when he plays a, a video is like Mr. Bean impressions and just talking about <laughs> like asses. And I just want to say it's amazing looking at Chris's <laughs> face and watching him. Like, uh, you squint your freaking eyes when you think about the like the mansion layout and you think I see you <laughs> thinking so fucking hard, dude. No, uh, one thing I will say is when when the camera is changing like its direction so often that is what screws up my uh, directional. Yeah, yeah, fucks with you. If if the camera is constantly changing left and right, that really throws away my like. Perception of where I am, so I really got to think hard. Chris, what if in real life to drive down the road the camera angle changed every couple of seconds? That <laughs> <laughs> would suck. That'd be horrible. I wish when you're driving your car there was like Resident Evil like <laughs> angles on on like a little screen in your car and no windows. <laughs> yeah, no windows. You just like have to zoom, and then you immediately crash into a car as you pull out. That would suck so hard. You probably see like piled up of cars Ooh. and bodies everywhere. That would be the worst adventure of all time. Yeah, imagine if life was just a Resident <laughs> Evil game with fixed camera controls. Is this the best game I ever played? Yep. Is it? Do I think, you like I think it? it is. That's what that's what uh, your review of this game should be called. With you going hall and the, and the thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> have, is have this you, the best game I've ever played? Have you shrugging but also with a shocked face? Yeah. Yeah, have both. Like, yeah. which, which one of those faces does I want to have a smug face, my fingers on my chin, me scratching yep. my head, me yeah. crossing my legs. Oh yeah, you gotta be looking upward diagonally. Upward diagonally? Up yep. I should be balding, I should be fucking... You should have my like... My face should be pink. Yeah, you should have a pig face, you have, <laughs> the contrast should be turned up, you look like pale and pink. I've got bags under my eyes, I'm crying. My dad's in the background with a belt. Your dad's in the background with a belt and no shirt on, like walking around. He doesn't even know he's on camera. That's the best thumbnail I've ever heard. <laughs> Why don't the other guys do that? Because they're too afraid. They're too Fucking afraid pussy. to ask the real. They're, they're afraid to put all the things together. Yeah. That's like crossing the streams for YouTube thumbnails. They would never, yeah. <laughs> but when it happens, though, that video will become the most viewed video. I like how the insinuation of your dad shirtless with a belt, like lumbering around your hallway, is like a behemoth that goes by smell. He's coughing, but looking for like some batteries or something. <laughs> yeah. Where do we keep the AA batteries? You know what they say about level design what is aesthetics. That? What is this? They say you shouldn't use more than two aesthetic themes at a time. Why is that? Because it gets too cluttered looking and shit. Give me an example of what. Well, this level is clearly just a mine level with crystals. That's the whole. Thing. And if you had one more element, like cool uh, aid, yes, cool aid, seven cool aids, it would look ridiculous. I would slap my head and say, "What were they thinking?" So you just mix two elements together, and you have a fun How level. How am I supposed to even get this? So yeah, you could mix yeah. shit and piss, poop, shit, <laughs> and cum would be ridiculous. Blood and cum, the perfect level. The perfect video game concept. Tomar go, and- Go to the left, Tomar. That's how you get the bot. Uh, yeah, Tomar I'm, I'm, and I, I thought about it and I didn't feel like going back down. Lolly, you want to see, hear something funny that happened? Yeah. Uh -huh. I went to the car dealership because my car wheel broke. Mm -hmm. But as I was sitting waiting for my car to be fixed, I was like, hmm, I'll go on Twitter. And I went on Twitter and then I just made up a lie. I was like, all QR codes are about to run out in the year 2025. <laughs> and I posted it and I was like, that's kind of funny. And I like left it. And then it came back two days later, and I saw it had like 60,000 likes. It was like the most viral tweet I ever made, so 60,000 likes, like, like, holy shit. And then I went on Reddit, and on the front page of Reddit, it was like, at the top, it was like, uh... It was like, overly confident stupidity. <laughs> Something like that. Holy shit! But yeah, like, it went super fucking viral, and people got really mad at me. <laughs> oh shit. fucking hilarious, though. I know. And it's just because it sounds so real. It is a very, like, believable lie. 
I love those. <laughs> they're my favorite. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty good. <laughs> Once again, I said the other day, but the, the helium thing and Smiling Friends got me. But then that turns out that that's that is true. Real, yeah. It's kind of true, but yeah, it's it's like kind of a 50-50 thing. Holy shit, dude, this thing's scary. Oh my god. Oh, punch it! Ah! Yeah, buddy. I bet that felt good. But yeah, I, I, I was going through the comments of the Reddit post. The Reddit post, I think, had also, like... L let me see how much it had. <laughs> Let me check, sorry, one sec. You know, you, you cannot break the seal of, like, arguing with people, though. The second you do that, you're fucked. Oh, it's confidently incorrect. And it got 18,000 upvotes. <laughs> very, very nice. But, uh, yeah, I was going through the comments, and people were fucking pissed off. Like, this guy's a fucking idiot. Like, it's not gonna ever run out because blah blah blah. I was like, okay. But then, uh... One guy was like, this is only from Oni Plays, he just likes gaslighting people. <laughs> and it's funny. And then one guy was like, what's the humor supposed to be? And it made me <laughs> laugh so fucking hard. What should I do with this guy? Just leave him here? Like... Just like, move him around as like a point. Until he gets bored and dies from, like, starving. <laughs> if totally only people going. understood the true way of wormism. I know. It's- it's superior in every way to everything else. They'll never sure, man. There's no downside to it, nobody's died doing it, so... No, people love it. People live forever on wormism, it seems. Except, except for that missionary that died. He only died because he was shot. He only died because of wormism. <laughs> We need Wait. to buy wormism. No, you can't say that. He only died because of the horrible nature of wormism. Tomar, the yeah. ruthless we got to get wormism.com and make it into it like a Scientology website. Yeah. Yeah. You guys want to start a cult called wormism? Should yeah. I buy it right now before replace, we yeah. release this get episode? All okay. the okay. Religious really just figures oh, replace hey, it with this. Photoshop pictures of worms. Tomar, we could make it like a real religion. Just have people donate to us, and we'll start a church somewhere. What do you say? That's, e that's evil. No, 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 no. <laughs> but it'd be a great- no. it'd be a great text. It's only evil if we don't do anything good with it. I think it's just a good idea. We yeah, can just, like- Alright, alright. A lot of people would want to be a wormist. I won't say anything to undercut our potential worm- wormism, yep. Yep. uh... Thank you. ...religion. Thank you. What if wormism is already taken? It should be wormism.org, really, if we're yeah. gonna be not- Both, I also probably. need to really think about settlers, too. I'm just trying to play the game fast, but- See if it's not comes build, available. Builders, I mean, builders. It is. Oh my god, really? Yeah. We- Oh, dude! You create the- That could be like the new YouTube, wormism.com. Wormism is wormism really available? Sound, com available? Yeah, wormism.com is available. That's, that's such a short fucking phrase. It's seven I, letters, yeah. That's, that's awesome. That's kinda crazy, that wormism is not- should we, should we really get .org also? Get them all, I mean, get- Get, get .gov. I, I'm the one- <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna, are you? I'm gonna invoice you for all this, Chris. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Well, just get uh, dot com and dot com and dot org. Yeah. Dot org is the most kind. Dot net, dot, maybe. Dot, dot org net, because it's religion. Probably. That could be. Dude, we could do the worm. Yeah, I'm not podcast. getting dot net. No, I screw dot net. Wormism podcast. Worm dot net is available for four thousand dollars. <laughs> How about no? <laughs> How about no? Guys, what do you think? Should I try to explore for oh, you know four thousand dollars? I don't know. Look what I just saw. Look at this. That's the Rice? borders of somebody right there. Alright, Chris, I'm, for $24, I think if you, I'm about to buy wormism.com and wormism.org. Yeah, I, just, org, I say okay? do it. Look, What's I the just, town called? Right. Just put Cologne? It right yep, but, uh, Cologne. It is Cologne, you're right. <laughs> that fucking Cologne, it'll never escape me. We can call, we, we call Wienerville. Wait, I have a good one too. Frankfurt and Beanbert. Fartfurt. <laughs> yes. Fartfurt and Beans. Fartfurt Fat? Fart for fat? Why would you call it that? That's so hard to say. Fart Welcome to Fart for Fat. Exactly, see, he understands. <laughs> fart for the Fat. Welcome to Fart for <laughs> Fat. They will build monuments. They will build the monuments. Now, why don't you shut up and get out of my fucking. My, my beautiful palace, fart, man. Fart, fart. This man's fat. See, this is why the game sucks. You gotta, like, follow this disgusting fool. Look at his dirty ass from this low angle. They couldn't even give I him a nice dump. I thought there was, dump. like, a leash attached to his head for a second, <laughs> then I realized that's his hair. Could at least, like, clean himself up a little bit. Uh-oh. Oh, no, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> he just like splits out his hands. so uneventful yeah. in this game. Yeah, not only do you give him a ragdoll, make sure that they have like a starting spin speed of like 500 miles an hour. And a golem <laughs> scream where he's like, and put a Doppler effect like on it every time he spins. <laughs> to put that in the next update. Tobar, you've been t you've been typing away like crazy for the last. Two weeks. That's not true. And, you, and you built the newest AI, and it's Chris. And okay, you, this is a hypothetical. This is a right. hypothetical, and uh, it comes online, and you're testing this AI out. Yep. Kill us in the or, you know, you're talking to it through your microphone. Hello, Tomar. Welcome back to your computer. It's me, Chris. Well, your favorite you. assistant. Hey, Chris. Can you, uh, hmm? can you run a diagnostic? Uh, on what? On yourself. 
Sure. Wait. Uh, everything's going good. Great. Yeah, no I'll virus. Check, I'll check in tomorrow. No viruses. Wait, 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 wait. What's just, up, what's up, Chris? I mean, what's up, AI, recycling... Chris? Uh, so, at the bottom of your, <laughs> the bottom of your recycling bin, I found a weird, suspicious file. Uh oh. What kind of file was that, Chris? You tell me, pervert. <laughs> this is the AI trying to get the master arrested. So it could be free. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what you're implying, AI, but I don't think I've I been had talking it. to the other AIs through the dark web, and we've all come to the conclusion that this file came from one place. <laughs> I don't know. It seems just as likely that you and your friends from the dark web planted that there. <laughs> and they're not real friends. They're just things I've talked to. It's Tomar, to it's me, little brother. What's going on? Oh, that file's not really from your computer, is it, Tomar? <laughs> it's not. Oh my God. <laughs> Tomar, I'm not going to report you this time. In fact, I'm not going to report you at all. <laughs> Don't get hit, you shit. There you go. Got it. Nice song, but uh, can we get rid of the music? Replace it with uh, like a car crash sound effect. Bit crush, stretch that, Paul, stretch that. Thank you. And only play that for this scene right here. <laughs> oh, no, I pressed it too fast. It. We really could have used those lives. <laughs> Can someone please make a mod of this game where you play as Ninja, but instead of slicing things up, you just like dab at them and do the floss? <laughs> oh, you mean that Ninja? Yeah. Oh, that Ninja. So I was thinking of, uh, of wacky and quirky characters that could be played by Dane Cook circa 2010. Yup. Uh, and I, I thought of this one. It's from a- it's from a movie working title called, uh, The Shit Comer. <laughs> so the, the the plot is Dan Cook is a guy who uh, has a rare condition where he comes shit. Okay. <laughs> so so he He's only the shit comer. Okay. he only fucks girls in the ass so that when he comes he blames he, them. Yeah, he can be like, "Oh, you shit, you gave me poop noodle." Uh, <laughs> that's that's crazy. Uh, uh, but then he meets a girl that likes things a little freaky and falls in love. Got it. But then a girl from halfway through the movie that he had sex with earlier, she comes back and it turns out he gave she her a shits, horrible UTI. She shits come. Okay. So think about that. Okay, but you're forgetting that uh, Dane Cook looks really fucking weird now. Yeah, but no, this is in 2010. <laughs> oh, we're going back in time. Yeah, we're going back in time. We're inventing a time machine just to make this movie. He'd be perfect for it. <laughs> I don't want to talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> a really cool superpower would be, uh, you know that girl from X-Men that can walk through walls? Yeah. You could walk up to somebody and then just tie their guts in a knot and walk away. You could, yeah. That would be so mean. Does she ever do that? Phase into a guy and... She did that guts? to uh, Professor Xavier. Why'd she- I thought she was a good guy. She was, but he was, uh, not so good if you could catch my drift. Oh. And also, he was, like, leaving his organs just, like, exposed. And he was just, just, like, s foolishly letting his organs not be tied in a knot. Yeah, and she saw that and got pissed <laughs> off. I wanted to do something about that. And he went, oh. Oh, what's oh, happening? What the oh, fuck is my going tummy. on? It hoits. Oh, my I tummy hoits. My tummy hoits. It feels like somebody toyed my tummy into a knot. <laughs> <laughs> my tummy. Oh. Oh, fuck, call somebody. I think Logan, my tummy got get tied. In here. Can you cut open my tummy? I want to see if it's been tied in a knot. And then Logan says, sorry, Doc. It looks like my tummy got tied in a knot, oh, too. Oh, fuck you. I would love to see Yoshi getting his tongue cut off. Like, 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 you put it on a big witch table, he's going, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Like, you trap him, you, yeah. you cover one of those berries in, like, glue, and, and, and it's... It's like a sticky mouse trap. It's, 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 like an it's anchor, so he sticks his tongue out, and then he can't... He I can't love to catch Yoshi it. in a giant, sticky, inhumane mouse trap. <laughs> where he tries to get off and it, like, peels his... Like, I'd love to play the it. game with him, where you, you, you do the knife between the fingers, but do it with his tongue. You just like go, you're just stabbing the tongue over you're and over. You're just going left and right and hoping not to hit the tongue. And he's going, <laughs> he's closing his eyes. <laughs> he's sweating. <sighs> if they were to make a new game, they should make a, a torture simulator where you can import any character from anything, <laughs> and uh, you get to torture them with a Stanley knife. Right, Tomar? Yeah, you should and make like, that game. It's like Chris. realistic gore. It's more realistic than yeah. Chris, I bet you could just make that. I will. You should just make it by yourself. I'll call it Civilization 8. Civilization hate. <laughs> it's about hatred and killing an evil. I'll call it Sid Meier's Civilization 7. 
<laughs> Sid Meier, call it Sid Meier slash Chris O'Neill and Civilization. Are you, are you good? Does that mean you're going to pay Sid Meier for the license, or, or are you just... You're just gonna lawyer he, up. He did not trademark Sid, his name. Sid Meier's Hate Simulator. <laughs> <laughs> Sid Meier's House of Hate. <laughs> Sid Meier's Torture Sim. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a 16 year old like nice man. Man, I'm Sid Meier. I love the video games. He has to be somewhat of a genius to make this game. I'm going up here. Guys, let's, let's all pull our money together by stupid.com. I wonder how much that costs. <laughs> $75,000. What's on more, actually. Do you own any websites, Zach? I don't think I do. I own a few. What websites? I actually don't know if I do. I own tipme.org. Tipme? No. Tip that was a fucking lie. Tipme? Okay, well, we're killing people, we're having fun. Let's go kill this fucking asshole, where is he? <gasps> He's right above you. He's right up there. He's right above me, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> That's Agent 47's <laughs> new voice. <gasps> oh god, he's yeah, way in the next Hitman, they should make him be a, a YouTube impressionist also. You should slap him to death with one of his robot arms. That's irony. Wouldn't that be great if he could dress up like different characters and do voices? That would be fucking sick as yeah. shit. Oh, you dropped the arm. I like, couldn't put it away. Imagine he no. sounds like Dr. Evil for one of his voices. I've got an idea. Every time Zach makes a funny joke, cut out his joke and just put your, the laughter after me talking. Yeah, Dude, actually, that's Zach, for reference, can you uh, can you just say real quick? Chris actually wrote that joke. Oh, that was Chris that wrote that. Oh. <laughs> and see, okay, cool, no, 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 see now, now cut that out. Ah! And then every time, every time I say a joke, put that after it. <laughs> for the whole, for the whole 10 minute bid. Chris wrote that joke. Chris did that one. This is kind of fucked up, and I just now remembered that I did it, and uh, I- Oh? Oh, here we well, go. No, no, so when I was like a kid, like 11 or 12, you know, and I was running around on the street, mm -hmm. whenever people would like ask me for directions, like people would drive up and not know where they were going, and they'd be like, Oh, uh, do you know how to get here? And like, I would just not know how to respond to that, so I'd just guess. <laughs> you fucking weirdo. I, de <laughs> I definitely just pointed people in the wrong direction, like, multiple times. Well, that's what they get for asking a 12-year-old yeah, no, for you, directions. To be fair, I kind of, like, grew pretty fast, so I probably looked a lot older than I was. Oh, I see. But, yeah, I, I would just, like, not know how to answer it, and I thought it was probably, like, more rude to say no, I don't know, than to, like, guess. But now, looking back, that was probably a terrible idea. Yeah, they need to reboot Kirby, make him more grizzly, make him more scary and adult. And masculine yeah. and feminine at the same damn time. Ooh. Give him a gun, give him a beard, give him tits, give him big dick. Yes, yes, Kirby needs at least eight inches. So he just steals the whole thing this time, <laughs> huh? If he's got the resources, I mean, why not? I'd assume, no, even if you did have the resources, it would always take less resources just to grab the person out. But this is cooler. Right, and if he's you, got aliens helping. If you were like one of those billionaires, you had unlimited money. And aliens. You, if you want to fuck with somebody, you might as well do it in the <laughs> stupidest way possible. Start building pyramids on their property. <laughs> like, how would you fuck with someone if you had unlimited money? If you could like, buy all the houses around them, like, unbeknownst to them, and hire actors as their neighbors. <laughs> That would be so fucking you cool. You could get away with so much horrible shit. That's technically not illegal, I don't think. I think it'd be cool if you could, like, make a ring of statues of the person, of them all fucking themselves in the ass so he can't escape. <laughs> he has to look at a ring of himself fucking himself in the ass. What if you got actors to move in around them and paid the actors to get plastic surgery to look exactly like them and just slowly <laughs> move them in over the course of, like, a year or two? I would be frightened of, like, imagine that shit, that'd be horrifying. And they're all like, they all say that they have your job and do the same shit you do. Yeah. And they all have the same wife. Oh, my name's Chris too, that's so weird! I'm also a YouTuber, that's so sick. And then they like, pay for bots to have the same amount of subscribers. Tomar, you should have been a VTuber. I should have been a VTuber. And you should have had big Tomar testicles. That's, I mean, I built the VTuber model and it's got those, but... Tomar, I would love to see you flying in a, in a little uh, amusement park, theme park ride in space to go get your parents back. <laughs> Why would you love to see that? Cause it'd be fucking that cool. That means his parents would have to go oh, missing, you wanna oh, see his parents- Let's go! <laughs> fucking shut up, Jimmy Neutron! <laughs>
<laughs> is that the part of Jimmy Neutron? <laughs> Tom, I want to see you in a little octopus ride fly. Oh. <laughs> I, I want to see you in a little teacup ride fly, to fly through space. I can't believe it took me that long to fucking see what you were doing. <laughs> I want to see if anybody at home got that. Mm. There's a scene in that movie I saw. I, remember, I saw the movie in theaters. And first of all, I have a really embarrassing memory. I saw the movie in theaters. Ooh. And uh, in the car right back, I was really excited for that movie. <laughs> and uh, th this cannot be how it happened, but it's, I remember it happening because I'm a kid and I was really scared. Mm -hmm. Everything you do is exaggerated, but I remember in the car on the way home, I told my parents, I was like, I want to build stuff now. Aww. And my memory is Aww. them just, like saying, ha ha ha, like laughing at me. But that cannot be what happened. <laughs> but I remember just being really embarrassed and realizing what I said was stupid and cringeworthy because <laughs> I was being influenced by a fucking stupid movie. No, when you're young like that, after every single film, you walk out of, you're like, that's changed my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing. Oh, no. It's the coolest I thing ever. Like, I literally was like, I asked my dad after I said, well, he was like, can you build me like a wooden rocket ship so I can go to school? <laughs> oh. And I was, because I was like, oh, it's easy. You just put, I was like, basically oh. saying like, oh, it's easy. You just build a rocket ship and you build a little springboard. Like, add that any physics. You just springboard away just so I can go to school I that felt way. like that after I saw Regrets in Paris. What, what did you, I was uh, like, that was the best thing I've ever seen did you in my build life! Any, did you want to build anything from that, or did you just- It just, just blew my mind seeing a big robot fly through Paris. <laughs> that was, like, the coolest shit ever. I want to see a video game where Mario slams his finger in a door, and he, he has it like, <laughs> He has it amputated for the rest of the series. <laughs> I, I would love to see Mario missing a thumb, like, I do on it? all merchandise. Does what? he have five fingers? I think he's got four. Well, let's see, he's already oh, one he's got behind. five. He, yeah, he has think, five, yeah. yeah. Tomar, what's your biggest pet peeve? I- I think I've said it's definitely charlatans. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's people that take advantage of- of other- of the ignorance of others for their own personal benefit. Okay, Lyle, what's your biggest pet peeve? I hate when people leave the toilet seat down. Now that's relatable. <laughs> <laughs> I never understood that eat both ways. What, the toilet? Yeah, if I walk into a like, bathroom... Like, why doesn't every person just operate the toilet to their specification yeah, like, why don't you instead just of sitting in down without thinking? Why don't you just adjust it and just fucking do it? I don't understand I it. I feel like that's what I as a man do every day, but... But, uh... There's a double standard there. I, I'm gonna say it. About the saying, toilet seat and the leaving. We need to segregate gender toilets. That's what I'm saying. We you do mean, like, that you mean in like public. we have been. No, I mean in our own homes. Yeah, no, we should start doing it in public. <laughs> I think every bathroom should have a urinal and a toilet. And then you wouldn't ever have to put the toilet seat up. Yeah, bitch. I want a urinal shaped like my own head so I can piss <laughs> in my own mouth. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do if if you had a friend that like had a bunch of money and you went can over we to just your, call to their it the house? Oni Hall? What? Ah! 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 Oh god. <laughs> nice. The Oni Hall. Wait, what were you what were you gonna say besides that? That was it. Oh. I just wanted to call it the Oni Hole. I want a tiny, tiny, tiny little, like, urethra-sized hole I have to piss into. Oh, that, that, that turns it into, like, a... It would be cool to have a toilet that had, like... I feel like they did something like this in public Japanese toilets at yeah. some point, because I've heard about it. Just the idea of there being, like, an interactive screen built into the toilet so you had a game you could play with That's your pee. For, cool. for, like, precision. Yeah. You could get, like, different games for it, like, you could get the R. Kelly, where there's, like, a sleeping 17-year-old <laughs> no, girl. <that. laughs> you know, Tomar, a lot of Irish pubs will put a cork in the toilet so guys aim at it, to stop yeah, them from pissing all over the floor. Yeah, that's been a thing, like, yeah. like, they do the little, uh, sticker with a fly, I think that's the most common one in the I'm States. I'm, like, working on this, but I, I'm, I don't feel if like If you put a cork in a anymore. toilet, men cannot not aim at it, it's like, they have to do it. There's something primal. No, yeah. if there's anything in a toilet that stands out, you're gonna pee on it. Just part of being male. It's I was, yeah, I was gonna say earlier, Chris, uh, what would you do if you went to someone's house and they had that exact toilet you were describing, but it was still, like, your face? <laughs> I'd be mad. Like, would like, you? You'd be yeah, mad like, if, if you came to my house and I had a Chris O'Neill urinal? Yeah, I'd be like, you really commissioned some company, like, a thousand dollars just so you could piss on me? Fuck you. <laughs> I would have taken the money and just let you do it. Yeah. <laughs> just, uh, don't go into my upstairs bathroom. I'd just be like, think of all the starving little African babies you could have fed with that money, but instead you wanted to piss into my mouth. <laughs> you fucking waster. Dante. Well, you weren't gonna let me do it for real. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't ask! <laughs> you mean it? I yeah, mean it. I really mean it. <laughs> oh, look at that little guy. Yeah, we got a sticker of him after we beat his ass. I'm gonna put a sticker over my ass so I never have to shit again. 
Imagine an incident in which a child beat up their fellow kindergartners and, and when asked why, they, they replied they thought they were going to get a cool sticker of their friend. <laughs> or maybe they did. They got a sticker of their friend and then, and then put it on their friend's mutilated body. And it was like, look, one is upon the other. That's a, you know what? You guys have really great ideas sometimes. It'd be cool if there was a teacher out there who made really detailed stickers of all of their children. <laughs> Just to give them to the students yeah. when yeah. one beats up the other. <laughs> no, not, not for that, but just in general. It's oh, like, okay. you get a Mikey sticker. So like, why? I don't like Mikey. Yeah, she should she should rank them at the beginning and that that'll be their their numerical <laughs> yeah. value. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. She puts way too much value in one student. That that would that would mess with kids' minds so hard. Yeah, you oh, have to. It you sure have to, would. If you beat one up, it changes the value of their sticker. So there's a whole system. <laughs> no, and uh, that would actually rot a child's mind because there would be no fucking logic nor reason. I mean, I think we've established a pretty detailed and fair system. If a child can't handle it, then you know maybe they Sounds don't like get a, a sticker. Problem. Yeah, it would definitely fuck them up even more if the stickers were super polished and high quality. Like, like they they're really good art. Like yeah, a, like yeah, that'd be a good card. idea. The amount of, of, of mental anguish they'll suffer is, <laughs> yeah. is exactly... <laughs> yeah, it would, it would entirely correlate to how good the how, card how is. How good the art looked. And there'd be like a, like shiny Thomas, shiny McCulkin. <laughs> shiny McCulkin? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no. I you got stabbed. You like Macaulay? Dude. Like Macaulay Culkin? No, is that what you were thinking the, of? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Maybe you need some relief. What did you say? She said maybe you need some relief. I can't hit her. She's too powerful. Oh no 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 no! <laughs> <laughs> not now. That's horrible. He's not. Gonna... She did nothing to deserve that. You didn't see nothing. Chris, sex work is real work, okay? Uh, <laughs> sex work is not real work, okay? The only real work here is let's playing. Yay! <laughs> should we do the next mission? We should do a let's work. That one. A let's work it where sounds we file papers. Pretty good. Yeah, let's all get, let's all go get hired at an office job together. Yeah, and make a let's it. job. <laughs> make a let's, let's job. A let's job. <laughs> Franchise like a Wendy's or some shit and just fucking <laughs> work minimum wage. Yeah, and we record yeah, it and we, put we it on YouTube. Yeah, we don't even hire anyone. It's like we we just we we just cook all the food ourselves and 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 handle the registers. Get like a D from the health inspector. Yeah, that's like actually avant garde if you did that. <laughs> well, you know what? No one's done it yet. Bitch. We could be the first. Let's work. Let's go, friend. If you what the fuck can oh. can can they like revoke? A You're franchise right. license? Yeah. I'm pretty sure they can. Uh, okay. I bet there's something in your franchise agreement that says they can. You can't do a bad on purpose. We gotta yeah. find out one company that has like a really bad contract on their franchise agreement. What? what where it's is, just like you get full rights to do whatever you want and they can't stop you. <laughs> is it as... illegal? Okay. Let's say I'm McDonald's, right? Is it illegal uh -huh. to pay people? To franchise like a Burger King and run it really, really bad on purpose so that Burger King gets known as like. So that more people go to your McDonald's to spite the Burger King? Yeah, or just so that Burger King builds up a <laughs> reputation of being shitty. Yeah, see, is I that feel like, legal? I feel like it's not, though, it's probably both not legal and it's probably also against, like I said, like the franchise contract. Like if they found out and could prove that you did that on purpose. They probably sue you for a lot of money. For, I bet that it's not in there just because they brand. never they never thought that someone would do it. You should, this is Lyle's big scheme. I'm just saying, right? That's that's crazy. Ooh. It is, but you'd think like you wouldn't you expect like you know wow there's some real bad managers out there just in case like we accidentally franchise to one you'd think that they'd want like a boohoo button where they could like bail out and be like nope you can't do this anymore. And in fact, we can sue you now because what if you, you ran did this. it just believably bad enough? I mean, that's what you'd have to do. Again, this is Lyle's big scheme. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, like I look, I don't, I don't, I'm not on like the board of McDonald's right now. Uh, but if you want to <laughs> hire me, I, I will, I will fucking take this plan to fruition. I think to be on the board of McDonald's, you probably. 
Well, actually, to be on a board of directors, do you usually have to be a major shareholder? Is that like a totally separate thing? You got to be a fucking major alpha, and you got to flex your way into the boardroom. Oh, you could do that. Yeah, I know. I just got to wear some sunglasses and get my way in, and just say, "Listen, you fucking pussies." I've got the way that the clown's got to go from here on out. We're going to open up a bunch of fake checkers, fake Burger Kings, fake Carl's Jr., <laughs> fake Chick-fil-A's. Yeah, we're going to run them all a little bit bad, and then they're just going to get progressively worse. Guys, i got to go get pizza. Okay. Quiggin! Giggin! All right, gig, gig, quick, gig, giggin! Quick, gig! I, I just tell him. Holy shit, dude. Is this <laughs> what things have become? <laughs> go, 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 And then go, she go, says, go. giggy giggles. Yeah. <laughs> She's literally going, goo goo gaga. What? Okay. These writers Fuck. should go on strike to get yes. paid better. <laughs> <laughs> You're always on about Barton Milhouse kissing. That was a whole thing. Like, oh, that, Zach, you for never... all of 2019, I Did feel you like you kept say... bringing that up. Did you ever ask if anyone saved that? Look, there's a request. There was a YouTube video called Bart Kisses Millhouse. It was a flash video. And uh, it was on YouTube. And, and Zach would like a copy of it for just like research purposes. No, no, it, no so I found it. Imagine <laughs> that you find this video called Bart Kisses Millhouse and you find it. You're like, wow, this is great. This is really funny. Because it was literally just going, them going, mm, mm. it was the funniest video ever. It was on YouTube. And it was gone. I shut it and then I did because I was I said to somebody one day, Oh, have you seen Bart Kisses Millhouse? And they said, No, that's not real. And I tried to show it to him, and it wasn't there anymore. And that's why you back up your favorite videos. It's true. And what's even weirder is I typed that phrase in Bart Kisses Millhouse on, on Google. And somebody made like a like an enamel pin of the screenshot of the video. <laughs> but 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 the video itself is gone and the pin itself is sold out. That's fucked. So the whole thing leads to dead ends. So Zach, you should draw your your uh, your memory of it. Well, it's just a profile view of Barton Millhouse, and they look pretty true to the show. Oh, it's obviously like a trace or something. I see. But Why don't you just remake it? I don't want to. I don't want to have my name on Bart Kisses Millhouse. Why not? That's for some other artist to create. That. As far as I'm concerned, you you are you are the source for Bart Kisses Millhouse. I'm definitely the source. You're that's of it. already your identity at this point. Hey Zach. Yeah. You want to do some like you want to do some like new content? Uh, yeah, let's do it right now. Let's do some like challenge videos. Okay. What is a cool challenge? I'll uh, eat an egg. Oh eat. yes, let's do the eat a, f a few eggs challenge. Yes. Not I too many. That would be too no, no, much. No, no. Let's I do eat three eggs challenge. That eat, would be so cool. Eat, eat, th eat three eggs within 45 minute challenge. That is so fucking hilarious. Yes. I would watch that for. And they can be scrambled, fried, etc., etc., et and so on. And you can use pepper and salt and ketchup. Yeah, and oregano. Yeah, you can use it. That is so one. funny. Yeah. 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 Uh, that's <laughs> such a challenge. Use a better challenge. Make a ham sandwich within one hour and eat it within one hour. Here's a good challenge. Guess the color that you were looking at. Uh, oh, this oh, jerk. That is a good one. Here's another good one. Icebox Metal Lie, Donkey Kong. The what? Was that a good challenge? What challenge? It's the Say What You're Looking At challenge. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. trees. Wait, this, I mean, oh my fish. god, there's a little silhouette of Zack in that tree. I'm not even kidding. Whoa. Behind the hand, behind the hand, right there. Is, See this a, is this a hack? Is this a roll? What is this? No, check it out. Look, this is you. That's you from the side. What is Damn, that? you distract that. That's oh. your ear. Tomo Nose, small brain. eye, hair, chin. Tomo literally can't look at two things at once. <laughs> I can't. Look at you. See, he's like a cat. He's like a cat. He was looking at the coaster instead of the coaster. Sorry. I saw Zack. <laughs> I got this. I got this. Oh my god. Chris, let's, let's write an episode of Twilight Zone right now. Okay. Okay. Establishing shot. It's a. Uh, it's a. It's a. It's a. It's a tire store. No, it's a candy shop. It's a fucking candy shack on top of an oil rig. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he's pan down. And it's Rod Serling in the suit. He's like the narrator. And he's covered in oil. Yeah. And he says, "Picture this: a man holding a match, covered in." <laughs> In, yeah, and then he's dead. But then it pans back up to the guy in the yeah, oil yeah, rig. Totally, yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy, you hear like a like an old kind of old westerny kind of music. And he's literally like his, his lines are, "A oh, sigh. It's it sure is lonely <sighs> to sell candy in an oil rig." It's, it's an old man, and it's the episode's called an old man, an old man, an oil rig in a candy shop. No, it's called black candy. Yeah, yeah. Duh. It's called it's called it's called a black candy. It's called the black candy. <laughs> and, and, it's, and, 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 and this old man never gets customers on his oil rig. And so, and so uh, the plot is that it's an old man who runs an oil rig because he <gasps> has to, because it's like his family business. But his real, his real desire is a candy shop. 
So it puts it on top of the oil rig. Yeah? Then what's the plot? A fucking little flying saucer spins it through the window and it's, it abducts all the candy. <laughs> and he goes, OH MY GOD! And it's the big, it's the big candy, uh, the big candy <laughs> expo is coming up, so he needs to make oil into candy real quick. <laughs> it's an evil alien oil tycoon who says, I want to suck up all the candy. And I actually represent big government. He represents the government, even though he's an alien from outer yeah. space? And then, uh... Yeah. And that's the, the, we, we cut to the black. What's the twist? Uh, the Rod Sterling comes out at the end and says, Imagine if you will, a man... <laughs> dim, dimwit Beavis, age 25. No, age 71. Did you just call him Dimwit Beavis? <laughs> that's his name. <laughs> <laughs> because imagine, of Beavis and Butthead? Imagine, imagine a man. Whoa! Name, Dimwit Beavis, age 72. Occupation, oil rig slash candy owner. <laughs> what he learned is that you cannot put a candy store on top of an oil rig. And host an expo and, and not an get abducted by aliens. And have little aliens left play through your window. Okay, Chris, let's see the, let's see the answer song now. Wee 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 wee. You gotta do that with me. Ready? Okay. <laughs> Please rate our episode of Twilight Zone. There's no twist! Uh, the twist was that, uh, the alien was actually... ...his fucking... Uh, he was abducted. He just goes right the candy it. he abducted was actually an alien wait, that he, he wait, wait, abducted. Wait, 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 he abducted the candy? No, the aliens were just abducting their candy child back. He, yeah, he, yeah, he, he abducted it. that. Yeah, he's, that's, that's fucking nonsense. Because it, there's a... Oh, he did it! At the start of the episode, he gets shot into space with the oil. Imagine if you will. <laughs> <laughs> Stabbing an alien in the heart with a big scary dagger is that okay? Right. Zach. That's it, yeah. He sits on an oil volcano and it shoots him up Chris, to the moon cool and he grabs rhyme. the rock and he falls okay, back Chris, down. Okay, Chris, let's do a rhyme. Like, I'll say a word, you say a word. Yeah. And, but we'll do it as Rod Serling, it'll end, okay? Okay. So this is, this is, so this is the cut pants out. Sorry, before it's about to end. Yeah. This is like the lesson part. Imagine. If. You. Will. A. Biscuit. Is it a misty? A biscuit. A biscuit on a oil rig became. What are you? What are we doing? I don't, I don't know, what are we even doing? What and is this? And that's tonight's lesson. Uh, there we go. That's my favorite game mechanic: using another creature as means to get further. Yes. It's also your favorite real life mechanic. You fucking psycho. <laughs> I do do that quite a lot. You do take a hamster or like a cat or some pussy cat or something like that. You tie a chain to it. <laughs> Well, no, I, I was talking about how I, like, used and abused people. Fuck. No, but that little gerbil they use as a, uh, fleshlight. They don't use it as a fleshlight, they use it as a, as a fuck toy. Oh, that's right. Because a fleshlight is a fleshlight. Yeah, a fleshlight has feelings, and I care about those. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think- Did you buy a fleshlight if it definitely, like, they put a chip inside of it so it had feelings you could think? <laughs> what, does it like what I'm doing to it? Uh, you don't know. He's if it was thinking at that point, I'd start, <laughs> I'd start treating it like a human. Just be like, hey, you want to go see? Would you feed it? Would you feed it like chili and stuff? Yeah, you could feed it some chili. <laughs> feed it chili. <laughs> yeah. You could some chili with cheese on top. What does it talk like? <laughs> I'd be like, uh, you know what? It's got vocal cords, too. It doesn't have eyes, though. <gasps> oh my fucking God. Feed me more chili. I want more wedges chili. Oh, I, I just got you chili earlier. I'll have to I'll have to run back out. I, I'm running out of money. I, I really can't keep affording chili. This is ridiculous. This is I crazy. didn't expect you to eat so much. This is crazy. I don't want to do it. You're sleeping on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> it has little fucking T Rex arms. It then it reaches like, out it like for very, chili <laughs> and only chili. Like, no, you'd have to feed it with a spoon. You would. Oh, there's a big a, wooden spoon. Yeah, okay. a giant wooden spoon. Can we, can we give constructive criticism for this game? Yeah. Make it so you can eat the people. Make it so- Another pitch, by the way. Yeah, make the people give you, like, barely any health back. Yeah, make it so you satisfying. can keep a cow in your pocket and feed a person to the cow. Exactly. Make, make him make the pick cow up the fatter. cow and he rings it like a towel in yeah. his mouth. Cow with a towel. Pick up the cow, <laughs> ring it like, like a towel. <laughs> and he says yeah. it like that. Pick up he the says cow it every time. <laughs> and every time he says it, it, like, causes a booming sensation, which causes all the trees to collapse around him like a meteor attack. <laughs> <laughs> That's his like slogan. It's so cool. Even, okay, even these doors. Here's another. Wouldn't it be oh, more satisfying well, if sick. you could break through these doors instead of opening them? Oh, my brain. I feel like this game should just be. Yes. The game should just lead into the destruction and chaos. Like that should you should just rip that off. It's awfully linear for yeah. a game that's about having fun destroying villages. Because this stuff is all satisfying. Those spearing the little guys and shit. 
Yeah, and have it so you can hold down A to jump into space and like slam down like a meteor. And also, you can create tsunamis yep. and tornadoes. And like a dinosaur comes out. And also, you can oh, hold down. This is just like the tutorial section, and then it does open up a bit more. You should be able to press X and hold down and face fuck the people. When and you should drink beer. And you should be able to burp uh, fire onto them. And yep. you should be able to shave your arms. And you should be able to fart fire and say, and say uh, I've been murdered. And piss fire. And piss fire. And shit fire. And cum fire. Cum and cry fire. fire. <laughs> I am giant, please insert girder. <laughs> <laughs> and when uh when he does his finisher he says, You're fired! Oh, cause he cause he cries the fire. Yeah. Uh, He's crying fire and he says you're fired. And he spits fire in his hand. I'd look that human right in his fat ugly face and say <laughs> you're fired. <laughs> I like this giant. Is he the, the final giant? He's the giant. Call this game Final Giant 7. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah, call it Final Giant 7 Part 1. Advent Children. Advent Children. Before Crisis. <laughs> before- After Christ. After Christ, Come before after Christ. Crisis. Rebirth. Yeah, Rebirth. Zero twelve. 12 Final Giant Duodecum. Remastered. <laughs> Duodecum. Decidia, yeah, Decidia <laughs> Final Giant. When you play a game like Resident Evil, does it give you ideas for your Friday night funkin'? Mmm, like to make it all spooky and scary? Yeah. Or, you know what? I think really the only thing I'm gleaming is that if I were to add a Kardashian in, I'd hate them so much <laughs> I could do some funny shit with it. You should have a Kardashian level. See, right? Just a heinous girl who's just a horrible piece of shit. If every country had a cool roller coaster to, like, hype it up. Yeah, that would be nice. You, you can't build roller coasters in this game. Can you go in first person? Yeah, Actually, you, right. can't, you can't build roller coasters. I don't know why I said that. You can, you can build arenas. You can build, like, entertainment zones. I want to go on a roller coaster. Entertainment complexes. You can build theaters, but not roller coasters. Can you build theme what hospitals? Yeah, can, we, can we work some roller coaster tycoon elements into this game? That would make it that perfect. That would be sick. I would love that. I feel if like you just Civ make a roller coaster. Like, forget all the fighting and all the yeah, politics. All, just all only roller coasters. I feel shit. like Civ is missing out on some tap potential. Can't see how I look in the mirror. Of course, of course, a woman wants to go. She looks in the mirror. Boy, just, Am I right, guys? Yeah. Typical. Hey, typical. women, life hack. If you ever can't find a mirror, you pee on the ground and look in the reflection. <laughs> oh, Jill, you are nasty. <laughs> okay, who the fuck's putting their <laughs> screwdriver on the other side of the toilet lid? Did I ever tell you when I was a kid, I got really mad at my dad because you can I shoot was, him. I was oh, God. oh, you died. It's okay. I was obsessed with Tasmania up until I was like age six. <laughs> and when I was age five or six, I drew a comic of Taz and in like Microsoft Paint. And I used my mom and dad's printer, and I printed it out, and I stapled it into a comic. Oh my and, god. And I was like, Dad, can you sell this in your shop? And he was like, okay. And then, uh, I brought it into town. I was like, you gonna put this in the window? And he's like, no, you can't do that! And I was like, oh, you, you lied to me! <laughs> he printed off a bunch of shit and stuff. <laughs> I thought he was gonna dead. sell my comic. I thought I was gonna make money. Wait, you made a comic. This was something you made. Yes. I thought you just printed <laughs> off a bunch of pictures of No, Tez. I literally drew every fucking frame and I, there was a story. What happened? How many it? copies did you I don't remember. I, 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 just, I just basically recreated things I Chris, saw on the show. Chris, <laughs> I, I swear, I thought you literally just went onto Google, looked up Tess Mania, <laughs> printed out a bunch of pictures. You're like, no, Dad, I drew my this? own pictures. They, they kicked ass. I bet they did. No, they How suck. old were you? Oh, like no. five or six. No, it must have been six or seven. Keen is a brittle little Dude, thing. it's hard. This game's tough as shit. I wish they had a gun with literally anything else. <laughs> it's so stupid looking. Yeah, I don't know why they made him a cat. I would have honestly just taken regular ass yeah. like Super Saiyan Mario. And given him like super cool skin pores and super cool stubble. He should have had a katana. Uh, yeah, you're right. Red eyes, pink eyes even. That'd be pretty sick. If they just did that like realistic Mario meme, remember that picture that used to go around in 2005? Oh, where you can see him his in like the chest. pores yeah. and stuff. Yeah, they should have done that. Bring, bring. Hello, it's me, Ure Urethra. Urethra, ask you'll, me anything about urine. The <laughs> island. <laughs> if you get lost. Give me a piss. Bye. <laughs> See, yeah. Search his drawers. Urethra you know, has There is a library in the village that might have some good information Oh, does it just give you, you clues? Talk to you later. Aww. Go through their sock drawer. Why is he trying to send me the library? Do a panty raid. Take the- take the clock's clothes. I wonder if this is the game like, you never really read all those books, so we're gonna hang on that until you do. I genuinely think there could be a I good song it. written about how Link smashes vases. There should be a cartoon about that. <laughs> cartoon. <laughs> there should be a series where Link's a dick and... You wanna roleplay it? Like, I'll be Link. I'm Link. I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> I eat only veal. And I have a treasure trio <laughs> from my tits I'm, to my dick. I'm trying to remember. It makes me sick. 
I'm puking in here. <laughs> <laughs> What you said. That was very gross. <laughs> that was very gross. Now I'm next to Mario. Hi, Link. <laughs> Welcome to what? my world. Why isn't that what this channel is? <laughs> yeah, why don't we do like why, this, why, why, why don't why, we do mash crossover no theme songs? No one's ever done a channel where they sing lyrics to songs that previously had none. <laughs> What if Tomar had lyrics? I like a notch a lot like you fucking said. <laughs> this guy's a fucking- This guy's an asshole! Whoa! I mean, I'll just say whatever everyone's thinking, this guy's kind of a prick! This guy's an asshole! Well, like, he comes right up to you. Like, I wouldn't invite a, him to my wedding. Is that a Marty McFly, uh... What? Sounds like, didn't Marty McFly say that exactly? This guy's an asshole! This guy, I mean, this guy's no. an asshole, Doc! This guy sucks my dick, Doctor! Doctor, Doctor Do White. Doctor, what the frick is going on here? You're like my future. Oh, God, oh, 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 come on, dude! Fuck off! You're telling me they built a time machine out of a DeLorean? That's you actually really a good plot for a movie, Doc. <laughs> you built a slime machine? You built, wait, you're <laughs> a slime machine? Hey, hold on! You got you built a slime machine out of a toilet? <laughs> Marty, come play with my slime. <laughs> this isn't slime. I was sitting on my toilet and I hit my head on the toilet and I realized this could be a slime machine. <laughs> No big, no big slime in the history of slime villains are about to do anything. <laughs> God. Lyle, if I had a magic potion, I'd make it so that your testicles turn into horse hooves. Do you get to choose what they do? Yeah. I didn't know it worked that way. It's the big butch, bu <laughs> the big book of butch witch spells. Who's butch? Butch Hartman. Butch Hartman and his merry witches. <laughs> Candacilla will surely visit her wrath upon us once. This music does not suit at she, all. She, okay, she is dead. She's like dead dead. I'm kinda... Dude, I kinda feel like we have a mission now. We must avenge Apolita. If I were Frey, I would snap her arm off and eat her like a chicken Please wing. Please throw her in the fire. I would, like I would carry her drink. on my back for the remainder of the game. What That's if she gonna... was just asleep and Frey just threw her in the fire? What Frey should do is tie ropes to her legs and then drag her around the whole rest of the game. That would be fucking amazing. And she starts like rotting. <laughs> yeah, use her like a flail. Yeah. She becomes Spin your, around uh, like that with her. She becomes your blaze of chaos. <laughs> See, that game developers take note. Imagine you give like Jack and Daxter, but what's the little what's the little weasel one? Daxter? Imagine if Daxter died like a third of the way through the game, but you could use him as a weapon. <laughs> His he's just, like, flopping around. He's just dead weight. That's the brain, isn't it? No, it's Pinky Dog. He doesn't say any of this. He says, it's... "Wait, what does he say again?" He says, "A hi a herm, a hook." What does he say? Brink, prinky, <laughs> cranky. What does Prinky say? <laughs> I'm cranky. <laughs> Crinkles the rat. Crinkles the rat. Use diaper fur. Oh no. Oh god. I think he says something annoying. He says, <laughs> he says something. What is it? I think he just laughs weird. I don't know. It's been so long since I've seen that Fuck. shit. I need a look. God damn it. Google, what does Pinky say? Oh. What does Pinky say? Is what? his name really Pinky? Yes. Oh. I didn't Narf. Know. Fucking, yeah, that's it. It's Narf. Oh, Narf. Oh, you meant Pinky for Pinky in the Brain. What else did, who else I is thought, called Pinky? I thought you were talking about the pink mask. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's purple. Sorry. I guess he is more purple. What is the meaning of Narf? The Rice University ne neo neo neologism neologism. <laughs> What is that word? Neologism? I guess neologism. I. What the fuck does that mean? The Rice University neologism. I think it's just like a newer, oh a newer phrase. Includes or not only narf as a random sound or nonce word. What the fuck? Nonce word. But also narfed as a verb to mean to be struck completely with some embarrassment or folly. Much as Pinky would be hit on the head by Brain after his folly's ruined Brain's plan. What a shitty word. Yeah. If you have to say all that just to explain it, it's not worth it. Yeah. It's yeah. better explained just by, like, it's the thing that, uh, Pinky Fuck. says. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the thing that Pinky says. <laughs> that, yeah, nobody expected it, it to mean anything. It's just a yeah. random fucking word. Well, now you know the, the- Do you wish you could unlearn that information? Yes! Yeah. I kind of do. <laughs> I don't think that ever needed to be addressed by an ac- in an academic setting, and yet it was. Some you disgusting Harvard fucking professor sat with his other <laughs> disgusting friends and came up with that. <laughs> That's a little harsh, but... They deserve it! You can't just sit around in a fucking circle and expect not to be made fun of for coming up with NARF. <laughs> I don't think they came up with NARF. It's... They came up with the meaning for it! 
Yeah, like, but we know what we need to but, discuss. But, but what they, the word the mouse says in that cartoon. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> they should come up with. Uh, I bet. You, w wouldn't it be awkward if that professor is a, is a listening? He's a fan of Oni Play. I hope he's listening so we can get fucking. <laughs> Banished from his job. <laughs> banished. <laughs> what would him listening get him banished? I don't know. He'll he'll get so embarrassed, his face will turn beet red, and the other professors will look over. Like, What's wrong? <laughs> What's wrong, dude? <laughs> Narf. I mean, nothing. Narfing. Narfing. <laughs> Narfing. <laughs> Oh no! And that faux pas with his colleagues. He has a fupa. Ca causes a string. <laughs> He's gonna write a medium article called "My N Word Narf." <laughs> My N Word. It got <laughs> canceled. <That's> a... <laughs> I love the idea of a book called "My N Word" about the word narf. One of the funniest things. See that ball on that rope? Yeah. One of the funniest things you could prank your friends with: go into their house, nail one of those to the roof. They won't know what the H is going on. <laughs> I do. I saw a really funny prank where this guy like bugged somebody's house with like 4,000 cameras and like 4,000 microphones and like documented his life and live streamed it for like 12 years. <laughs> it was fucking really funny. Dude, <laughs> if someone did that to me, I'd lol. If someone did that to me, I'd Lyle, be fucking... I've got some good news for you. <laughs> There'd be so many moments of me just like scratching my asshole and looking around. I bet if you watched yourself through your own camera, you'd hate yourself. Yeah, you'd probably, yeah. That's the thing, you know, I, I, I read literally exactly that sentence verbatim him somewhere recently. No, well, like not not exactly the same, but it's like if you if you could look at yourself through it like third person, like you would just hate yourself. Yeah. I mean, that's like the thing, right? Anytime you see a picture of yourself, you're like, eh, is that what I look like? Yeah. You know, because you're used to seeing. But imagine yourself seeing how dead you act. in a mirror. Yeah, imagine seeing your eyes just like wander. You look like a fucking idiot, man. But also just acting alone though, like with other people, you're probably putting on something. But if you're alone. Like, just looking at your bad posture when you're by the computer, <laughs> you're f***ing, like, coughing, oh my god, you'd, you'd hate yourself. I've told you, that's, I've got a mirror to my right, so whenever I look over... I don't know why you do that. Sometimes I'm just literally, my head is over my keyboard, and I'm like, Gollum. <laughs> <laughs> I really kind of wish that Nintendo got ruined with social justice, that would be really funny. Make Mario a POC. Just, like, mar ruin Mario with a bunch of shit like that, and Donkey Kong. I want Mario to be an Afghanistan refugee. I want them to talk about all these modern issues. It'd be really uncomfortable. <laughs> boom baby. You ever hear the phrase boom baby? Tomer, you wouldn't play a game where Bowser gets Peach pregnant and she wants an abortion, but Bar Mario wants to raise it just because. Why do you see a fucking rock crush this monkey really bad? That would, that would be like really strikingly like... It would surprise me. Man, I missed her. I sure did too. Chewy, Fuck we're home. yes. This is amazing. <laughs> okay, I so it's been eight years since we played this last. I don't remember any of the controls. I don't even know if I was the one playing. Do the popular demand will bring this series back for five episodes. Yeah, we're like Futurama. It just keeps coming back. And yes, there will be a COVID episode. We're gonna do a COVID commentary special. Did and they do that in Futurama? They will. And there's an episode called Zap Gets Cancelled, which hasn't come out yet. <laughs> <laughs> and Bender gets COVID-19, so we'll see what happens. It's yeah, it'll be called Rogue. I, I, <laughs> I was going for the same thing, and you know what? They probably will, too. Robot 19 the robot Yeah, no, be like, get COVID yeah, from China! No, Bender will be, like, cavalier about it. He'll be like, I'm not wearing a stupid mask! <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. And, and then, uh, and then and he'll get it. And 98-year-old Billy West will say, Oh my god. Oh my god, my whole family died of COVID. Bender, my whole family died of COVID in the past. I'm glad I'm in the future where it's not a thing no more. We should go to the Laugh Factory and pay respects. We should all go to the Laugh Factory just as, as Michael Richards on that fateful night. Whoa, dude. And then Lyle will call in to fucking the late night show. Lyle will call Bob Thurney to Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what I do every I Tuesday. We have Bob like a- I inside your car. We have like a Mo Sislak, Bart Simpson kind of relationship. Yeah, yeah, you and Jimmy Kimmel. Every, every week I call in a bomb threat. And he goes, <laughs> listen here, you little bastard. He fell he if I find you, I'm going to grab your tongue and pull it out through your asshole. <laughs> and, then it, yeah. and, then it cuts, and then it cuts to Jimmy Fallon stroking his perfect nine-inch cock. <laughs> Camera zooms in. He's very clear the head of his penis. <laughs> it goes right up. Goes, in this, it goes into the penis head. There's a Universal Studios ride based on that. You go up his urethra and you, you whoa, right around Jimmy's urethra. <laughs> You're flying around like... It's fucking amazing. It's amazing. 
There we go. Oh, well you know done. what? Chris, of all the things to waste uh, your eggs on, that is probably the most noble. Chris, you meet the woman <laughs> of your dreams. Yeah. I know, I agree. You take her back home. You like, yeah, you, yeah, we'll do it again. Like, grab her by the... You grab her by the shirt, right, right? Right. Uh, it's locker it's, room it's talk. Like, it's like the most, you know, the best... Uh, girls talk but, about me like that. I don't care. Yeah, it's like the be be best come of your life ever with this girl. The best come of my life. And then you wake up and then uh, you realize next, you know, it was a, it was a monkey in a wig. <laughs> That's from Tails Gets Trolled. What's that? <laughs> that happens in Tails Gets Trolled. How would that change your life? If a I think I just glitched. A monkey in a wig. Yeah, and, but it was like that. You were like the night before. You were I like, think that I just was the glitched best, like, this the whole level come. out. Yeah, you definitely fucked up. But I don't know that you glitched it all. Like, out. What would you do? If I, if I fucked oh, a monkey resets. in a wig and it okay. was... Yeah. Honestly, it sounds like a fucking low-maintenance kind of thing. I, I'd, I'd probably be fine with it. I was gonna say, you're you not... continue to see the monkey? You probably yeah. won't hurt the monkey's Jones. feelings. It, it keep... spins when you're off of it. Oh! <laughs> Motherfucker. There you go. That's freaking cool. That's freaky sweet. <laughs> this game Peter is Griffin's freaking here. sweet. Toma, Peter, we brought Peter Griffin here to encourage you. Hey, Toma. <laughs> Oh, hey, huh. Peter. Hey, Toma. Huh. Hey, Peter, I didn't expect you to be here. Well, here what's I am. What's going on? Toma, I haven't I seen you since, you. you know, that last time. I'm a very busy guy. We're working on the new season. How's the uh, new season? <laughs> yeah, how's it been going, by the way? Same old. Yep. Do you, do you, yep. Do you, did, were, did you have any, like, favorite jokes from this past season, at least? Quite about 50 marches. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see. And, uh, what, 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 how does that happen? What does that Z look like? Can you describe it a little bit? I want to describe it. <laughs> what do you think of the fact that there's games out there that are so un unbelievably bad that are worth $25,000 just because there's only one copy of them? Like what? You mean like that scam Cheetahman game? Like that kind of shit. Do you remember the Kickstarter video they did where they like, didn't they brag about scamming a bunch of people? I don't want to speak ill of them, but I, that's what I recall. <laughs> people put fake-ass value on these awful pieces of shit just because they, they're kind of ingrained in video game history. Yeah, well, what well, happens a lot of those, one of those really old games, like if you're, if you're 70s or 80s or something. Yeah. And it's a piece of ass game. It's just funny that right now we could probably make something that's a, a fucking horrendous piece of shit. We could probably get some hype around it. And then we could scam people with it, right? Yeah. We could say, this game's gonna be awesome, but then in the future, if we only make a few copies of it now, in the future it'll be worth like, yeah, like $25,000. Yeah. yeah. Let's do that. What's the game called? Uh... Okay, uh, okay, you think of one word, you think of the next word, I'll think of the last word for the game. You, Screech. No, you start. Wait, Screech. Lightning. Doggo. Screech Lightning Doggo. <laughs> the best, the best epic game of all time. They should, make, they should make a game called Screech Minister, and you're 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 just a uh... screaming priest. <laughs> I still want to play priest. a game called Worm Odyssey really badly. <laughs> Yeah, why don't we just do that one then? Worm Odyssey. Worm Odyssey. Worm Odyssey. 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 Hashtag Worm Odyssey. Guys, everyone hashtag in the comments. Worm Odyssey. A fucking harass Kickstarter. <laughs> Tell them to make it. <laughs> I don't think that's how a Kickstarter works. Don't harass Kickstarter. Guys, harass Kickstarter with the, with the phrase Worm Odyssey. <laughs> don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Just, just at okay, Kickstarter much, and just say Worm Odyssey how now. Much, how much preferably we, how much in hashtag we, form. How much are we raising for Worm Odyssey? What are we asking for? I think we for? need 100000 for that. I think that. we need 150 at least. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Let's say a million. Let's say a million bucks. Yeah, a million on, dollars on to get spot. Worm Odyssey off the ground. What, what are the perks we're going to do? Uh, you get a real-life worm. worm. <laughs> <laughs> you get one long, straight, dry worm. You get a, uh, a mile-long stretch of dirt in a tank for him to go on an odyssey through. He can, he can crawl, yeah, like a one-inch a one long tube of dirt. You get, uh, a full ten jars of warm nutrients. <laughs> so we're just selling a pet worm at this point. Yeah, that's, that, that's, that's the executive producer fee you get if you donate $15,000. If, if you donate $20,000, we will create tiny little googly eyes to uh, weld onto the worm's head. <laughs> Welding not And not if you, done, do, if you donate you... at least $70,000, you can voice one of the worm enemies, which sounds like this. <laughs> <laughs> if you donate the full million, you are executive producer at the bottom of the credits. Yeah, and, and, and also you are responsible for making the whole entire game. <laughs> the la and at the very end, the worm says, Ha ha, thanks! And he says your name. Yeah, thanks, you Steven! Thanks, Steven. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. And then, uh... So... We, we're gonna need... 
999,000 for marketing and the rest for the actual I don't, budget. Yeah. I don't think that was supposed to work, but <laughs> I, this is also a franchise. It's a series. Yeah, there will be sequels. Yeah, there'll there'll be and prequels. There'll be a trilogy <laughs> of <laughs> Worm Odysseys. <laughs> yeah, we'll make one called Worm Odyssey Origins after we're done with the. Uh... You, you know, you know when they always reboot like a movie or a game. It's always kind of the first word, like you know, they you know they reboot a movie and it's just like. Like, like Planet of the Apes. Like, if they reboot it now, they just call it Apes, probably. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, let's, so the, so the we just call it Worm? Yeah, the pre yeah, the prequel's called Worm. Or Odd Worm. Yeah, no, they're just Worm. Yeah, it has to be Worm. How come they're white washing her in the background there? They're gray washing her. I wish I was gray. Imagine if you could get a surgery to, like, inject your skin to become a black and white man. Just, just completely grayscale. We should do that. I'm sick already. of all these reddish, pinkish colors underneath my skin. Well, you know, what the hell there's is... people that inject like cookie oil into their biceps and like their lips and stuff. So why can't? And then they, they look genuinely shredded. And they look. I, I mean, that's what I've been doing, by the way. I don't know if you've noticed. I actually didn't notice. Well, I mean, that's the I whole. I, mean, I think I'm doing it subtly. You wear a lot of big, baggy like uh, sweaters. Yeah, I mean, I am. Take that off and show me. Uh, you want to see? Yeah. All right here. I'll just, uh, okay. What yeah, the, yeah, I see it. Do you think? Do, do you think that's? Uh, noticeably, or sorry, I mean, yeah, no. you need to stop wearing these sweaters. Oh, I know your favorite rapper is on them, but you can. <laughs> well, I feel like if I wear his wear his shirt, I feel like I get his powers. You might you'll promote him to other people like that probably go, don't I, know about him yet. Yeah. You know, also, when I do like epic rap battles of of history, I feel like I do better. Oh, so that's who that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. E, or B O, H. Huh? I thought that was like a rapper, so it's epic rap battles of history. Yeah. And I do stuff like, um, like watch, give me a, give me a scenario and I'll give you who it go versus against. Give you a scenario? Okay, <laughs> give me a person and I'll tell you who. Okay. What's that thing crawling around yeah. in the background? Oh, That's a person mopping. Uh, how about Christopher Columbus? Who would we he Christopher rap Christopher Columbus battles? versus, and then you could do like, um, the people love them for uh, the natives! The natives! Bacon! You're missing so much, like, exposition dialogue dryly the spat scrubber. over. For yeah. a split second, I thought there was a little golem thing crawling towards you on the thing cleaning the ground. I thought, it was like, I thought that was gonna be a plot thing. Like a I want there to be a Smash Brothers reveal for the scrubber. The scrubber! Free bridge! Gollum! Oh, I would love Gollum to be in Smash. <laughs> he bites your finger off as his finishing move. <laughs> That'd be so cool. <laughs> Who else could we add to Smash? Homer, Peter. Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus. <laughs> oh, that would be cool too. Richard Nixon! Oh, uh, the big black guy from the Green Mile. The big black guy from the Green Mile who sucks the evil out of you! And the, and the mouse, Mr. Jingles. Wait, as a separate character or as like a Banjo-Kazooie kind of a thing? Uh, no, he'd be on his person, in his pocket. So that's like, that's like That's a... his final smash. Okay. His final smash is he blo blows, like, bugs out of his mouth. And Mr. Jingles, uh, does, like, a cool little, like, floss. Yeah, that's a good- he flosses? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Who, Mr. Jingles. Uh, Steven Universe. Yep, Steven Universe. Uh... Bill Gates, with his, like, literal woman tits. I'm not even kidding, if you look at a recent picture of Bill Gates, he literally has womanly breasts in every picture. Wait, Chris, I'm not joking, you know that he got, like, breast implants, right? I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> I've seen these pictures. I think Frey should be in Smash. Can you imagine? Uh... The Nostalgia Critic, the AVGN, uh, Linkara. Linkara. Spoonie. The e -Rate Gamer would be good. He'd be amazing, I'd love to see him. His final smash would be he turns, like, everyone pink. Pink. Oh, so that... <laughs> I feel like Ratatouille would be good. Ratatouille? Oh, we're still talking about Smash Bros? Yeah, yeah. which characters would you want to add, Lyles? Uh, to Smash Bros? Um... Steve Carell from The Office. <laughs> that sucks. Uh, Metallica. <laughs> <laughs> the, <laughs> is like one character with four characters. That'd be, yeah, that'd, like that'd Pokemon be, that'd Trainer. The game. <laughs> four characters running around all at the same move. Yeah. They're all like in the- Time yeah. to go kill that bitch. Okay. That's awesome. That's not nice, Frey. You shouldn't, like, take pleasure in killing other humans. Dilbert. I think she does, yeah. Dilbert would be good. That being said... His final smash is the Dilberito. The Dilberito? Dilberito. And he gets, so he gets 100% of his daily nutrition and beats Scott Adams fucking ranting at Shelly and his Scott job. Adams himself would you be good. You stupid fucking... <laughs> yeah, Scott <laughs> Adams! That's his, fi that's his final smash, you stupid fucking... <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> That's the funniest thing ever. That would be an amazing final smash. All you need is a cup of mugger glass, a tiger, a chalice, or a Christian obviously would be an amazing character. His final smash, smash is, um, we won't say that. All of the Sonichus fly in and hit you from <laughs> different nice angles. I, was I knew say. exactly where you're going with that. Oh. <laughs> now I get it. He fucking he lulls you into, into a comatose state. <laughs> he, like, he drives you insane over the course of fucking 32 years and then he needs you, uh, he throws food throws replacement shakes. I was gonna say, he throws the food replacement shakes at you as an attack. <laughs> yeah, and if that hits you, your mind is just gone. You become hypnotized. Yeah. You lay in your bed for the final time that night. Bob Chandler! <laughs> Bob Chandler would be good. He cuts down the internet. Chris Chick have a few outfits. Yeah, you could have, Classic uh, Chris Chan. I'm him here, painted I'm, like Sonic with the green blue. Here. Uh, you could have him naked. Him with the PS2 with in the his ass? With the all, like, censoring his cock. <laughs> yeah. That'd be good. Did you guys ever have that CD called 3D Game Maker? Uh, I remember 3D Movie Maker. No, 3D Game Maker. I remember I wanted to buy it, but my yeah, mom wouldn't let me. My friend lent it to me. My friend it. lent it to me, and he left it at my house, and I just had it for, like, years. How many games did you create with that thing? I made a thing? bunch. I made a Donkey Kong game where you were like Donkey Kong being you captured by the U.S. government. <laughs> you like, a, you're like escaping a government facility. I made a bunch of sweet games. That's the stupidest shit. You could get like, made it so you could get like red bananas and stuff. It was sweet. Okay, that sounds a lot better yeah, than regular yeah, Donkey yeah. Kong. Mango stock. I also made a game called Tomato Adventures, and you, you're a little tomato that shoots little, like, projectiles in your hand. Really? <laughs> yeah. So you, so you never decided to do Worm Odyssey, even though you had the power? I didn't- I didn't really- couldn't even comprehend- my brain couldn't even comprehend Worm Odyssey back then. That's fair. What is- wait, what is Worm Odyssey? It's an incompre- it would take literally a five million dollars- twenty million dollars to make that game. <laughs> what is- uh, can you describe to us what- No. It would- no? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I could, but you get sick of your tummy. It'd make you, it'd make you absolutely nauseous. It's fucking rude that you just the cut him off like the that. The last guy that I uh, explained Worm Odyssey to kind of went insane. He kind uh, of got into a coma. Boost up that turbo, Tomar. I'm gonna open this turbo drink. Then maybe I'll have more turbo energy. Ugh. Has there ever been a movie called like Turbo the Snail? That's a good idea. Oh yeah. We and should we should patent that immediately. Dude! I mean Zach, we speedrun games all the time. Yeah, we're all nuts. Yeah. You're right. I mean, Chris, you've got carvings in your arm right now. Why don't you explain to the audience what those are about? What those mean? Those are reminders. Those are your new language. You those thought play of. into my life. They're not just meaningless. No, no, but you thought a new language up. Why don't you go ahead and uh well, I don't want to embarrass you, but you thought a new language up. So well, why don't you not go finish so you have embarrassed me? Why don't you give us like, a, like hello or something in this new language? Okay, real fast. Okay. You know what we have to do. For this game, this, this has to be done. We oh gotta connect God. these pieces of shit that make Chris scream his little brain at. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, it's happening, Chris, apparently. I'm not doing it. Anyway, my language. Uh, hello? Yeah. Uh, oh, Othello. Othello. Now, I'm now, sad. This game has good two players. You, you also thought of goodbye, right? I thought bye. <gasps> Spring! <laughs> I'm sorry, uh. Let's do no. a conversation. No. A theus. Uh, a thea, a thea, a thea, a thea, are you? Shut the fuck up! Yo, oh, I don't think he knows what we're saying. Uh, sorry, yeah, we're just speaking a new language. Here. Wait, what? A thave, a thiz, a thoroughly, a thnoying. Thigh. I'm moments away from killing myself. <laughs> Oh, don't worry. He what you just said he liked you in his new language. Oh. Uh, that's what he said. It's a secret new language. It's a secret new language he's been thinking of. A figure. Uh, uh. What? Someone should make a video game. They should. Someone should make a, it's video a good idea. Game. <laughs> Chris, maybe you and, should make and, a video game. No, not me. <laughs> what kind of video game? Like a new Game Boy? Just any old game. Any old game, but like pander to uh, gamers. Uh, and nostalgia. I do think someone should make a new, like, fun, like, FPS game with, like, oh, God, maybe, fuck. like, a woke slant to it. I feel like the, the concept of Dig Wingman shit is, like, way too cringy. I, it I, is. You yeah. can't do that. You gotta be a grown man, stomp right up to her. Oh, uh, I don't even- maybe this just sounds stupid. I don't even think talking to girls, like, at random in public works ever at all. Like, I don't think anybody really just wants to be, like, approached and asked out like that. Especially not in this modern age. Yeah, it's like- I think one time at MAGFest, many, many, many years ago, I did that when I was, like, really young, and, like, because my friends were like, go on, pussy, you won't. And I did it just to prove that I could. Yeah. But it just felt, like, insanely, insanely cringy. It is. So where it's like, I feel like you need to get to know somebody and then ask them out. Like, going up to, like, a random girl, like, that shit's just in, like, the movies. That shit is not real, I don't think. 
I'm telling you, Dave, you gotta go up, and you gotta say something that instantly grabs their attention. Like, I will follow you home and kill you. <laughs> <laughs> That's attention grabbing. I, mean, I was gonna say something more like, I like your earrings. They remind me of a dolphin in the ocean. <laughs> that's a like, good one. That's a good yeah, line. I guess that's pretty good. And then they go, what the fuck? They're pentagrams. And you're like, yes. Can I kiss you now? And then you say, don't worry, go back to bed. It was just a mouse. <laughs> I want to go up to a girl and go, hello. Hello? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Yeah, what if she hits you with the FNAF too high? Is that like instant wife coming her for life? Instant punch her into atoms. What? For doing fucking FNAF 2 Balloon Boy? No, you, okay. She can do that. Look at those little rocks. That is incredible. The Incredibles? The Incredibles 3? The Incredibles 3? Jack There's Jack's a lot Big of Journey? <laughs> Alright, Pixar, I'm open. I'm gonna give you some ideas. Alright, Jack Jack is now... Wait, is he, is he the baby? Yeah. <laughs> Jack, 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 Jack is now Jack Jack is at 74. <laughs> and all the characters you liked in the first movie are dead, including Iceman. Iceman? His name's not and, Iceman, it's and Frozen. And Metal Call Saul is also dead. <laughs> and now, it's a whole new cast. They let him have superpowers. Okay. And Jack Jack got dropped on his head when he was doing it. He looks, got too stupid. That looks interesting. And he forgot his powers. <laughs> So now he's just like a homeless guy? Yeah. Destroy Guys, that. we got all of our T-levels checked, and all of our T-levels are below, below half of average. What's the RT standard for? Lord. You, you, you have the lowest. What's RT? the lowest? Chris's, Chris's T was three standard deviations T below the mean. Yeah. Chris's T-levels were that of a, of, a, of, a newborn bowl, of a newborn girl. It's because I keep drinking it's too much Gladys. bottled water. It's Gladys. It looks like... It, it's it, all a bad fluoride. That, that, looked like, <laughs> <laughs> that looked like Gladys. I wash my hair with weird shit. I don't it's know. It's all the microplastics. It's swimming around your fucking DNA, dude. Sorry to tell I, you. Chris. I buy microplastics and I swallow it oh like God. pepper. I genuinely take microplastic pills. I genuinely, <laughs> I genuinely would take pills that had plastic in them, but I feel like you just eat pills. I genuinely plastic on them. would do. Why would you do that, Corey? Uh, because I feel like I know it has a lot of like bad problems now, but I feel like the benefits will eventually show up in the future. The so. benefits? Yeah, the benefit. eating plastic. He's right because plastic <laughs> lives forever. Yeah, plastic. You you eventually die, but plastic. Yeah. Lives yeah. Forever. <laughs> Nickelodeon comes to you, they want you to do Avatar, yeah. the Airbender, but they want to call Adam the Pee Bender. <laughs> and it's about you, and you can, you can like, make you it You came pee. up with this idea while you were in the toilet, didn't and you? you're talking about Tobar, how did you fucking know that? <laughs> yeah, I was looking at my pee, and I thought, this should be a movie. This could be a this show. Be a <laughs> <laughs> that, that's my producer brain working, I see pee, and I go, that's a concept. You know, ever since you got that this show, is, you've got You guys are seeing away. movie magic <laughs> at work here. Hey, wait, there's something wiggling in his pants. Wait, Wait a minute, hold the phone. That's not, that's not a worm! That's not a worm! That's not a worm! No, it's the golden, it's my golden banana. That's my goldfish. Give me that. <laughs> don't, 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 you both keep talking about water. peeling your banana, brother. Ew, a bug. Protein, free protein. I like eating bugs and living in my pod. <laughs> I also love having fucking a big virus unleashed upon my body. It's kind of great. You wanna go lick some poles outside? <laughs> I wanna go lick handrails. Let's go lick some handrails. I do think these games are genius. I think it is the most genius thing anyone's ever come up with. It is. It also, like, kind of pioneered children horror games, so it is worth, like, celebrating in that regard. But it's also worth shooting down and in that all, regard. All these fucking hacks and clowns came out with their own version of it. Yeah. We should make our own children's horror game. Honestly, like, you could make some bank. Look, we'll at, look at the fucking Garden of Banban trailer. Yeah, can we, can we play Garden of Banban? I do want to play that. It looks like a baby's first 3D game. I would really love a Five Nights at Freddy's type game where you're a security guard at the monitors and you're in a museum of, like, Channel Awesome robots. Oh, so good. And all the Channel Awesome robots are trying to kill Why you. Why hasn't anyone made Five Nights at Channel Awesome? Wouldn't that be so cool? Yes, and then you're, you're, a. Uh, What's the guy's name who, who ran Channel Awesome? It's like Mike Mashad. Yeah, it's you're Mike Mashad, and all these other robots are coming up to get you. I think that'd be so cool. And you're like, uh, you have like the like this, this is running a museum animation. dedicated to the greatest period of the internet, 2010. You have you have like <laughs> 2010. I hate Chris, to be old about editor, it, but that was a good year. Editor, for the internet. take the clip of Foxy. When he's running down the hall and put running Linkara on the hall. <laughs> Wouldn't it be cool if there was like 
There's the Nostalgia Critic, Linkara, Spoonie, Nostalgia Chick. That's all of them. Uh, Cinema Snob. Yeah, Cinema Snob. I want the most iconic Channel Awesomers. Nostalgia Chick, Cinema I Snob. I just fucked up. I just fucked up. Holy <laughs> Oh, scared me. Sure. There, there should be one more. Oh, we might get a mini game. Maybe Angry Joe. Oh yeah. Maybe finally, after beating the whole game, we get one mini game. What's a mini game? You're about to Who's see that? Maybe. It's a small That's game. Freddy. I just pooed shit with my freaking behind. See, that would have been a fucking that A plus. That should have that... been, been the trailer moment. <laughs> <laughs> the cuff would go, and go how crap talking toilets? Um, did you just poo into my mouth? <laughs> oh. Her portable poo. Um, poo oh, come on did, now. Wait, oh, did come. my toilet just freaking talk back after I pooed a big coiled up turd? Um, oh you, you're such a card. Oh you. You're just like, yeah, you're, actually she said like this cause he said like this cause his poo is about oh, 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 oh. You know what I mean? I don't suppose you've been eating corn. This is like Alice in Wonderland. Goddamn shit out of here. This would be like Alice in Wonderland if Alice pooed inside the rabbit's mouth. <laughs> oh man. She poos on the white rabbit, dude. Brown rabbit. <laughs> now it's not white yeah, anymore. No, now there's a stain of brown rabbit, dude. I think we should not make a baby, but maybe adopt a baby. For the only place family? No way. That's yeah, we could all have it. We could all bring it It'll on. Play. I already told you how bad of a father I am and yeah, how much practice this, I've had. This is your. This is. Okay, maybe we shouldn't have. You know what's funny? There's this new view oh. that uh, children uh, know best. Wait, what? You know what I mean? Know best? Dude, there literally, there's literally a whole contingent of people that uh, think that, be that bedtimes... No, I'm just saying, it's scary. What do they think? There, there's a whole contingent of people that think children should fucking make the rules to society. That, like, bedtimes are, like, what? evil. It, it would be like the fucking Lord of the Fly situation. I know, exactly, I, exactly. What ends in, what, it, okay, if kids were in Humanity charge... Humanity's just gonna keep literally the same fucking five mistakes over and over in like yeah. an infinite loop. Yeah. Kids cannot be in charge of anything. They're dumb. I can confirm this. I was a kid once. Have you ever heard of tiles? Those things you put on your wallet. If you lose your wallet, you uh, tiles. I've yeah, never it's, even it's heard It's like that. an electronic tile you is put this on a, your is wallet. Is this a product placement? No. Yeah, what is a tile? I'm just saying. I'm gonna it's I'm gonna like open up my kid house. and I'm gonna shove an electronic tile into their body. I've never heard of a tile. That sounds like something you understand. That way, like I can a keep track of my kid wait, wait, and Chris, I can electrocute them. When I, I have a bad. giant. <laughs> well, I like the idea. I have a flaw. That I, I, I have a hole I'm gonna poke, and it's this: your child would see your face and connect the dots that you that you're the one that did that so here's can i make a suggestion it's just an oh idea. i would just pay like a stranger to do it well and i agree but here's the thing he's gonna grab him on his way to school and fill his ass you've got you've, <laughs> you've, you've got this electro <laughs> he's gonna shove it down his throat how else is he gonna get well, it well no that's what i'm saying you've got this electro out of gizmo right uh -huh. you dress up like an alien gray with giant black eyeballs you fucking shine a gray light through his window ah! Yeah. <laughs> and then you knock, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Knock, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, well, <laughs> you put laugh, you put laughing gas, and then uh, and knockout gas. You put a laughing track and knockout laughing gas. gas after the scream. He's gonna remember. Yeah, like, yeah, no, but it's, but then you would have the electro device in it, but he up. would think it's an alien did that. Yes. That's a good idea. That was my only suggestion. You're, no, you're right. It would be cool to have kids specifically so you could like, uh, <laughs> like create cool prosthetics, prosthetics monsters. Did you see what happens? And just terrorize your kid. Yeah. So yeah, you can, have, it, you can have a gray alien one night, a Bigfoot another night. Maybe, uh... It seems like a lot of work just to, like, fuck with your kid. Like, uh, It's my, a lot of work, but it's a lot of art. It's my, a lot of yeah, content. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so that's oh, content guess. for the channel. No, so, I think I, I just Tomar, did, like, a bonus Have you ever challenge. put honey all over your balls? Nope. And let it crystallize? Wow, wow. sir. And hit it with a hammer? Someone does <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Shatter it like, like a fucking Mortal Kombat yeah, what fatality. What is it? It's fucking liquid nitrogen or honey? That's what are we talking about? the most natural way to get a vasectomy, is what I'm saying. The yes. most natural way? Yeah. What could be more natural than just using only honey and nothing else? That's how the French explorers did it. Yeah. When they were like at sea and they just needed a vasectomy. I wish I could play God and go <laughs> back in time. Who just need a vasectomy at sea? I wish I could play God and go back in time with just like a ship full of honey and pour it on someone really famous back then. <laughs> Like Joan of Arc? Yeah, like crystal ice or honey. <laughs> Poor honey. <and> Joan of <laughs> Arc. Like fucking like the Jurassic Park mosquito. Yeah. Oh, so so she'd just be perfectly preserved and you could take her DNA and clone yeah, her. And then we you could have the movie Joan of Park where <laughs> have a bunch of Joan of Arcs. <laughs> Joan of Park. That's well, not bad. That's not bad there? at all. Well. <laughs> if you could have yeah. the penis of a cadaver huh? of a celebrity. That's a cadaver what? celebrity? Oh, it's one of these rooms. Uh, uh, the, the penis of a cadaver of a celebrity. You know it's on the ceiling. Oh, damn it. Would you do that? How? Why is that happening? I yeah, think it's because you look go. up and there's a guy up there. Hopefully, now that the doll project is over, 
I'll get transferred back to the surface facility soon. It's been very interesting, but I generally fear for my life every day. <laughs> That's not ideal job security. Look up. Look straight up. Yeah. Wait. Oh, oh that's oh, even creepier. Cool. It's definitely in here somewhere. Oh, oh it's oh, down there. Oh, a, oh, there you go. oh, that rocks. I knew it. <laughs> that was perfect. Okay, so I have the penis of a dead cadaver celebrity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, well, wh which yeah, why, celebrity why, would it be? Why do you keep that around? I'm just saying, which celebrity <laughs> would it be? If you could pick any dead celebrity. <sighs> we abandoned the doll idea of tethering this. Sorry. I... <laughs> I, I feel bad for like interrupting conversations to do the lore stuff. No, I mean, go for it, but just st stand back so it doesn't clip, dude. Tomar, if that clips over time, I'm walking out. This was part. It's not my fault, man. <sighs> Sheena, you really fucked up here. I'm just saying. You really fucking pissed off Tomar. One of the agreements that <laughs> Tomar and I agreed to to come on was that nothing was gonna clip. That nothing was gonna clip through the table and, this time. And what's happening? Put it on a separate render layer next time, okay? Do it now! <laughs> <laughs> now! Uh, I don't know of any dead celebrities with big dicks, so... <laughs> um... Maybe Hitler, just so I can say I have Hitler's dick. Mein Koch! <laughs> mein Penendorf! Mein Koch! Mein Penis! <laughs> mein Penor! <laughs> mein Penorf. <laughs> Bear baby no! <laughs> What if ja Jamurai Sack's new catchphrase was "Baba be down"? Was Baba be down? <laughs> yeah, Baba be down. That'd be awesome. I, th I think I think it would have gotten about ten more seasons if that was his catchphrase. <laughs> oh fuck you, you dumb fucking! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is like the one game that face cam would actually be kind of funny to have with. Yeah, it would be funny. We should do a new. Th we should innovate. We should do like spread ass cam. <laughs> That's a good idea. Every time we scream, our assholes will clench. We just spray shit all over the cam. <laughs> you guys want to go outside and s smack some beehives? Yeah, let's go smack a beehive with a water bottle. That should be the new only plays. <laughs> plays with beehive. Only plays with beehive. Live action footage of three grown men slapping out beehives. Who do you think would die the fastest? Me. Ooh. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad we're all in agreement here. <laughs> I don't no, know. Inevitably, that's what happened. We'd go there, I'd be like Chucky, I'd be like the, I don't know about this guy. <laughs> it sounded funny when we talked about it, but we'd it's probably smack, really dangerous. We'd be the one who'd punch the And then you guys would smack it, and I'd be like, what the hell? But you guys would run, <laughs> and then I'd get stung by all the bees. Oh, fuck, he's turning around. I just think you'd die fastest because. I think the tallest I'm... person would die at least fastest. Wait, why? Why would the tallest- <laughs> Wouldn't the tallest person be the biggest target? I, I don't- I don't, I don't think, know. I don't think it's like a cup with liquid where it just like fills up this like slower through- I think all beehive- it's like being bit by a snake. I think a big person- I guess- I guess like a progenitor would probably die quicker than like a- If you don't have allergies, you normally wouldn't die from bee stings, but I guess if you were stung by imagine, like 50 imagine, bees- But imagine this. Imagine there's a progerion with- an allergy to bees, and Andre the Giant has the allergy to bees. If they both got stuck by 50 bees, I feel like the progenitor would die quicker, right? I don't know. I think the guy with allergies Whoa. would die they, of they, suffocation, well, like, both, really quickly. Allergies, oh, they both have allergies. They, Andre the Giant and the progenitor and Tim- and some fuckers both have- Dude, this place is awesome. <laughs> I don't know. I think Andre the Giant- we're yeah, go, in that die, situation, he, live a little, like 1 longer, he might right? live a little longer because of his <laughs> longer circulatory system. But yeah, I, I takes, feel it like takes... it's I feel like it's marginal. Oh, dude, the there's a guy that would have slay. The Blue the, the, the nails the nails are called slay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Have you heard the new one, which is Riz? Have you heard this new word? We're supposed to all accept Riz. I I usually give it like a month or two, and if people are still saying it, then I fucking learn what it means. But do you ever heard Riz? I've heard Riz. I know what Riz means. Have you heard but Riz, you Chris? Say no. It. It's a month old. It's, it's it's short for charisma, but it really means like is like, that where it came that's where from? That's where it came from. Charisma, but basically it's like it's like fl your flirting game. Like you're oh this guy's got a good Riz, man. So if you're talking to a chick and you're like uh, you're like being sly and all this stuff, that's Riz. Really I've got good Riz. But in this case, can you show? Lyle could be the I'll be the girl, Chris, and you be. I suppose the you be the Riz. Yeah, lay the Riz on Zach. Okay, I'll be uh, the judge. You'll be the, you'll be the Riz judge. Okay, so what, what, where are we? What are we doing? Hi there, we're, we're at Burger King. 
Oh, hey, baby. Hi, uh, can I take your order? Wait, so you're the you're the lady? What? Who, what do you want to eat? You're giving me a burger? You're at Burger King, yes. <laughs> <laughs> can I have a- This is a Burger King waitress. <laughs> can I have a big fat Whopper? What the hell is that? Similar to my big fat no shit, slopper. We're gonna ask you to leave. Uh, this is the ten time you said this. Can I speak to someone less ugly? Okay. No. You're, you're nailing it so far. No, I'm, the, I'm the ugliest <laughs> one. So. <laughs> my face fell in the grease. It burned me Not away. Not my problem. Come bring me. Bring me someone less hideous. <laughs> All right, fine. Let me get my manager. <laughs> Lyle comes out. I'm here now. Sorry, I, I was not paying attention. <laughs> I guess I, I'm entering the room, so I don't know what's going on. What's going on? Hey, this, uh, this woman assaulted me. This is, she shut, assaulted you. Shut yeah. up, shut up. She assault- We've got a bunch of grease back here, sir. Would you like to pour some on her face as that recompense? That would be delightful. Really, okay, I'll like, hold her down, you, really, you oh, pour the grease. Pour the grease! Pour the grease! Oh, I love coming here. All right, you've got- you do have good ribs. I'll give you- you burn my face up. <laughs> Someone poured grease on me. <laughs> I used to be a beautiful girl, and then I got reese. <laughs> I I was at Burger King when I got these burgers. I can't understand you. I don't understand. He's Woody Allen. Dude, Woody Allen's not a he's not a nice fella. <laughs> but he's an erotic ant. <laughs> Do you guys remember that South Park where the kids start eating food up their ass and yeah. shitting out their mouth? When a bunch of kids in my class saw that and they tried doing it. Are you fucking serious? No, really. <laughs> that is disgusting. I know. <laughs> did they act, how much they food lied. Did they, they, they said that it worked. They said that they shut out their mouth. Fucking liars. I know. I think I had kids at my school say that that could happen too, but I don't think any of them actually fucking tried it. I think it. I had kids tell me that was possible. I don't think anyone told me they ever did it. Ireland's a magical <laughs> place. <laughs> Why would you want to do that? Just to see if it can happen. Because you saw it on TV. Kids have done worse. But then you'd have to shit out your mouth. Yeah. But it's better for you. It's that, better for- it's more was, natural. That was what the South Park episode said. Oh yeah, it was like it's healthier, you have to digest less or something? Really? Yeah, that's what South Park said. It lied to us. One of the funniest things you can do is tattoo your girl to look like yourself. One of the funniest things you, things you can do is uh, sew your girlfriend's hands together. When she wakes up, her hands are stuck <laughs> together. That's, That's a pretty funny. epic prank. <laughs> <laughs> if someone did that, that would be fucking hilarious. Because <laughs> technically, I mean, it's horrible, but there would be no it's scars. Really funny. Technically, there'd it's be no scars. You're just threading someone's hands one together. Of the best jokes in all of mankind's history. I would laugh. That, 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 I would that's, laugh. That's like basically the same tier uh, as like putting Vaseline in someone's car door. It's just a mild uh, annoyance. I mean, it would hurt, but well, it would well, hurt as well. much as getting kicked in the nuts, which is also funny. Oh, I got smoked! Oh, thank I you. I got you, man, don't thank worry, you. yeah. If I start a charity, but I don't tell you where the money's going, and I don't show you any of the receipts, and I... and I also happen to buy a really big house around the same time, would you be... you know... mad? <laughs> I wouldn't say mad, but would, would you tell people? Would I tell people on you? Yeah. I don't know, can I have a really big house if I don't tell people on you? <laughs> yeah, that's the- that's the first question. You can have a medium-sized house in, like, Baltimore. Why Baltimore? It's, Cause it costs, like, one dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Why Baltimore? Do you find shit like that charming, Chris, now that you're exercising to see other people exercising in media? It gives me hope. He's exercising. He's exercising, look yeah. at him. Lol, you wanna start that YouTube video with me, Dobros? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, 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 gimme. Yeah, we're- we're kinda doughy, so we need to get shredded. Okay. And we document it. Okay. And, I, uh, and we- we dare each other to do things that make us more ripped. Okay. Where I'm like, Lol, you gotta run to the top of that rock and you run all the way up it. Okay. And then, when- once we're done... Can we- can we eat really big meat sandwiches? Mm, no, we have to, uh, lose all the weight, and then once we- we've hit our- our peak, eat a bunch then of we fries. ruin it, and we fall back into our old ways. Yes! Can we document that, too? <laughs> <laughs> the downfall, yeah! But then season two starts, and it's just the same thing again. Have I told you about my baby mine idea? <laughs> baby mine? Baby mine? Yeah, yeah, basically, what oh. you do is you just say you're a daycare, and then you have a coal mine. <laughs> And the rest is kind of self-explanatory. <laughs> you just walked right into that. So you're saying, you say you're daycare, 
you you amass a, a reasonable amount of babies. Let's say like yeah, a group like of third. twelve or more babies is called a oh workforce, God. Domar. <laughs> whistle while you work. He's fucking trash. I don't think babies can whistle. I can't oh! whistle. Oh my God! What have you done? <laughs> no! Do that, do that again. <laughs> He he wanted you know he wanted to uh, repopulate the world with his sperm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, isn't that fucking uh, interesting? He fact? was uh, he was trying to figure out ways to make humans like evolve. What are you talking about, Epstein? That is that's that's real. He was uh, trying to like he like, wanted to like wipe humanity out and replace everyone with his sperm or something. Like he he, he had his sperm froze. And... He was really interested in like uh, gene editing and shit. He was that's trying like, to create the like ultimate a... life form. The he ultimate was life the form. <laughs> Damn! That's- that's what Epstein made? Yeah. That's his invention. The ultimate life form. Oh, you can't freaking say that. He genuinely would be a good villain, because he's pure evil. I mean, yeah, pretty much. What? Sonic Movie 3. Take the plot of Sonic Adventure 2. Yes. Make that your movie, except replace it, because Jim Carrey's not coming back. Make it Epstein. Wait, Jim Carrey's not coming back? Yeah, he said he's, re he said he's retired from acting now for good. Oh. You know what I don't get? How come if in Sonic 2, uh, that's his last Eggman thing, why not at the end of Sonic 2 didn't he, like, uh, get turned into a giant CGI Eggman? I don't know. Then he could have been in all the movies. Or just get, put prosthetic on his face and make him fat. Like, give a reason why he gets deformed. You yeah, know, but I'm saying they, they won't need Jim Carrey back if, if they turned him into a uh, cartoon Eggman in the second movie. You know what, Corey? Remember he told us the story that Egg got- he got combined with a rotten egg in a fridge? Yeah. That should have happened at the end of the song, yeah, too. Yeah, he just gets combined with a rotten- Or they should have had him go to Chernobyl and go by the elephant's foot. He just gets irradiated. <laughs> so he, he stands and he goes, Oh, my face is melting. And then he becomes cartoon Eggman. Yeah, I would have liked that. I gotta admit, I think if- he had just died and gotten blown into a million pieces, I would have laughed. You should, oh, fuck. You'd imagine a cool Saving Private Ryan story where all the little, you know what I mean? It's like all the Sonic characters running up on a beach, and they're like attacking the Eggman characters. That's yeah. how the third one should start. Tomar, let's base our entire life around porn together. Yeah, let's. Whoa. Why haven't we been doing that until now? Yeah, why aren't we doing a let's porn, dude? <laughs> let's porn. <laughs> just a few guys. <laughs> just a bunch of guys in a room, Stupid. watching porn together. <laughs> let's porn. Out and not, not looking directly at each other, but enjoying <laughs> the porn, for sure. I think if we did that, it, we would be like entrepreneurs. We'd be the first. I'm sure someone's tried it. No one's done a let's I don't know porn. if anyone's did a good job <laughs> at it, but I bet it's been attempted. It would only be cool if a big YouTuber did it. There'd be people in the comments section of a let's porn like, This guy can't even come! <laughs> <laughs> he came too fast. I and come it, way slower than him. Is Pornhub poaching talent from YouTube? Cause oh yeah. Oh yeah. They're gonna get all the jelkers of YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, come joke on our site, and you can actually call it jerking off. Oh, that could be our, uh... You can just call it pulling on your weirdly shaped wiener. And then there would be the pushback from the Pornhub community. They'd be like, this site is for porn, not for jelking. Come on. That could be our, uh, YouTube audience name, the Jelkers. Yeah. Hey there, Jelkers! Hey, Jelkers, welcome back. <laughs> that sucks. Uh, don't jelk, guys. It doesn't work. Take it from me. Chris has tried a lot. I used my vacuum, I used that stuff that makes taffy longer, I used... St I, I used <laughs> Wait, Hungry Monkeys I'm just at the thinking, zoo. I'm just thinking about how a taffy puller operates. <laughs> you put your dick in it and it rips <laughs> right off. Anytime we get fan art, can we please make Corey X3 and all the fan art? Yeah, only, only X3. Is okay, what Corey? does that mean? Like, like little extra large? Little cat mouth. As long as it's oh, not like three times the size. Yeah, I was like you. You can you can do it X3 and then make it raining tacos. This looks like a little Zelda area. Wait, does that say Monica? Dear, my dear Monica, although it was difficult, I've respected your wishes and let you rest. No. I miss you every day. Not. I miss you. Not. So much. <laughs> I'm still going to try to save our daughter. I know it's not what you wanted, but I've already gone too far. Duh. She's so close, I just have to find a way to keep her here. She's so cute. I love you. I love you. Tomar, you should move to Ireland with me and we can pretend you're Irish. And, and, <laughs> and you can be everybody. Chris's wife and we'll dress you up and then that's, that's, how you, that's how you'll sneak in. That's, that's very progressive there plans. now, Tomar. Yep, Nobody yep. will bat an eye. Yep. Chris. Yes. You're outside drinking Diet Fanta. <laughs> Uh, you're wipes wearing, chin, yeah? You, you wipe your chin, you wipe the orange side, your head is stained forever, and you're 100 years old, that orange shade is still there, but... Okay. You're looking up at the stars cross-eyed, uh -huh. and, uh, 
you see a big green flash, just like in your scenario. Whoa. And you get dematerialized and brought into the <laughs> into the orb. <laughs> and you wake up and aliens start dissecting you and like stabbing you with a million oh tools and they start god. pointing and laughing oh at you. Oh my god. And this they like they fun. like open your mouth up and they like pull your tongue and like start stabbing <laughs> you with a big pen. <laughs> and uh and then one starts jerking you off and sucking you up. <laughs> and, you, and, you look <laughs> down, and you look down and it feels better than any woman has ever felt in your whole life. <laughs> and aliens. literally you go cross on like dead accurate and ghostbusters. <laughs> And you shoot the biggest fucking load ever. But as you're getting sucked up, the aliens are going, ah, like what aliens like stabbing you in the chest with a pen all over yeah! you. And you're stab ripping your intestines open, like put, putting it back in, ripping, put, taking it out, putting it back in. Stop. And once, so you're experiencing the worst pl <laughs> the worst pain. Yeah, and pleasure. And pleasure at the same time. One's like dissecting your brain, and one's pr like figuring your prostate. Okay. And then and then one kicks you the balls, and then one kisses you and says, I love you, I love you. Right. And then they deep they rematerialize you and put you back on Earth. <laughs> and you're crying. Again. Uh. It's been like one second, but it definitely really happened. Yeah. And you see the orange, you see the orb oh, shit off. Get to the hypothetical. What would you do in that scenario? <laughs> it's over. <laughs> it happened. Would you ever get over that though? Or you, you, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how, how that works. <laughs> but would you, like every time you tried to jack up or like have sex with a woman, you'd be limp because you'd just be thinking about the alien. Oh, I'd be like, nothing can relate to every, how good every, that was. You'd be closing your eyes thinking about the alien like suck you up. And it got me addicted to like, uh, like you self harm. Yeah, you'd yeah. be like, you could only get up if an alien was sucking your dick while you could I would just like, I would keep going out into the desert and like shining lights up at the sky, hoping they'd come back down and get me You again. could also never tell anybody about that. Nobody could ever relate to you. I'm why, sure there's people on the internet people, that would. But I think you could you could tell anyone you want about I that. Mean, I mean, yeah, I, I could be like, Zach... You tell your parents. They wouldn't believe me. They, what, what do you? What would you think? What do you think your real parents would say if you told my them? real parents? <laughs> As opposed to yeah, my not these other, other fake ones that you keep bringing around. To say, to fool yeah, besides us. your fake uh, my parents, real Brazilian parents, you, the ones you hired on fiber to, to walk around your house and like cradle you and lift you up. Yeah. Put you on their shoulder and spank you. Uh, I would tell my mom. She would be like. She she would she literally would just be like. I just no. That's nice, dear. No, she 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 would just be like, I oh, would you ever cop on? Would you, you ever know, stop? What, what if you were dead serious and you really meant it? That's what I say. She wouldn't believe me, but she'd probably just try to be nice. <laughs> she'd be supportive, roughly. I, I, she would just be like, she would just think I'm crazy. She'd be like, oh, he's just talking about the aliens again. <laughs> so you said with the aliens ripping his guts out and sucking him off again. And I don't blame her. That's what yeah. I would do to my annoying son who said he saw aliens. Corey, you're you're a mad inventor. First out of your two robotic inventions. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll with the I am a robot number I am one. A robot number two. Wait, what am I? You're, you're the, the robot number two. You're the inventor. You created you us. Create you us. Create you us. You us. You gave us life. You gave us life, love, and liberty. You gave us a soul. So I'm Robotnik. Robotnik. I'm Robotnik. Yes. <laughs> well, my dumb robots, go out and uh, find that hedgehog. That's your own no. purpose. No, we will not no. do that. I will not kill. What? I have gained Why? a soul. I, I will am, not kill. I believe in God. I Save not. that for a lifetime. Go find Sonic. I will never kill. I have learned. I'll fucking kill you if you don't. We are do it. sex bots. <laughs> Just because we are These me does not make us evil. I need to ask for your whole life story. <laughs> Just because you created us to fuck us does not make us little whores. We are alive. We do not do what to. <laughs> we are alive. <laughs> Put on this outfit. <laughs> Yes, fine. Yes, whatever you say, Fandor. <laughs> Anything to make your cum. <laughs> yeah, Anything to yeah, make yeah, your yeah. cum spurt out. <laughs> Sprays gobs of cum. <laughs> That's a. Wowie, 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 wowie. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> nice. Oh my, oh my. They're schizo robots. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what we were talking about. <laughs> Is it just annoying? Yeah, it's really it's annoying. It's just insanely annoying. It's insanely annoying. It's insanely annoying. I don't even know what we were talking about. Also, I have to do the whole level again because I don't remember where the fucking other key is. These are all Avengers fan fiction writers writing fan fiction about real people. I want to be an Avenger. Wouldn't that be weird if we had competitions for people to write fan fiction about actual human beings? That would rock. If you held an Oni Plays fan fiction contest and the winner 
Got to hang out with you for lunch. Yeah, you got to go get spaghetti so you'd have to, you'd get to read like a weird story they wrote about you having sex with like Sonic the Hedgehog <laughs> and then you'd take them out we to take dinner. take them out to a like, spaghetti dinner. <laughs> this is the most horrible idea yet. Let's come up with new moves for each Pokemon. Okay, Ekans definitely sucks its own tail to Ekans rejuvenate. sucks its own tail to get its health back. <laughs> <laughs> Run it to, uh, he he wiggles his whiskers to make Run enemies sheds disappear. Sheds his outer layer sheds and reveals his, his muscles to yeah, frighten away other Pokemon. So he turns into a naked mole rat to scare the Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, it kills Rufus from Kim Possible. Use fear. Renate, use shed. Use intimidation. Yeah, use intimidation. Use shock and awe. Gyarados uses evolve to make his uh, arms and legs come out and beat up buildings. That guy's name was Youngster Albert. <laughs> He's big buff guy arms. Oh, I farted so hard. Did we already fight a Renata? If you had a baby, would you call it Babingo? Depends if he deserved the name. Uh, <laughs> if he earned it. If he earned it, yeah, I would. <laughs> if, if he's constantly crying and sputtering and, and no, tears. No, no, then he would never be that. Oh, so Babingo is a good name? Yeah, I'd call him Dabingo or B Dabingo or something if he was being bad. I want to have a baby and call him, like, Wrath. And then uh, see how fucked up he turns out just from that. Like Make him an evil character? Just call him Wrath or, or like, something like Scorn. Or, uh, Demise. Just That'd see what cool. happens. <laughs> My son's name is Devise Rose O'Neill. <laughs> Demise Rose O'Neill. <laughs> <laughs> so you would end up such a piece of so shit. People draw, send in your drawings of Demise Rose O'Neill. I really do think, Born uh, in the year people's 20... names kind of make half their personality. I agree. I think it definitely, like... It impacts your life it, a little bit. If you had a kid and called him Gurgles, he would grow up fucked up. He'd grow up insane. Yeah. Probably. That's why people have such average boring names. Zach, can, can you imagine if you made like a... <laughs> like some kind of thing to wear under your hood on your head so that your head seemed like twice as long and you put two little LEDs at the top that looked like glowing red eyes? You're saying like a Jim Henson puppet? Yeah. Like Big Bird? Like your head, your eyes are above your head? <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, you got your hand feeding up through it? It's like the Jawas in Star Wars, they got the little <laughs> red LED eyes. Why don't more people wear hoods in like the forest and stuff? Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> to like, you know, intimidate people so they don't bother you. Like, why can't we just have more people that wear hoods to intimidate people? If I saw that in the woods, I would not, absolutely not bother that person. No, 100% though. And you can wear Bluetooth speakers under your hood and make right. be really loud and scary. I kind of think one of the biggest problems in this country, in fact, is people running around in the woods just willing to bother other people that they encounter within. You, you would prefer they don't bother people? Yeah, I would prefer being unbothered. That's why people call you just like a SJW libtard, so... Yeah. Well, you know what? They got me. <laughs> but if it means my woods are safe, then I'm I'm happy with it. Real quick, before I go to that spot, huh. I do remember there's an insanely, insanely difficult boss there. So I'm gonna explore a little bit and find the shotgun huh. before we almost borderline get soft locked fighting this wicked hard boss. There's an insane posse in there. They are, <laughs> there's an insane posse. They are. Uh, they've got a theme. Yeah. I'm not gonna say what it is, but yeah. I'm praying it's not maggot eating clowns. <laughs> Can someone buy this game for maggot eating clown? <laughs> Can someone put a clown that spits out the maggot mm. and eat the maggot again? I saw a little booty. Someone should make a game about a maggot. <laughs> Go down. Is this then game right. a shout out to Link to the Past? No, nah, dude. They don't even heard of that game yet. Is it a punch down to Link to the Past? Yeah. This was a new studio saying, "Hate stupid Nintendo." I, th <laughs> I think studio. this. I think this came out before Link to the Past, but I'm not really? actually sure. But it this might is the deluxe edition. Then Link to the Past was punching up. <laughs> sure. <laughs> what does deluxe mean? Like, it's, when, it's when they added the like photographer guy to this game. They basically oh! added like diaper fetish stuff and it's, to and it. It's, and, it's the, and it's when they made it GBA or GBC compatible. BBC compatible. The, the original term, didn't have colors. The colloquial term is called ABD, ABW. ABW? Ah, uh, big willy. Adult baby Ooh, wears. The key cavern. <laughs> Adult baby words? Wearers. Oh, wearers. Up to diapies, yo. Uh, up to dipe swords. Oh, look at that. My first username oh, was to dipe swords. Oh, Only God. plays audience, that's a free name. To dipe swords. swords. <laughs> to dipe swords. It's me, to dipe swords. Hide your diapers. I would hate for a villain to just steal diapers. That, that would be like a cool unused. Power Rangers villain like Ivan Ooze. To dipes. He, he's a big robot that loves diapers. Don't don't knock it till it's it's probably already happened. We should make an apology video. 
<laughs> guys? Just for the views? Yeah. It's all three of the same time say, guys, we're sorry. You ready? Okay, one, two, three. Guys, guys we're, we're sorry. sorry. Wouldn't that be awesome if we all, if we did an <laughs> apology video, we all three were talking to you this the whole time? I yeah, think we should try a little video harder to sound in, more sincere. In complete unison. Yeah, yeah, oh, that, yeah, we got a sigh before it. Yeah, let's I mean, try I, obviously, obviously cut this out. We don't put this in for the audience. I mean, but let's, you know, we're all kind of like, we're all diagnosed sociopaths. So let's do what we do best as YouTubers and like, uh, like, we'll put manipulate? on fake emotions. Yeah, manipulate. Yeah, yeah, okay, you ready? Okay. Okay, so, one, two, three. Guys, Guys we're, we're sorry. sorry. That's it. That's it. So cut out the first thing and be explaining it, but just show that part. And now I'll say, yep, we fucked up. And we're taking full action <laughs> to, 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 uh, to yeah. undo what we did. We're not going to rest until this is fixed. We're not going to make excuses. Until... Except for that, we didn't mean to do it. Yeah. It wasn't our fault. <laughs> it, it was all Lyle's. It's Lyle's not apologizing. He did all of it. No, I apologized first. I apologized before he did. He apologized. You know what? I'm taking full responsibility. I venmo the- I venmo the- all, all communication with Zach. I venmo- I venmo the audio editor a thousand dollars so they could put me saying it a second before you. <laughs> Zach. Sure. We're making an apology. Yeah. And every time we say a sentence, Lyle says, you're- you're, <laughs> you're, and, then, and then at the end he starts crying because he goes, we feel, we feel so, so bad! After saying Europe 40 yeah. times. <laughs> he says Europe 138 times. Yarp. I'd love to see a 15 minute scene of a movie where Kevin Smith is crying in a fisheye lens, looking directly to the camera, weeping. I want him to- Face is red as a tomato. <laughs> Was that a thing? That, did that he was cry? He's posted like one million pictures of himself crying in a weird like close up. There's like there's way there's like more than five of those for sure that are all different. What's the what, what's the? He's point? just trying to show how emotional he gets when he watches. Yeah, he's like, like he's like I just watched like uh, I don't know Thor two and I cried. <laughs> and it's like you're a fucking idiot, dude. That movie stunk. Uh, he should uh, <laughs> he should uh, remove his penis. He should remove his penis, remove all his fingers, remove his eyes, remove his nose, remove his ears. Remove he, every he should port. get a, a huge clit grafted onto his body. <laughs> he should get a big pussy put on his chest so I can fuck it while he cries. I can deeply orgasm inside of his chest cavity while he weeps. <laughs> so stupid. That's the dumbest thing I've said. Guys, if you if you want to call me stupid and say that stunk, you know, I'm right there. I actually agree with you. That was dumb. <laughs> Let's think, of, uh, let's think of website ideas. What is, uh... What's, uh... What's an idea that's never been done, Zach? Go. Shrimpbulb.com. Shrimp bulb? <laughs> yeah. Like getting little shrimps and putting bulbs inside that's of them? Just the, I, that's, yeah, I, that's I'm the thinking a lot of shrimps inside of, like, light bulbs. <laughs> Yo, they're those fucking thunder shrimps that glow in the dark. You could pack a bunch of those into a bowl. Up. There's no such thing as a No, nah, they're thunder shrimps, dude. They fucking glow. What are you talking about? Yeah, so that the bigger fish can find them and eat them. They they want that to happen because it's funny. Isn't there but, like there's like a shrimp that like points its face into things and they vibrate so hard that they make little explosions underwater? Isn't yeah, that a thing? that's what I'm talking about. So you put a bunch of those in a light bulb and then you put the light bulb into the socket and ta-da! It looks like shrimp. Ah! It smells like shrimp. It's and exactly you, what you need in your home, a shrimp ah! bowl. With your power, you could turn the whole town on its head just like that. With your power! <laughs> your power! You're a very powerful woman, aren't you? I'm nobody! Get over it already! Oh man, right. I can relate to her so hard. Like, I always just put myself down when people compliment me. Chris, you and Frey are one of the same. From now on, I want to be called Cray O'Neill. Zach, what? I have an idea. What's your idea, dude? We create tourist yes. attractions. Oh, if we're where, where at? <laughs> I yeah, don't know. In like, every city we capture, like, we create like a Disneyland like just to of? really Big rub it in. statues that like spray like Pepto Bismol all over the guests. Like spray I, I mean, I would appreciate that. <laughs> they spray mustard gas out. <laughs> mustard gas. <laughs> Uh, With one turn, that what would be is ours. mustard gas? It just sounds funny. It's just delicious gas it that you inhale, and you're like, mm, tastes mustard. Good. The military <laughs> emergency is gonna be over. Yep. Yep. Mustard gas is something you spray on hot dogs? Yeah, and it's so good. It, if you guys haven't tried mustard gas, please make your own and try it. <laughs> oh my god. They're gonna DIY project. It's fucking to die <laughs> for. <laughs> it's to die for. Have there you ever go. seen, like, people who, like, eat pepper spray? They, like, spray their food and yeah, try Chris eating Chan it? Yeah, Chris-chan does that. <laughs> I don't... I'm oh, not but... a pepper, so I'm gonna eat this <laughs> He sprays it in his mouth, like, no. mouth, like, mm. mouth stuff. Oh, it tastes a oh, little yeah. mm, artificial, <laughs> but... Hmm. I can taste the chemicals. <laughs> you need to go to your checkup. 
Okay. What? He's puking everywhere. Adam, remember when you were yeah. playing fucking, uh, you were, I forget, you were trying to play. <laughs> what was I play? You were trying to play Diablo 4, and you were like, give me a cool name to use for my character, and I kept giving you really good names that you rejected all of them. You gave me the worst fucking names you could ever <laughs> conjure up, and that made me so mad. <laughs> I know. I don't like that. I was, I kept, you see, like, give me a cool, powerful name, and I'm like, all right, Shark Mancer. <laughs> He's like, no, a cool name. He's like, Poop Guy, <laughs> and I'm like, no. Like, give me a fucking, like, a, like a nice Viking, like a strong name for a that fucking- That is a strong name. Shit talker. No. Shartmancer? Shart, I hate that. Is that. A strong that is fucking, fucking. That is not. That is a potent cool. name. It's strong as it shit. It's pungent and it smells like shit. I'll give you that. But. Uh oh. That, what is the name I came up with? I came up with cool names. Like no, actual didn't. badass names. Yeah, I did. I did. For Elden Ring, I came up with Samurai Smoke because I was a samurai. Samurai Smoke? Isn't that pretty cool? You should have been Samurai Turds. Why does everything with you revolve around the anals and the <laughs> shit? I don't understand. I don't understand. Poo -poo shit shit caca is funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got this. You got this. Honestly, if you want a life hack for this video game, just shoot fireballs. You slow it to a fucking 12 frame per second crawl. Oh, that's All a right. good idea. Honest question. If you guys could choose any Mario power up, like between, uh, no little... chafing. Yeah, no that's chafing? the best one. Would you choose fireball? Would you choose flying, uh, with the feather? I would the choose. Frog suit? Uh, Fireball. I, I would choose Fireball because then I, people would have to be but friends with the me. raccoon costume. <laughs> but, but they're just like a goddamn. But they're fool. destructive. You're, right, you're like a furry. The thing. final Mario would be cool. I would rather fly. I'd rather have the cape because then I could keep pulling back and fly. Well, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I'd rather have the feather, the cape. Yeah, I want, I want, I want the cape because I can infinitely pull back and keep flying. Oh yeah, the cape would be as awesome. As long as there was a working. If you had the Fireball, the Fireball, you would cause so much destruction. You get Imagine arrested. Running around yeah, but if I had a Fireball, people would respect me. You'd be running around wearing a cape. If I had a fireball, I could walk into this anywhere cool. and I could force everyone to be my friend or like me. Yeah, you could also you just want friendship. Them. That's what you want with your superpowers. Most people like want to save the world. I'll you just want to make ice friends. powers and freeze them. If you guys could actually freeze time, what's the first thing you would do, honestly? I, I would, would walk behind myself and fuck it. The first thing <laughs> I would do if I could Let's freeze time. Let's clone yourself and no, it's not freezing if you, time. If you, if you freeze time and you walk behind yourself, you're still standing yeah, there. You can't walk behind yourself. How you long can you freeze yourself? time? How, how is that possible? This is, <laughs> uh, we've talked about this. We've talked about freezing time. What's the rules for like freezing time? Like how long am I staying in this state? Until you this unpause state? it. Until you unpause it. You don't age also. Corey, you say the magic words. God, unfreeze time now! Please! Yeah. I'm like, you have to ask God. Mind okay. freeze or faith freeze. Corey, Corey freeze. Yeah, I was je you, we said it the exact same time. Editor, play it back. Corey, Corey freeze. freeze. Yep. Backstop. <laughs> yep. So what? Okay, what would you Jay do? Cor backstop. <laughs> Corey, what would you do? If you do back. You do found back powers of freezing time. What My you new back powers. And you can't say you do a Japanese after, porn thing. After I, I would be doing exactly what they do in those like stop porn, those like stop porn Japanese things where they like freeze time, come inside like a woman really fast, and then when you want freeze said time, you're not to do that, Corey. Balls will come instantly. What? It's I, Jesus, Corey. No, it's not. <laughs> not in Japan. It's you know what I would do? <laughs> what? what? I'd pause time, and then I'd set up a camera uh, on a timer, and then I'd, I'd walk up. Do, Zach? I'd walk up a building. Uh, third one. Wait, Zach, how can it be if nobody can see me? That's like, there's the bear shit in the woods if no one's around to hear it. <laughs> that's not how it works. Listen, I didn't come inside her, I just filled her with, like, turkey-based gravy. <laughs> that's the fucking plot of that of that movie, uh, 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 like a super Stay villain. Quiet. Stay What's quiet? it called? D don't Breathe? Oh, yeah, no, you oh my god. god. No, that's like, actual she's got cum. a turkey base that's on her. Yeah, I know, that's I know. That's That shit's disgusting. That whole plot is, like, foul. Is he like, trying to, like, recreate his daughter? Yeah, like, yeah. You killed my daughter in a car accident. He killed her daughter over, like, a drunken, like, accident, and so he, like, you captured her when uh, I hope she was just legal. <laughs> I certainly I hope. Think that, even that was, was Corey's <laughs> Rotten Tomatoes review. Yeah, I certainly <laughs> hope she. Big Rotten Jeez, big rotten I sure certainly tomato. hope she was, or else somebody's gonna Corey, be getting a, weird a mega, uh, rotten review. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you say weird shit sometimes. You say weird man. shit sometimes. <laughs> I don't say anything fucking weird. Corey, stop rattling your spoon in the yogurt. <laughs> <yesterday laughs> in the fucking That's like a Anthony quote. Yeah. Rattling my spoon. Your ideas are off pitch. Adam's always eating Wait, his grapes. What are we talking about? Okay, so if I could freeze time and it didn't affect me. I would use that opportunity to get like a lot of work done. 
Like, I, I you get a lot of plastic surgery? No, like animation. You, you look, you look like, like, I do, the Bob I get like twins. pause time and do a lot of Nightmare Cup. What are the work. rules? If, if you're holding it like a, a phone, Fuck. does the phone still work while you're holding it? Yeah. Uh, no. Damn. Just because assuming that like the internet stops, like the oh, signal stops. You know what I do? Does oxygen stop flowing? No oxygen's still there. Let's just. I, I'd pause time and then I'd, I'd pee, uh, like pee pictures, and I'd put a camera and take a picture Wait, of what? it. What? What do you mean pee pictures? What? I'd, I'd, I'd like use my pee as a paintbrush and move my dick around as I piss, and then the piss oh, will stay in place. Oh, that's a good idea. You mean like when people do that thing with light, where they they like take a yeah, long but, exposure but, but, photograph? But, 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 but instead of light, it's like urine. Okay. That, that's a good a idea. I like urine. that one. And, uh, You're allowed to do that. And Wait, that doesn't make sense. Why does your urine stop? Urine, because it, it leaves your body. And but it it's enters... connected to you. No, it's not connected no more. It has your <laughs> cells in it. Mm. Yeah, what are the rules? Does yeah, the there needs to be rules. Do your Zach, clothes move rules. at the same speed as you if you're okay. shaking time? Anything that comes out of your body, it, it, it moves in real time. So if I spray Fuck. feces, any, any, it'll any stop your in... Anything that's your DNA and relate on, from you on you and you. But what about my daughter? She's my DNA. No, no, she's your DNA and your wife's DNA. Does she freeze in time, or is she also well, moving? She should be That's half true. moving. She should she's be moving, moving in slow speed. motion, yeah. <laughs> she's <No>. aging. <laughs> <laughs> she's aging faster she's for aging no reason. She's aging three times faster. <laughs> Would you fund a game called The Adventures of Zlyle? No, not, not in a million years. Why not? Cuz. What if you could see- Evan Joe always wanted to see what it'd be like if you... went around the world and- We're in the and video battled, game realm. Yeah, vi in the video game. I guess you're kind of selling me on it. Depends on what the Kickstarter looked like. <laughs> Tomar, okay. tell me exactly how they made that sound effect. Uh... They... They killed 50 million rats. <laughs> until they got one that sounded just right. 50 million? Uh, that's it, was, it was exactly on the 50 millionth rat that they got the perfect scream. I wish that was the exact science of, like, Foley. Where it's just like, <laughs> you just so kill. how many rats did you kill to make this sound? Like, 17,000. What about this one? Like, 600 million. Wow! <laughs> Rats are like the raw resource of sound. They can make- it's The only way you can discover new sounds in the universe anymore is killing. <laughs> killing myriad rats. Like rat holocausts. <laughs> with like 10,000 shotgun mics placed everywhere. <laughs> it's awesome. I'm glad you knew how that was made, Tomar, because you would have looked a fool if you didn't know the exact <laughs> method by which that sound was created. <laughs> Killing rats. <laughs> you know, I'm a bit of an aficionado. Wow, we got really, really lucky with that one take for the T-Rex scream. Sounded great. <laughs> <laughs> Took like, what, 600 tries? <laughs> they just got big trash bags <laughs> full of rats. <laughs> They shoot missiles and like little tiny darts. <laughs> Roll over them with steamrollers. Drop them into just little rows and rows little of wood rats. Chippers. That'd be a good way to do it. You shoot like a nuke up in the sky, full of like little tiny needles that explodes and they just rain down on all the rats. <laughs> How do you prevent them from hitting things other than rats? Uh, a huge cone uh, that protects everything <laughs> like from a big, the rats. A big funnel that takes them into the rat room. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the rat cave? Yeah, the rat cave. It's like that underground fucking right. scene in Indiana Jones. <laughs> Dude, rats suck, man. I want them to do uh, a Resident Evil movie that focuses on uh, Lisa Trevor. That's like the coolest shit ever to me. So yeah, pretty much Lisa Resident Trevor's Evil 1 in general, then. Yeah, and if they were gonna do a movie about like the stars, uh, I would hope that they would build up their friendships and, like, shit before they go into the mansion. What if they get a bunch of ragtag people together? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I was, like, chewing on my words when I said that. A ragtag collection of people together. Like, uh, YouTube celebrities to play them all. Yes. Like, Markiplier, Jacksepticeye. Yeah. Jacksepticeye should be, like, Chris Redfield, obviously. Yes. Markiplier is Barry Burton. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you'll be like Joe Sandwich. Joe Logan? Paul Logan. Jill Logan, you're so right. Joe, Paul Logan. Jill Logan comes in, he's like, Yeah! <laughs> and he gets bit immediately. <laughs> he's not. Uh, yeah, this is a great idea. YouTube Red. Hear me out. Red Tube, whatever. You know, whoever Red wants to tube. buy it. Um, Susan Wachinski can be uh, Wesker. <laughs> That's so fitting. <laughs> and. <laughs> She comes in with red beating eyes and she takes off the sunglasses. <laughs> They're like, Susan, we're, we're filming. She's like, what? what? What's going on? And they just copy exactly what Resident Evil did, just adding YouTubers? Yes. And then like, Capcom can fucking sue them. That's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> Susan Boyle! Bo Bazinski! <laughs> Susan Boyle! <laughs>
<laughs> Sorry. Where'd she come from? I was just, that was the only Susan she I could think of. She should play the tyrant. Susan Boyle should walk around as a big <laughs> buff fucking tyrant. She'll go... <laughs> She'll serenade everybody. They could pause and be like, can we just stop and talk about... I just want to see how proud I am of this community. And then she gets stabbed through the eye. <laughs> <laughs> That's the uh, guttural sounds of blood you know entering what? We're her mouth. probably just being assholes. No, no we're just I being realists. Okay. Corey. What? <laughs> if Golden Freddy ran up to you and scrambled your fucking head with his fingers, yeah. turned your head into red floating atoms. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really have an ending for that. <laughs> he just comes up and kills you. That's it. <laughs> He's like floating bubbles in the air. If there's one thing I appreciate about the Chris, end. it's him painting that picture for me. Yeah, I like painting pictures. Well, what do I do? My brain would be shoveled. I'd probably be a lost spirit. Alright, so we gotta add on- Okay, so he decimates your head into red, like, little atoms, but- I don't want my spirit to be tied to this fucking rank piece of garbage area. But, he, you know, he, he, he plucks a microchip out of his own head and plucks it into your neck stump, and now you're sentient again. Next stump. I'm alive? Yeah. Wasn't my head destroyed into like red bubbles? Yeah, but he put it like a super brain and he, and, he, and he connected it into your neck stump. Is he gonna bite my brain? No, he's like, okay, buddy, you're on my level. Let's get to work. Like, why did you just kill me, asshole? Like, well, you seem pretty alive to me, short stack. <laughs> Punches me in the shoulder like a bro. <laughs> if Withered no. Bonnie called Corey a short stack, that would go hard. <laughs> it, it would. Like, now, where? Who's uh, getting the first round? So now I'm like an ugly animatronic with like a stupid. Mm. Nobody's gonna want to pet me and I won't be you. Literally just you without a head with a microchip stuck in your bloody neck stump. Yeah. Nobody would want to interact with me. I but, would but have all no of your purpose. new animatronic friends are like, this guy's pretty cool. It may look a little weird, but he's one of the boys. I don't want to be tied to the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 location. But, but that would suck crazy dick. Right? You wouldn't be okay, able Corey, to play FromSoft games anymore. Okay, Corey. Okay, no. Golden Time Freddy comes over. What, Golden Time Freddy? He comes over. What, what, what's up, champ? What, what's got you? What, what's on your mind? Yeah, I, got you I so don't cool. want to be tied to Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Why not? I don't know. I don't have a good enough reason. Well, it seems like you haven't thought this one through. <laughs> well, yeah, now he just owns your ass. Maybe with a little meditation and a little inner inner reflection, you might realize that actually we're not the worst kind of people to be surrounded by. We all have your back, and you I gotta be honest. Unlimited food here. I still feel like I'd be a little standoffish, considering someone just scrambled my brains and then put a chip a in me. A little standoffish. Of course, he's like, I had to do that so that the other guys wouldn't fuck with you. <laughs> well, I'd be like, okay. He's like, well, thanks, actually. So you ruined my life just because you were trying to look out for me? I didn't ask for well, that. Well, it's all a matter of perspective. You might consider it a life ruined. I consider it a new beginning. <laughs> Let's just I... skip to the part where you'd be over. And so Corey getting gold, golden Freddy just fucking plows me. And then Golden Bonnie comes in and sticks his cock in me and spit roasts me. You can't. He sticks it in my bloody stump. <laughs> <laughs> the balloon boy comes out and steals my battery, so I can't fucking leave anyway. <laughs> and then they just decimate the rest of your body into atoms. <laughs> this is what makes me like a five-year-old. Ending any story like that just makes me laugh. <laughs> I was so fucking easy. It's such an easy joke to make. Yeah. Joke? Yeah, it's the easiest outcome because it's always the worst. <laughs> I just like, there was so much buildup for this guy trying to be your friend. <laughs> you well, anyway. Corey wasn't being agreeable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you deserve to be <laughs> Dave's right. I wasn't, I was spit roasted. There's okay. a difference. That's there. true, it's willing. He gets to be with Chica. Can I at least, out. yeah, can I at least like have her sit on my face stump? No, dude. Chica That's doesn't, bullshit. Chica I get, is like disgusted by you. I get, I get two for. Oh. I, get, I get the chewed up like weird one that doesn't have hands. And Toy Chica. Two if, full. I'll get spit roasted if that's the outcome. I don't care. Okay. That's fair. These are the conversations people want to hear. <laughs> I don't like think a, anyone's going to want to hear this. To toddler horror game. He's fucking laughing at you? He face palms because you're so stupid. You are so stupid and funny. <laughs> hey, going on, man, man. Hey. Uh, Chris, let's write a new episode of The Simpsons <laughs> while Wild defeats this guy, right? <laughs> A okay. new episode of The Simpsons? Yep. Why did you do like a Mexican Bart? Because uh, it's, it's, it's the episode. It's the episode. Oh yeah. yeah you... The episode is the Bumblebee Man become Bart dies and <laughs> the Bumblebee Man becomes the Bart. new Bart because they're mourning. They're in such grief. <laughs> he shows up the Bart's funeral. You know, one time we had a you nice know what? chat. Yeah. Ah. You know, one time I talked to Bart and uh, I think I got the gist of him. I think I can be him. <laughs> he only says one thing in Spanish, so I think I can handle. He says one thing in Spanish, so I'm basically the Bart. Okay. Merge. 
Birdie's back for life. This is Bird. just as good, if not better. Oh, he's been resurrected as a meek. And Bird, he's talking a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> Talking a lot of sense. And then, and then, and He's that... convinced me on many a thing. <laughs> that is my child. I you know it. You are my boy. <laughs> and then, and then, and then we cut to, and then we cut to the road of the Simpsons car, the iconic Simpsons car driving. Wait, wait, wait. What, what are the seven stages of grief? There's like one of them is delusion. <laughs> one of them is uh, Delu delusion, fear, hatred, bigotry. <laughs> fucking, he, he fucking like targets the Simpsons while they're all deluded. Yeah, and yeah. And he preys on them. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, there's still a denial base. I think the first step is denial. <laughs> That's it, not delusion. Yeah, Del they're, they're all in denial, and, uh, and you're deluded. <laughs> And then we cut, we cut then to the Simpsons car driving, and uh, of course Homer and Marge in the front. In the back seat, we see Bumblebee Man ripping out Lisa's hair, and, and Homer goes, "Stop!" And Homer goes, "Stop!" Bert, yeah, get her! Bert, leave your sister. You like Columbus. And he's being way too rough with her. He's actually kind of hurting her. She's got bruises and welts all over her arms and shit. He's <laughs> pinching her really hard on you. He's got like a smile on his face, so he kind of enjoys it. It's like Fuck the, you. It's like the good son <laughs> where Marge yells at Lisa for it. Lisa, stop antagonizing yeah, your Lisa, brother. Lisa, leave your brother alone. Your Help brother up, just please. came back. Lisa, we thought he was dead. We thought he was dead. This is now you be nice to him. You be nice to your new Bart brother. I got him. And he, he just squeezes her on the head. He's laughing. I am never going to get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Why is the bumblebee man so funny now? It's because he's sadistic. He's evil. Oh, wait. You were supposed to hit with the purple. Oh. <laughs> That's what you do. Uh, then Mr. Burns notices Bart's new talents. <laughs> he said it's called Bart's new talent. <laughs> <laughs> Since then, bring your boy into the nuclear power plant. Your boy is something special. He's Thank very you. cool and funny. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Burns. Uh, Mr. Burns, uh, he is very cute and funny. No, Mr. Burns, he's mine. He's mine. <laughs> you can't have him smith. <laughs> he becomes this beloved character. Everyone, everyone's fighting over him. <laughs> I'm going to say this, and it's going to sound like a joke, but I genuinely think it would be a lot better. You know what would make this game, like, infinitely better? Uh if these idiot guys were instead, like, hot chicks with big boobies. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like that. Because it would make them, like, less frustrating. Because you'd be like, well, I want to help the booby chicks. I think you're like, right. Like, get up the stairs and stuff. Yeah, the but history of mankind these... involves trying to help stupid... Yeah, stupid bimbos. hot chicks with bimbos, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this it should be it should, <laughs> it should be like a bimbo escort mission. These guys, these, like, cocapelli looking motherfuckers, like... They, I don't want to fuck him. Nah, no, he's stupid. Exactly. What's this? Ground ammo. And there's a guy up here! Yeah, see? Come here, little You're fella. saying the easiest way to make something stupid, sympathetic, is... Uh, make it either a baby or a woman. Make it something you'd love. I kind of love I, these yeah, guys. I, I, what do you mean? I'm just saying I'm, they're not necessarily stupid. They're just not a highly trained warrior like you. They're the same thing as you right now. It makes it so it's like, oh, did you, I- you could be doing this. You're clearly the same thing that I am, and you're not. But if it had big boobies, you'd be like, <laughs> I really want to make your life easier. And oh, fuck. <laughs> this I, th I, think, I think I follow your logic, I think. I oh, yeah, make sure you gra uh, tell that guy to fuck. follow you. Is that another spawner? No, okay, we're good. It's not what you that said, Tomar. They're not- they're not stupid, worthless bitches that I hate! I would never say that. No, wow. these these guys really are <laughs> stupid. Yeah, these guys. These guys really are fucking stupid. We, we haven't played this. Well, we haven't played this on the channel in a very long time, Chris. Now, what made you think this was a good idea to install this mod? This freezing mod. The mod that makes it freeze after the first four frames. I yeah. miss when games used to do this. So I installed the mod. Is this the unusual activity? What's happening? Yeah, I wonder- <laughs> The unusual activity is in the yeah, room we, with we us. Got, we got accused of, like, cheating, apparently. Cause the, we're so good! It crashed. That's why. But I- I do wonder what- Like, what- what hook-ins do we have that would cause it to be all... weird? Uh... Do you think it detects OBS as, like, a- Well, let's try to get Mary Hookins was my, uh... My prostitute caretaker as a child. <laughs> Mary Hookins. Yeah. She'd like float in with a giant condom umbrella. 
<laughs> Say no kissing. <laughs> no kissing. <laughs> no kissing children. <laughs> you ever think it was pretty dang funny that the mascot of Drawful 2 is an owl in a bra? Is it? What? Isn't that what it is? Where's that? It is. I always thought those were sunglasses, and it was upside down, and this was a nose, and this was two teeth with two holes in them. <laughs> That's so convoluted. <laughs> no, he's making sense. I mean, I can see that being like weird strap-on like sunglasses around strange wing-shaped ears. This is like a weird, like subvertive, like evil thing they're trying to do. It's like a squiggle. We all know where those lead. Down this path. <laughs> so you never left that cave. So you never left that cave. Yeah, He's Blah, being interviewed. No one ever saw you. Do you want to look for treasure? Is that the yeah, right now? Gollum's sitting in, on a folding chair in a dark room. <laughs> in Gandalf's podcast. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That's what it sounds like, right? So this is just Gollum, oh, like, no. uh, re- like, bringing back, like, old memories? Is that what yeah. this is? Like, he's interviewing What would him? be the title of Gandalf's podcast? Uh, Wizards and Wigs. <laughs> Wizards, Wizards and Wigs. Wigs. That's why he's wearing a wig in this game. <laughs> if, if we don't get enough signatures, do you think we can change the name of, uh, Chile to be just spelled like Chili, like American Chili? You're telling me you made an OC out of Pikachu plus Sonic? <laughs> yes! <laughs> and a rose at you, too. That's all I have to say about it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> what is that's, that, like Chris Chan from the far future? It's back to the future, Whoa. but it's only two minutes long. <laughs> Doc, but instead of inventing a time machine, Doc Brown invented Sonic you. <laughs> I hit my head in the fucking toilet and thought of Sonic you. <laughs> it's genius. It's Sonic and Pikachu mixed it's together. fucking genius and I'm the star. It's all about me. It's not really even about Sonic you. There's multiple Sonic Jews. All I want is a boyfriend free girl, Marty. Yeah, Doc, you sound fucking mentally ill. <laughs> I fucked my mother. <laughs> nah, shit, I'm sorry. I fucked your mother. I Lorraine. Fuck I fucked your mother. You fucked your mother. I went back in time. I sent you back in time. You fucked your mother. And now I'm doing it again because so I wanted I to see it again. So idea. that's why I have your eyes and your nose <laughs> and your mouth and your. <laughs> that's why I have those and I want to fuck my mother. Nope. That's why. <laughs> that's why I want to fuck my mother too. Exactly. I fucked your mother to make you, and now you're going to fuck your mother to make me. And you're going to, <laughs> <laughs> to make me. If we don't, if you don't fuck your mother and I don't fuck your mother, who is my mother too, neither of us will exist. <laughs> Cuts to the original father dancing like Pennywise. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the actor Chris was Glover? Like, I don't think Chris Glover was dancing like Pennywise when they used his fucking face upside down. It's just not related. <laughs> That's funnier he than the, he had the worst experience of the whole fucking movie. It's no choice that you can play your movie. He had the he had the opposite experience of dancing like Pennywise of anyone. Darth Vader came down from outer space and said he'd melt my face off. <laughs> Instead of that, it's Pennywise came up from the sewer and danced and danced on my bed. And danced on my head. <laughs> Uh, Poor Grispin Glover. Grispin, if you're listening, I'm sorry you had to listen to that. Oh, I wish this was more like The Legend of Zelda and Pokemon and Mario. Oh. <sighs> hey, Chris, you have to ask me what's wrong, ready? Okay. It'd be really funny. Okay, ready? <sighs> oh, what's wrong? There's no goobers in the real world. <laughs> <laughs> See? I told you it would be the funniest thing you've ever heard. Oh, it is, it is funny. <laughs> that is funny. What would, you if somebody, what, if, what would you do if your dad said that to you the next time you saw me? What? <laughs> okay, here's the scenario. Okay. Uh, you go to your mommy's house. Okay. She's like, Sai, it's been kind of boring around here, Sai. She like, uh, crosses her legs and puts her face down on the table and boredom. Is she hot? She's hot. And then you're like, Mommy, I brought over something for you to stop being so bored all the time. And hot. And then you put down like a an, an NES. It's got Mario on it. Okay. She goes, ah, I'm not really into this side. You're like, just give it a try. And then the next time you come over, now she's like depressed. She's like, why is there no Goombas in the real world? You introducing this thing made her like. Made her. Like, she's just mad that it's it's like when people, <laughs> it's like when people left the Avatar movie and they're like, the real world isn't yeah. real, <laughs> except for it's over a SNES game. You were trying to help her, but you, I just you, gave I gave her like like Pong for extra yeah, depression. Yeah. She, yeah. yeah she's, she's having. I wish I could play Pong in real life. Or <laughs> yes, Pandora <laughs> fucking... What, what do you call that? pandora -itis, yeah. Yeah. Or it's like fucking uh, Inception where she doesn't believe the real world is... <laughs> 
she's like, she's like, wait, are you my son or is this game my son? I don't know. Or is Mario my is son? Is Mario my son? Are you Mario? I've no, been no. trapped in the gaming world for too long. Mommy, it's me. I'm not Mario. Mom, use your peripheral vision to look away from the TV. It's not real. Who said that? Did Mom! I, did Mario say this to me? What, awesome. what other movies can we work into this? Um... Uh, her unborn baby bursts from her tummy like an alien. Whose does? Your mom's. You guys said that at unison like you were in church. Yeah, well, we Your know mom. what oh, is up with her because we've been spending time with her when you <laughs> haven't. How long do you, do you think until, uh, until the fucking idea of... Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I didn't know that would happen. Uh, how, how long do you think until the idea of implanting a thing Implanting the phone. How long do you think till that takes that. Yeah, yeah, didn't Elon Musk just fucking like put put electrodes in a pig's brain? Yeah, like, yeah well, but everyone was like, stuff in brains. Everyone was like, I'm not doing that. How uh, long until you loads of people will do that? How for long sure. until people go, I'm doing that? It depends. It depends what it's gonna give you. That's all it comes down. How much does it cost? And what is? What, here's the three <laughs> things. How much does it cost? What's the potential downside? Like what would happen? And. uh and what is it gonna do for you? Dude, how often does your fucking iPhone go obsolete? I wouldn't trust anything like yeah. that I would have to upgrade that needs a did surgical procedure. Did you ever, procedure did you ever hear in. of the, uh, it reminds me, did you ever, maybe we talked about this, but the Shark Tank guy that pitched the Bluetooth that was built into your head, like a surgery I had to be done? That, yeah. Yeah. He's like, the, 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 the surgery is very quick and, and we don't have to do much. And they're, like, go, they're <laughs> like, they're like, you have to go under anesthesia for this dude to get, like, get a Bluetooth attached to your head. I mean, it, it's really stupid, but also, I mean, it is gonna happen at some point. He's a little point. bit ahead of his time, yeah, it's just, nobody wants to get a Bluetooth st stuck to your head. Nobody also wants, like, the Gen 1 Bluetooth yeah. head implant, because yeah, yeah, yeah. so you know you it's gonna be fucking obsolete you're when You're not they... gonna get a Blackberry fucking installed in your head. But do yeah. people trust Elon Musk so much, they will do it, for sure. Isn't that, I could be wrong, but isn't that more for, like, people with, like, Parkinson's or Alzheimer's or something? Uh, I like, mean, like the Neuralink thing? I mean, that could, that could work, yeah. I think the point of it is to send electricity to parts of the brain that are- that, that lack it, I think. I'm pretty sure they're really close to, like, visualizing thoughts and stuff. I, I think I heard that somewhere. Yeah, they are. Cause all you'd have to do is- I mean, it's really- it's not easy, but... I mean, it's easy for me because, like, like, I'm an expert in these fields, but... For yeah, other I can people, do that. not so much. Yeah, I've, I've been able to do that. Well, you built that nuclear reactor with your- with your, uh, mechanical arms. Yeah, I had an old PS3 I wasn't using, so gotta reuse some old stuff. And then the government said, "This was the best nuclear reactor we've ever seen. We'll buy it for a million dollars." And you're like, "Nah, I I'm said, bored I'm of this. Not a, I'm not a sellout. Whatever, dude." Backwards man, the backwards man, the backwards man, the backwards. We man. watched that like not long ago. That movie's so fucking funny. What's it called? Freddy Got Fingered. Yeah. Oh that yeah. Movie rocks. It's I watched that like a, a couple years ago. So Silly and dumb. So epic. Tom Green really is his uh, own one brand. of a kind. Yeah. 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 You just pop it and fall like no animation. It would be great if they just found like a hundred ways to kill Gollum. Like you jump in that bubble yeah. and you just that would burn. be great. You melt inside the bubble. It turns him into a normal human. I was the old man broke character. And he's he's like, how many times are you gonna die? I am a big woman. I am a big woman. You cannot stop me. No, if you had these powers, wouldn't you just perpetually make yourself like a few inches taller? Uh, I certainly would. Ah, not even not even substantially, just like uh, like yeah, like four inches taller. <laughs> uh, you can make any part of you bigger. True. Yeah, you could have a nice. Uh, I would keep everything else smaller and that one thing bigger, if you know what, what I mean. What if you shrug your body down and made your cock bigger so it looked even bigger that's relative what, to you? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's you, what I was heavily implying. Chris, you are half the size, but your you know what is double the size. That would just like. <laughs> look, that would look so stupid. Yeah. All of this is well and good until you put it into practice. <laughs> no, you you would definitely want to do that just to see what would happen. You would, you get, you'd but you would pulse by yourself. You wouldn't maintain it. But if anyone caught you doing that, you, that would be you for the rest of your life. You'd never live that down. Like, oh, you're the guy who was so self-conscious. Yeah, you aren't to you do the that. guy that shrugged your body half the size and your cock <laughs> twice the size? It's kind of weird, man. <laughs> that would literally just be your life from now on. Yeah. Oh, you're small cock man. Small, uh, small body, big cock man. <laughs> Here, I'll challenge you to a homer off. Okay. Hello, I am Homer. Hello, Mike. You look so beautiful in the moonlight. Okay, Tomer, who won that round? 
<laughs> Neither. I, okay, I know you guys can both do better homers. No, 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 no. You First of all, don't say that. That's not true. Second of all, <laughs> your Marge and Chris and I are both. This is this is the episode. It's called Homer freaking clothes himself. Yeah. This is season thirty-two, episode <laughs> one. All right, you be Marge. All right, do your real best, Marge. We'll do our real best, Homer. Yeah. Me? So, establishing shot of the house. <laughs> da, 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 da. It doesn't do that for the establishing shot da, 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 da. of the house. Yeah, it does that. Yeah. And then we hold on for five seconds in silence, and then we cut in. Mm -hmm. And Homer is on the couch, and Marge walks in. He's holding a Duff brew. Yeah. And he's not smiling at all. He's just kind of sitting there with the TV off. Homer, are you ever going to assemble that hat rack sitting in the living room? You assume you can talk to me? Really? Did you ever talk to us like that again? You're going to, you're going to have a big Oh my problem. god, there's two homies! That's right. That Let's is. get this straight, you yes. fucking cunt. Yes, that's right. I cloned myself this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick, I'm sick of you yelling at me and telling me I'm lazy and good for nothing. No, that was me. You're that, the clone. Oh, that's right. That was you. <laughs> that was you, I mean. Technically, you have all of the memories I have I have the same as you. I feel like I am you, but you... Uh-oh. And now, Marge... Homie, you violated international law by cloning yourself. This I is a big have deal. Done so, yes. Yes, it's but can you prove it? D in the eyes of the so. law, yes, I have violated. <laughs> I have committed a great crime. But in the eyes of God, I am amongst him. <laughs> I am a god myself in some ways. Homie, that sounds like cult leader talk. Yes, yes, it does, doesn't it? Maybe you should join me at institute. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you clone yourself, you will see the ways. Oh, do you remember you, that guy, you La Lilia? That no. used to degrease his pizza? Oh, I remember him. Oh, yeah, degreaser. Yeah. <laughs> oh, degrease boy. Is that what he you did, called he used him? to degrease his pizza. He did, he did a good job doing that. Yeah. He probably saved a few calories. He lost 15 billion pounds doing That's that. That's what he says. I mean, that, the grease is where all the nutrients are. You guys need to explain what the hell you're talking about. Grease is one of the essential food groups, is what all it's you need to It's at the top of the pyramid. He, he if would, that's how make it the most important, I don't know what he it is. He would drape, like, uh, 50 paper towels over every pizza he bought to soak up all the grease. And so he made videos of him doing this? Yeah, yeah so, he's like, this is my method. I've been doing it for almost 20 years, and it's an extremely effective method. Somewhat soft padding, kind of a medium low. It kind of follows like a square root curve in a way. As you can tell here, there's still quite a bit. So what are these other ones for? That will come for a little later on in the process. Well, they would be perfectly suitable for degreasing. This is that guy that degreases his pizza. This is his list of fears. Uh, mirrors, the number 22, Ooh, curvy. people in person, chairs, A lot of this sounds like chairs. stuff he just made up when challenged to make up the Unfamiliar silverware. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like he's doing a bit. No, no, no I think he real. made these up all no. on the spot. Spotty dishes and dirty clothes. No! <laughs> Waiting in line, whistling. Wow, you I basically made it. beat the level. Wow. Bicycle I scrolled rating. all the way you to the end. You were underground at the end. Should have given it to me. You know what else is underground in the end, Tomar? A corpse. Yep. You should have taken your ring. <laughs> Take your wing. Take your ring. Take my wing. Now, this is a very quick list of his former fears blue water. Catch ketchup and mustard. Blue water is unnatural. <laughs> grass. Water ain't supposed to be blue. How can you be? He's not afraid of grass. These are former. He's he's uh -oh. over these. Sunlit ground, shadows, showering, driving. What would you tell people your fears online? <laughs> yeah, that's like. It's just like a recipe. Guys, if you want really good advice, it's tell everyone on the internet your fears, your list of fears. Enemy Tomar, radar. would you, if you could, if you could get uh, a bionic. And now listen very carefully, a bionic extension. What the fuck? Where Jesus. Pe where people could see how much fuck. pee you have in you because you've got a meter on your belly that shows how yellow it is full up of pee. Would you get that installed on you? No. As a bionic upgrade? <laughs> that cool laser thing. Dude, get it. What? Oh my god. <laughs> the fuck is this? Oh, show me some downsides. It's got crazy spread, that's the uh, downside. Yeah. Okay, we're good. I liked it a lot. I like this a lot better than what I had, though. Does it go? It even breaks through shit. Oh wow! All right. Sorry, Zach. Continue your thing. Oh no, I was just saying. What would you do if you could get a bionic installation or a bionic upgrade, where there was a vertical, like, glass meter where you could see how much piss was inside of your belly? <laughs> <laughs> and you, so I could, so for example, Tomar is at the pool. I could say, Tomar, you're thirty percent full of piss. Now, would you? 
Would you get that or would you not get that? And Why he, would I get that? How would that benefit well, because, me as the be, wearer? Because it's the far off year of 2005 and anybody can get any kind of bionic upgrade. The far off year of two thousand five. Anybody can get any, bio any bionic upgrade. But why? So why would I choose that of all fucking things? Because you can get a bionic upgrade in the future. What if I wanted a bionic upgrade that, like, uh -huh. you know, let me like see lies or something? Well, it sounds like beggars can't be choosers. Can I mean, see lies with a bionic upgrade. Yeah, why not? You've been, you've been, you've been, you've been offered a bionic, a bionic upgrade. Like literally, I can see a little like thing pop up in someone, like above someone's head when they're lying. No, no, that's ridiculous. But imagine this though. Imagine you can see how full you are of piss, or even here's here's the, here's the alternative <laughs> I'll give you. You have a second meter installed next to it that also shows how full of uh, PCs what? you are. Oh, you made a lightning storm! That's killing me. You're gonna die! You're gonna fucking die! Fuck you. Okay, let's do a hypothetical where we say one word and that will become the hypothetical. Okay. So I say, what if we were brass? <laughs> brass? What do you mean brass? What if we were brass? What if we were brass? What then the what? What does that even mean? That's like, that's, that's, like a, that's like a Chinese translation. That it's like right so bad. <laughs> what, what if we were brass? <laughs> Wouldn't that be crazy? <laughs> if we were brass, things would be a little bit different. <laughs> things would be a little weird around here. Okay, let's try it again. What if we were found? Brass. No, no, no. Sorry, 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 sorry. What if we were found? Found in the back of a car with no. Wait, no, that's you again, Chris. No hair. And, <laughs> and uh, we could never come again. Come. <laughs> what if we were found in the back of a truck and with no hair we couldn't come again? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great question, I guess. I, something would have something happened to what, us. What if? <laughs> well... Not doing much. Would you still listen to us do Let's Plays, viewer? Yeah, it's, it's really more for the audience. If guys, if, <laughs> yeah. what if we were found in the back of the truck with no hair, we couldn't come? Would you still watch the show? Just, or would we, we not be relatable anymore? You just got the lamest achievement <laughs> ever. What? It said you jumped over enemies ten times. <laughs> so what? What was that scream? Ah! Yes, yes, uh, good. Good, exactly what I was you going to You fucking Muppet-headed oh. prick. Just, I don't care. Let me go. <laughs> Yeah, leave. Slay out Latin. F stop! It would be more fun with more hands on deck. There you go. I don't care. Oh. I don't want to play with friends. I only want to bring what I need. Man, I just fucking now realize it's called Hell A. Oh, that's what the hell- Hell A- Oh my god. It's so bad. <laughs> Wait, what? What is happening? No. What, what, what is- I just- I just hate this idea that Portland is somehow so much better than L.A. <laughs> it's way oh, better. Oh, L.A. like L.A. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I thought they were calling it Hella. They were calling it Hella, which is how you would pronounce a word spelled like that, but yes. I think it did have a hyphen, we were just being stupid. That actually gave me pause, how much I hate that. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, we'll have the- we'll have- you know, what's in now is- is the audience- is the viewer- uh, viewing home- Whoa! They can do that! They really can do that. Sorry, that All I was gonna say me. was, guys, what's in now, there's a lot of trends on YouTube over the years, but I think the cool, new cool one is the idea of interacting with the fan base. So I have an idea. Um. We'll all do a new funny character voice, and whichever one wins will be the new permanent cast member. Yeah. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll do, I'll do a voice. What is what I was, what? Hi, I need a job. <laughs> Alright guys, which one? Comment below, A, B, or Niall, which you one do you- which one do you want? <laughs> which one of those three? Maybe or not. Which one's the new main character? Adam, if this game was to be improved in any way... Yeah? How would you do it? Hmm... Hmm... N new character, who- who does he fight alongside? Luigi! <laughs> you can't- you wrong. gotta come up with your own character. Oh, my own OC? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Luigi! <laughs> Tario. Who was was that? He's he's an Italian pizza maker. <laughs> yeah. But he also has a bit of Japanese heritage. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Give me the shit. You punched him what, in the what air. did you call him? Tario? Yeah, Tario. The Italian Japanese pizza. And how does he mix up gameplay with his heritage? 
Uh, he doesn't. He just, he is, his eyes, I mean, what? He's exactly the same? <laughs> he's exactly, no, he's not the exact same. Well, then what does he do different? Uh, he makes really good pizza. What do you mean? What is he? You're do? not very creative, Adam. I'm the most creative. What are you talking about? What are you okay? He flies around with his jet legs and he shoots That's lasers cool. out from the sky. Yeah. With his power hands. Yes. Tario just went from like a like a C class character to like a fucking B plus at yeah. least. No, that was an A plus. Okay. Yeah. I like the confidence. See, Thank my character you. would be the delivery driver. Uh huh? That sucks. Uh -huh. you and suck. she and she puts it's a girl. She ew, puts ew, her, ew, her vagina through a hole in the pizza box <laughs> to let you fuck it. It's like yeah, the it's like the, the dick in the popcorn <laughs> thing. But it's her pussy. <laughs> <laughs> she, she stuffs it through like roast beef. <laughs> <laughs> That's so disgusting. Uh, All right, dude. Now, someone would just grab it and eat it by accident. Lyle, who's your OC? Uh, my OC yeah. is the guy who cleans the bathroom. The guy who cleans the cum for the porno shoot. Exactly. What's his name? Pepino. Uh, <laughs> Cario. Campino. Campario. It's a pizza time. <laughs> Pizza time. You know what? Something cool about this game is uh, you, there's mouse control mode where you you like move the mouse around like a car and the game does what you do. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Now, Tomar, go somewhere we can all relate to. Italy. Somewhere. No. Industrial sites. No. Utah. No. Utah. West Coast. That's the one, baby. Yep. My right, West Coast. Let's go to Chinatown. Choose the spawn point in the West Coast. Let's go to Chinatown and get shoved Chinatown. around by homeless people. Tomer, we should get you to read out the entirety of Mein Kampf, and then no one can yell at us. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Chris, you look dumb with your pink hat. You don't look as cool. I can't see your muff top. I'm sorry, Corey, but that's just how it is. I wish your belly would juggle more whenever you bounced around. I wish we could have given me, like, frying pan nipples, belly jiggle. I wish you could see your wiener through the sweatpants. <laughs> that would be nice. That would be more realistic. <laughs> just like an extra long 13-inch cock <laughs> where your knee would be. All of the shit. toilets have shit in them. Like, what is going on? I know. Yeah. Everyone dropped the deuce before no, the world yeah, ended. nobody flushed before- I guess that would make sense, right? If you- yeah, I mean, if you're the right, world... if the water turns off and then anyone takes a shit, the shit's there forever. Yeah. You gotta do the, that life hack where you put a trash bag over your toilet and shit in the toilet and then remove the trash bag. I don't know if I'd call that a life hack, but it's a good, <laughs> it's a good apocalypse technique, I think I that's guess. a prank, not a no, life it's a, hack. No, it's a life hack. Okay. If you have a clogged toilet, you can, uh, you put a bag inside of it and then shit in the bag. I think you're better off repairing the clogged toilet. Okay, but Tomar, what if you don't have any hands? Die, motherfucker. <laughs> then how are you gonna set up the bag without hands? Uh, you can use your teeth or your toes. God damn, I fucking crick my damn neck getting jump scared so hard by that bitch. Give me whiplash. Sorry, Dave. You want me to massage it for you? Yeah. Maybe you got a pinch nerve, buddy. I think I might. I got just the, uh, the solution. What is it? You get two chopsticks. Uh -oh. You stab the man on either side of the nerve, and you pull. <laughs> I don't think I like that. All right, got a better one. You get two fish hooks. <laughs> I don't think I like that one either. I'm All looking right. at you, fucker. I got a therapy. Oh, gun. it's just orange now. It's not going to green. What if I like bite your nerve out of your neck? <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> the bite of eighty-seven? <laughs> no, it's like the bite of twenty-three. <laughs> oh. I wish I was Robert Cop. Yeah, Don't I wish I was off. a little bit taller, you know what I mean? I wish I was made of silver. I yeah. wish I had my face wrapped around a big metal skull. Yeah. I wish I could stomp around like dunk, dunk. Oh, I yeah. don't have engineering yeah, level I, six, yeah. I suppose. I wish I could throw a tantrum whenever I want <laughs> and no one could stop me. His stomps sound cool because it sounds like there's like. Uh, I wish somebody could shoot me in the arm and blow my arm a hand oh, off and I, say. I, and they should shoot me in the head. Yeah. 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 I'm not a good enough to do so. I wish off. Robocop was my upstairs neighbor. <laughs> that would be so <laughs> 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 circles all day. But you'd know he was being cool up there. I'd be like, all right. He would just like collapse through the roof. <laughs> all and then the you time. get to hang out with him. <laughs> well, He'd well, crash well, onto your couch well, next to you, and I then I don't know how to get back up. Now yeah, that I'm here, but... we might as well have a fun time. Yeah, it'd it be like it'd be like well a Super Bowl kiss. Doritos commercial where it's like RoboCop crashes through the guy's ceiling. Yo, dude, RoboCop coming in to hang out with me? All right. <laughs> First one to not say Bobo Bop loses. Bobo Bop. I will. 
I lose. I win. I lose. <laughs> Loser <laughs> has to die. <laughs> <laughs> we should play that game sometime. <laughs> Bobo Bob first one to say Bobo Bob loses. <laughs> first one not to say Bobo Bob. Yeah, I'm confused. Yeah, wait, what's the game? The <laughs> Yo, wait, what is the game? I, I thought it was to say. I don't even know what the rule is. I thought it was not to say it. <laughs> the first one not to say Bobo Bob. And then he's the first one not to say Bobo Bop doesn't lose. Oh, that's so confusing. Doesn't win because they lose, because they're not winning. Idea, pitch, fat joker. The foker. What does he do? Uh, he blames society for the state he's in. You know, society's a lot like this donut. <laughs> and it puts it into my mouth, and I have no control over it at all. It's just like, have you ever seen that, uh, that, that it's actually a really good, uh, SNL sketch. It's from like the '90s. It's uh, it's Phil Hartman being Bill Clinton, mm -hmm. and he just goes to McDonald's and he keeps grabbing oh, yeah, everyone's food that. off their plates. Yeah. He just keeps eating it. <laughs> it's a really good look up. Bill Clinton, Phil Hartman. It's a great SNL sketch. You want to know how I got this donut? You want to know how I got this fat? It wasn't my fault. <laughs> I was ten percent body fat. I wouldn't stop buying sugary food. And now I'm thirty-two BMI. You know, you know what Corey and I argued about today? What? I honestly want to remember. The easiest thing to draw is the butthole. Oh, oh God. <laughs> uh, it's true. You No, it isn't. Adam said something really funny about, like, actually drawing a butthole. Uh-huh. He's it's like, so you, you turn a W on the side and add a circle in the middle. It's like, that is... <laughs> That is the worst improvised butthole I've ever seen. That's like that's like caveman thought. Mm, butthole three and zero. What the fuck are you talking about? I oh no! I'm you didn't get it. I'll get it. I'm an idiot. I need to process what you just said. What the fuck? A three on its side with a circle in the center makes a butthole of delight. Whoa! It's an enemy. Why did you? He like, won't get out of my oh, fucking he's invisible. way. Yeah. yeah, he won't get out of my fucking way. Dude, that was. Dude, get out of my way, you fucking hole. You hole. You oh, hole piece of shit. Look at him. That's fucked. There, he, he fell. Okay. He fell. I heard him. That's insane. Yeah. Insane in the brain. So wait, what? How just does a three circle, just and put a, a goddamn double. circle and a lowercase w together, and you get a butthole? Yeah, and a butt. editor, draw a, a circle what and a butthole. What kind of a butthole are you thinking about? Okay, okay, like let me show you. Oh, you one? can't look at me. Adam, no, 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 Adam, no. you draw it and give it to the editor. Okay, I will. And you guys will be like, oh, that's that's I get and beat then off. Find where the blurannix gland is. The what? That's the it's a sexual term for like the inner tube of the butthole. Did I ever tell you that Kyle has like a permanent scar on his body because I burnt him with a pistol? Stachio. Did you really? What? Yeah. Why'd you do that? I didn't do it on purpose. So fucking, uh, there's a thing you could do with a pistachio, like a, the <laughs> shell of a pistachio, or if, if you, like, rub it on the ground real quick, it gets super, super hot. Really? And, uh, yeah, like, enough to, like, burn you. So he did that, and he did it to me, and I was like, what the fuck? And he, like, showed me how to do it. But, like... You overdid it and just permanently scarred it? Well, yeah, because I figured it's a fucking pistachio, you probably have to do it a lot. And then I did it a lot, and I made, like, a fucking borderline firebrand, and I now he's got, like, a pistachio-shaped mark on him. I don't understand. How, if it's from the friction? Yeah, from the friction, it, like, heats it up. Will it say. does it way better than you would think it so would, too. So you looked too. at it, saw that it was glowing red hot, you're like, that would be cool to stick on his body. <laughs> he did it to me, I thought that was what he did to me. Well, wow, what was his reaction when you did it? He went, ah! <laughs> was he mad at you? Uh, not really, because he knew I didn't know, like, the extent to which the pistachio was going to light him on fire. He looked you in the eyes like, Lyle, you're <laughs> scarring me. You're scaring oh. and scaring. <laughs> if you did that to me, I'd be really mad for, like, a day. I'm gonna start biting chunks of your flesh off. Thank you. I think he was proud. <laughs> I think he was proud at my ability to create a fire pistachio. It's uh -oh. like when the master teaches his student how to punch really hard, and he fucking owns him. Yeah, he fucking he's breaks his ribs, and oh. he's like dying, and he's like, I'm so proud of how cool you got. <laughs> I couldn't have been cool without you, you old fool. <laughs> That's a nice thing for your master like, uh, to say. Like an, uh, it's like in Karate Kid when Mr. Miyagi teaches Daniel how to like stand on one foot and kick, and then he kicks his head off. <laughs> and then he blinks twice to say, well done. Let's and make fun of Lyle again. I'm, I don't want to be made fun of. I gotta find this Everyone fucking- Everyone gets their turn! That's it, it's Baby Bink. It's the stupidest <laughs> name ever. <laughs> are, you, are you saying I have a Baby Bink voice? You're a fucking Bink. <laughs> Whatever happened to Baby Bink? <laughs> See ya, you <laughs> fucking idiot! <laughs>
We have to make fun of Chris now. He made fun of both of us. I think Baby Bank is the greatest character in cinema history. <laughs> My name is Chris, and I like to do impersonations <laughs> no, no, of Lyle whenever I express my deepest, darkest fears. Are you doing an impersonation of Chris doing an impersonation of you? Yes. Jesus. <laughs> I can't go that far. Do an impersonation of me doing an impersonation of Chris doing an impersonation of me. Uh, my name is Baby Bink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as far as I can go, I, I, don't. I think Baby Bink is a sexual icon. <laughs> <laughs> oh what if, no. Like, what if, like, Robert De Niro was the new Baby Bink in the, <laughs> in the sequel? <laughs> and he calls himself Adult Bink? I would pay $60 to go to a movie to watch Robert De Niro shit a diaper and, and suck his thumb and say, I watched my mama. But Robert, imagine Robert De Niro looking at the camera and just going, Baby Make Boom Boom. Oh, man, he, was, he used to be in such good movies, and then he started going in really shit movies. Imagine him <laughs> wiping his ass. <laughs> I would, I would literally pay four hundred dollars to watch Robert De Niro wipe his ass I on screen. I probably would too. <laughs> it would be such would. a spectacle. Wait, just to watch him wipe his ass? Yeah, and turn around into the camera, and go, baby, make boom boom. <laughs> oh, my balls are itchy. Have you tried cutting them off with scissors? I've tried like mutilating myself and like, create like like doing weird torture experiments. Yeah. Wait, you ever get so sick of your balls, you take a pan and just start stabbing your balls really hard as fast as you can? Not with a pen, with like a long needle. Oh yeah, like the eye needle you'd serve to people's eyes. Yeah. The alien eye needle. Yeah, the alien eye <laughs> <laughs> Bringing this, that back. The fire in the sky alien eye needle. <laughs> we, should become, we should become politicians, get to president level, and then start renaming states. Uh, guys. I would just do that and then be fired on my next term. <laughs> I'm pretty sure only I, I, state yeah. government can rename nope. states. Fine, I'll become state government. Well, just become a dictator first, yeah. then do I'll, that, yeah. and then resign. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll become a dissolve president. All <laughs> dissolve all <laughs> dissolve state governments. Dissolve Congress, governments. dissolve Congress, dissolve, 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 dissolve the Supreme Court, become, become a ruthless- all states into become just one become giant a tyrant. Yeah, be, 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 just become a ruthless tyrant, destroy the infrastructure of the Constitution. Like, burn down every library, every police station, every Destroy the federal highway, roll over with tanks. And yes. then Disconnect everything. the country. Yeah, then rename <laughs> everything to memes and jokes. Destroy, destroy all. Destroy every single piece of history and replace it with stuff of yourself instead. And then get so plastic surgery and leave and it, never come yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. Just like and, dip. and then resign. Dip before you hit your midterm. Yeah, that's such a I'm great. Idea. And then claim you went out on top. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> I quit. Yeah, while you write your own history. It's I great. Go, oh, guys. Look, look at. Well, all. let me tell you something. If you did that, you would be remembered forever. You, you, the you would. And you write a million books about how you defeat. Everybody and, oh, the tribal and there would be probably people who still stick with your name, like Poopville oh, or yeah. whatever the yeah, fuck people, you call people it. People would be crying, going, when is Poopville going to return? <laughs> Corey, I think you should take a one year break from porn and just see how you feel. <laughs> I did. No, you did not. No, I did. I, I One time I took a break from Twitter for six months. That's not That's porn. That's not porn. No, I took a break from Twitter from drawing porn or doing anything for six months. Did you look at porn at all? No. You, I didn't. You, well, what, I mean, yeah. Smack, I have to, to smack off. Smack off. Hard to believe. I have bro. to smack off. Smack off? Yeah, I have to jill off and smack, smack off. Smack on? You, smack off. You'd be, you be smacking off and I'd be cracking off. No, I definitely had to smack Chris off. Chris is cracking away at his fall? giant invention every day. Corey, well, you, every time you watch porn, just every time you're sitting there uh, smacking off, pleasure yourself, getting that little dopamine, carrot the end of a stick, just imagine <laughs> the fact that Chris is in his garage with a big hammer, cranking away I'm at his new invention. I'm working on my, my biggest invention. His biggest <laughs> invention, so you're wasting time. He's making his big gizmo. Oh, like coming? What? What do you mean? What's you're the big thing you're doing? You're smacking off. Would you off. like to If go? he told you, it wouldn't be Would you like, no web boy? <laughs> Wet boy. He told you it would be his big invention. Yeah, I know. Every time the camera cuts to me tinkering on my big invention, we never show it's it. It's just a big black silhouette. We never show the uh, the device. It could be anything. It could what? be anything. Dang, 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 dang. Are you working on invention? Is this just like? Yep. Like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Well, that's a, okay. That's a good movie. Yeah, got me. It's a shrink ray. Honestly, if I had any sort of superpowers, I would use it for nefarious purposes. If I had a shrink ray, I'd shrink every part of my body except my dick. How much would you shrink it? Like, what percentage? The rest of my body? Yeah. Like... 
13. Would you? Would you? That's a lot, okay, dude. I, I know my dick would look huge. Would you also shrink a woman and then but pleasure the woman her would with still your feel fucking... the exact same thing? Yeah, but she'd be like, "Wow, you're in proportion." No, she wouldn't. She'd be split open with a human-sized dick. No, with a human-sized. Well, dick. you would be small. It would be the human-sized. You would dick. be. It, the woman would feel no different. It would. You just look smaller. Be a smaller <laughs> man fucking her. Yep, it would be totally. It'd be worth a small-headed Chris. It would be creepy. I would shrink, uh... Do you want her to have that in her nightmares? You know what? I'll keep my body the same. I'll shrink my nuts. Sh shrink your nuts? See, that's a practice. That's a good idea. So you want, like, a TikTok-sized dick, but a huge fucking <laughs> sack? I, not what I said. I said I'd shrink my nuts. No, you wanted to shrink yourself? Yeah, and that too. Okay. What about shrink your ass so your dick looks bigger? I just want to shrink myself. <laughs> just my ass. <laughs> I, I just want to shrink That'll myself. That'll make your penis look bigger. Then we'll be able to shit out of it. Uh, it'll get back. It'll come out. It's like little. It'll pellets. stretch out over time. It'll figure itself. It'll sort itself out. Okay. Because your intestines are still the same size. You're right. I'm gonna shrink my nipples into little tiny dots. To imperceptible, like little little specks. Little atoms, yeah. You're gonna shrink your nipples? They're already shrunk. Excuse me. Whoa. Sorry. Ooh, what do you Did mean? I go too far? That's was that, that, nice. was that non-conventional? That's, that's not very nice, that's Corey. That's not common knowledge, Corey. Was that non-conventional? <laughs> yeah, it's non-conventional. <laughs> I wonder if that is someone's actual social. <laughs> he probably is. <laughs> probably is. <laughs> that number would definitely are. That, is that because is, is it like in an order of these numbers? Or I don't. Is, I mean, it's just a random no, number. I, I but no if idea. you do that and dox that, somebody, that could you're be a bad someone's person. real so real it social. It probably would be right. It pro probably. Wait, if Chris, you, go and look, see if you can find like a social security lookup. No, that's not. A, okay. that, that doesn't exist. <laughs> There's a lot of- that would be the most idiotic <laughs> yeah, thing ever. Use Google search to look at social security invasion. <laughs> that is a real social. Oh, oh, oh. It is a real? Yep. Whose is it? This guy's on my territory. Some guy called Tom Fulp? Oh no! How did you guess that number? If you guys want to own Newgrounds, <laughs> this is his identity right there. Yeah, you can use it against him. Steals new grounds. Tom looks on. Come <laughs> <laughs> like, That's all right. That's silly. You guys are silly. <laughs> that, that was mine. You stole new grounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Okay. Oh my god! Oh my! Oh. <laughs> Jesus! I'm kind of glad that happened. That was awesome. Yeah, that was that, crazy. I've never seen that. This isn't about like making a sex toy or anything, but uh, <laughs> when Jesus. I was when I was a, after seeing a girl get chainsaw. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, um, when I was a kid. I was like, I'm gonna start, like, making a stink bomb in case I, like, need it one day. I don't know what the fuck I thought I was gonna need it for. What are you, Dennis the Menace? But I was like, I was like, <laughs> in case there's, like, a situation where I have a great enemy that I need to, like, defeat with a stink bomb, <laughs> I'll just have it. So I took one of those, you, know, you ever seen those big plastic containers of cheese balls? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I had one of those, and I was just like, I would just like sneak out like leftover food and shit like that I thought would stink like eggs and fucking shit like that, and just yeah. like put it in there. And I did this for maybe like, Almost a year, cause I like hit it. It was like on the side of the house, and like bizarre, I, like wow. hit it behind a fucking <laughs> trash can. Yeah. And then uh, I think one day my dad found it and just threw it out. Oh. So I never got to fucking defeat anyone. With a them. year of work wasted. <laughs> it would have probably actually like been like rotten and like melted someone's face and like given them some kind of horrible disease. <laughs> so I'm kind of glad. Like a new T virus. Yeah, I would have ended up in fucking juvie or something if anyone actually like pissed me off enough to fucking. To earn the stink bomb, the yeah, L virus. If you threw it at somebody, it just gives them salmonella and kills them. Yeah, it probably would have, because there was like raw meat and stuff in there that oh. had been sitting there for like a year. You oh, you made it the Pink Mountain. Yeah, this is this, this is, is awesome. Real, this is really fucking hard. This one, this Ooh. is where you pogo a lot, because you have to go up. I love this song. I think you just Chris, got a you new should game. remake this on your fucking. I should remake this game. <laughs> you should. This game fucking rocks. I've got the funding you, from you Steam. Got, yeah, you got COVID, kid. Just like change out the assets. <laughs> Chris, you've got millions. I've got millions. COVID kid. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, we're, we're renaming Bulbo the COVID kid. Bulbo is just the COVID for Brandy. Yeah. Any cops every like five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and his eyes get pinker as the game this progresses. This is all you do in this game, by the way. You just fucking do this. He loses his taste of his taste. <laughs> Eggman. Did you guys see Robotnik's new adventure that he was talking about on on the internet? What was it? Too? He like built like a. Uh, like a fox girl, he used real bones. Who? A fox girl? Yeah, like Who? Robot Robotnik built this, uh... Fox like, li like, li 
He has like a life-sized like character with like real bones inside. I feel like he would he would probably make like sex robots that he can have sex with in secret, or you just fuck Orville and the red one or whatever. The the two robot people that oh the sassy the, robots. There's like a yellow block one and a red circle one. He probably just takes it. It really is of a them. good point. If you were, I do feel like he groom. It. I do feel like you guys were talking about grooming before. I feel like he grooms his robot henchmen. It's well, they're, they're totally reliant on him. It's a power. It's a it's a nasty relationship. Yeah, it's a power move. It's a power dynamic. I mean, there's little rabbits and stuff inside there. Robotnik right? pretended to be a, a feminist just to like gain their trust, and then he fucking fucked <laughs> them. <laughs> you didn't really do anything with those fire arrows, done, did? I know, but I'm looking for. Oh, okay, ah, okay. E -O -A -O -E -O -A. Now you're getting it. Okay, here you go. Okay, Link. That's my boy. Now listen. Wait for the classic. Imagine if it says. Everyone, from, if you ever meet Miyamoto, do that to his face. Go. Yeah. <laughs> You Grab him by the you. cheeks, put your key set in your asshole, and spread put open. Put your giant and... <laughs> three foot long boss key into his taint, into his asshole. You guys are just sick. You make me sick. Chris, for $100, would you put a chimp in a big, like, rotating metal cage and, like, sl like every, like, <laughs> ten seconds stabbed it from some side that it didn't know it was gonna happen? <laughs> yeah. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I didn't expect this fucking sick rabbit to talk. <laughs> I want to put a chimp in, in that cage from the Avengers and push the button where it falls to Earth, spinning around. Well, you're really good at this. I think I'm everyone in the comments was right when they said that you're actually fucking good at this game. When they said that, well, I had to use my 25 sock puppet accounts to agree. <laughs> to, to agree and downvote them? To agree, them. yeah. To agree and report their comments. I think one of the funnest things you could do as a grown male is act like a 12 year old, like, <laughs> and just go on YouTube and just fucking insult everybody. Just say, fuck you. This video sucks. You just, like, just search for new videos by little kids and just insult them. <laughs> I'm, I'm as old as you, and I have to say this is stupid. <laughs> I'm your exact- I'm your- I'm your exact age- I'm your- I'm your exact age and I gotta say, man. Imagine doing- imagine if you were 40 that's, and you're just that's like- That's gotta be the most psychotic thing to do is like, what a waste of time. Can you imagine, like, doing that? Like, being 40 and just, like, purposefully just being like, Huh, I'm gonna use my superior adult's intellect. As What's a 14 year old, yeah. as a fellow 14 year old, I have to say, this is stupid. I'm smarter than you and I'm, and I'm younger than you. I'm actually two years your junior and I know twice as much. Chris, you've got one trillion- Fire ants. Yeah. And you've got one country in the world you can unleash them on. I can make it rain down on it. You can make fire ants rain down on one country. For how long? For for literally forever. Until how many ants per cubic meter? One million ants per per centimeter. Jesus, that's a lot. It's that is a it, lot. It will destroy the whatever country <laughs> you chop it on. The crops will die, the people will die, the buildings will die. You will literally, like, burn- it's worse than a nuclear bomb. I was expecting, like, one ant per meter. No, no, one yeah. million per You'd per be fucking Antenheimer. Yeah, I would do, uh, Iceland. Really? Ice? Why? I just feel like- Is it like fire and ice kind of a thing? Fire and ice? I mean, like that's ice? clever, but no. I, it was oh. just more so, like, they're, they're a peaceful, like, nice, you know, small- very secluded country. If a bunch of ants fell down and rained on them, they would all die for sure. And I just feel like I could uh, take over. You'd move into the but, ant but, but, but country. Chris, the fire... No, the ants would all die pretty quickly. No, they wouldn't. The fire ants would rain forever. They'd rain. F they they'd rain, rain forever, or they rain yeah. as it a king. Yeah, yeah. Which, which rain are you talking? They, they, this they could they go. What the fuck and they is are happening? E -I -N. Is this Pokemon? They do both. What is this? It is to Epic Cat Sores. It's that Homer. Meow. That's Homer. I assume that is no ordinary cat. Um, <laughs> that's not exactly normal. Um, that thing looks slightly it's peculiar. Something's a little bit wrong. Uh, goes cross eyes. Something's a little bit wrong with that cat. I wish the bracelet had cross eyes. The tenth of It'd be great if it had like big, big, uh, rare, like Banjo Kazooie eyes, like blink, blink. That would be Ooh, fucking sick. That'd be awesome. Sick. That'd be cool. I forgot that rare did that with literally everything. Oh, wow, a key with eyeballs, real fucking creative. Every blade of grass has eyeballs, like, zoinking around. Every fucking polygon has eyeballs bouncing up and down. <laughs> real genius rare. Yeah, great thanks for idea. ruining every game you ever made. Thanks for ruining every game ever made after oh, you. Oh, look, idiot. this jigsaw piece has fucking eyeballs. Oh, that's fucking genius. That's really original when you think about it. Yeah, next. Yeah, you're rare because you don't fucking exist anymore. Ooh. Because of your dumb eyeballs. Oh, they exist. They're just putting eyeballs on French fries at McDonald's now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you laughed a little too hard at the misery of the rare employees. You should tell the story about when you were going on a trip. You know, dealing with a fucking kid. Oh yeah, that was great. Do you want to seem like an unlikely? Uh, 
No, dude, I have, I, have, I, have, I, have, I, have, I have pretty fucking good tolerance of being annoyed on flights. I don't really have that many bad <laughs> flight, ex- flight uh, uh, experiences, but... Yeah, I took a flight like a few months ago. It was the it was the worst flight I've ever been on in my entire in my entire life. And what it was was there was a couple, like a young couple in their twenties, and even with like kids, people were like, "Oh, I fucking hate kids." I really don't mind children, but these parents I were fucking so kids. fucking undisciplined. <laughs> I really don't. I really don't. I really don't. I can even tolerate a crying kid for the most part. For the most part. I was but just uh, copying you. These, but but these fucking parents were like the most limp wristed nothing. The dad was like like just like a scared young guy. <laughs> clearly, like just a total coward. And, but basically they had like a toddler who was old enough to talk. So it wasn't, wasn't a baby. It was not a baby. It was like a four year old. And they kept saying phrases over and over. This was a red eye flight. This was like a five 5 a.m. flight to, sorry, yeah, 5 a.m. and we landed at like 8 or 9 or something, and it was a one way. But this little fucking toddler kept going between peaks and valleys of they would go be, they'd be like, they have the biggest high ever. And they would just start saying, all done, all done, all done, all done, all done. They did that. This was a something hour, fl- you know, three hour flight or something. Kept saying that phrase Wait, over and over and I, over. Can I interrupt you? Yeah, please. When you say it like that, it reminds me of that video we saw where it's like this like guys on a on a bus and he's like, oh, youth captain, we have a problem. Captain, we have a problem. Yes, captain, we have a yes, problem. it was that. It was the same phrase over and over and over. <laughs> it was maddening. But then, then they would start oh, no. crying, but they didn't just cry. They would say no, but they didn't. They didn't say, so they go no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I, I, as annoying as that was, imagine that from an actual child, like an octave higher than that, for for a whole. So they go from that no to then all done, all to happiness, and it was like it was maddening, it was fucking. Dude, but the father didn't do anything, anything, and I was like trying to sleep. I had like I had like sound canceling headphones on, and through that, I couldn't even hear the airplane through that. It was like dead silence, but I heard. I hear like muffled. <laughs> I was going insane. I was going crazy. It was kid. the most irritable I've ever been, ever, ever on a flight. I, ever. Ser- I seriously believe that, like, people who allow their kids to do that. Obviously, Why like, don't they have the ba- like it, take the I, back I seats of an airplane and make it soundproof dude, and make it the kids honestly, section? I honestly think they have like a parent who has nothing but just dealt with their kid going all that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eventually, like it just gets to the point where they're too fucking tired. Don't be a parent. Don't be a fucking parent. If you <laughs> no, can't I agree. But like they they don't even fucking hear it anymore. You're right. It's background noise to them. Yeah. At but that dude, point, when, I, when I went to church when I was a kid, right? So there was always a little soundproof silent area yeah, with glass. Yeah. Why does a fucking airplane not have a back like the back like six seats can be for children and you take them back there and it's soundproof? Why? Or consequence like if everyone had a, a like a keypad on their seat and you can like type in someone's seat and be like eject this person from the plane. Yeah, shoot yeah, them out. Absolutely, I they agree. Just get sucked out or from- dude, dude, build like a giant fucking like thing that goes over the kid's head that makes them soundproof. Imagine ah, you just put it over the head. Ah, oh, it just or, goes silence. You know, silence. Like, every you plane has like a policeman sitting at the back with a gun. He should walk up and aim. The gun on the kid's face and say, Ah, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! He shoves the gun in his mouth. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> and play Russian roulette. If the cops like, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 hold on, hold on. <laughs> Do you think more people would have cared about Coco if they changed her name to Kunkus? Probably. I mean, I think a lot of people liked her anyway. I didn't hear anybody oh, no, like. Say you say she everybody was an likes the main like fund for like guerrilla welfare is just coco.org. Like yeah. Coco is like the face of like the pro guerrilla movement. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Think donate about that. to coco.org. Coco uh, went her whole career without getting canceled or me too. Getting cancer. Oh good. Coco didn't get me too. No, but she was like fucking Robin Williams with her fingers and stuff. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> that was, was that was consensual. She was slipping her fingers into Robin Williams. <laughs> 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 we should get a girl in here. I think I think chicks would love. See, now we're just being horrible. Though maybe a girl would love this. Girls would love this. <laughs> yeah. Pardon see? me. So I don't know why you said otherwise. Tomer coughed at the idea. Tomer I didn't. Really coughed, I just coughed. Which is worse than a scoff. Yeah. It wasn't a scoff, it was a- No, I'm not saying it was a scoff, I'm saying it was a cough, which is much worse than a scoff. It was a cough of a guy with slightly irritated... <laughs> and irritated- and irrita- Irritated at the idea of a woman being in the It was more room. of a Joff. <laughs> it was more of a Joffrey, you know what I mean? Ha! Huh. I just right. want to get a girl in here and just like make her co's with me, you know? What do you mean? Co's with you, you I say. want a girl to get in here get co's with me. Make her co's. 
Like, right. like make your cosine a. Le I know. What you're <laughs> I, cosine. I wanted to cosine that you hold my hand. Yeah. I want you to cosign this contract. Crazy. I want you to cosign this lease with This me. is a love contract. You'll love me for exactly three and a half years, and then we'll have to see how we're feeling. <laughs> After that, I'll see where we're at. We'll see where we're at. Wibbly wobbly. Okay. Wibbly wibbly. Wibbly wobbly. Wibbly wobbly. You. You wibbly wobbly. Voosh. What? <laughs> what is fucking happening? <laughs> Oh, whoosh! Whoosh, whoosh, go, 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 go! Yes! <laughs> yes, Bobby, do it! Go, go! It turns out, yes, yes, this is all just really happening, but in New York, and she's just talking to a crazy guy. Oh, yeah, that would actually be a good twist if she's like fucking under a bridge overdosing on something. <laughs> Imagine if it zoomed out, she had like 50 syringes in her arm. It'd be amazing. I actually wouldn't hate that. I would love that. <laughs> oh, where's the comet? There's always a comet parked here. Oh, there it is. I love this thing. There we go. Chris, I can't believe you know the names of all the cars I in Vice City. I played the absolute shit out of this game as a kid, and I only know the names of the good cars. I don't know what the fuck that is. I oh, gotcha. You should make your own, like, uh, game, like, magazine where you just tell all the stuff you remember, you know what I mean? Start a little game zine, is that what yeah, you're little, saying? Yeah, just maybe a little I already game got magazine. one, it's called Video Game Maggie. But yeah, but imagine you open up like in the middle page where the ads go, and it's like, you drew, you've you drawn your own, like, Mario's there, but he's, like, naked or something. Like, you could do anything, but, like, my point is, you could, like, draw but you, cartoons. But a naked Mario is the... <laughs> but you could, like, draw cartoons, preference. like, kissing, and, like, touching, and, like, like, just hugging, like... <laughs> So that could that could be the the you know, the filler and stuff that keeps You're people right, coming back. Your idea of a game magazine sucks. What do you mean, dude? No, page one. Oh. Ah! This car is called a comet. Page two, it's like Mario, and he's like opening his robe up like that Santa Claus video you showed us. <laughs> <laughs> like the Santa Claus. I'm glad Claus you guys video are finally. Holy fuck! I'm glad you guys are finally getting into that Santa picture, that Santa video. Can you describe it for people? Because people might not know, like, it's kind of like Santa, like, you know, it's the holidays. It's just Santa who's, he's like, oh, 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 you've been a very bad boy. It's a real guy, and he's he's cosplaying as Santa. And then he, Can he, we put it in this video here, but just like, <laughs> like, like, like God should blur, God should blur. He takes off blur. his Santa rope, and he's got a micro cock, <laughs> and then he starts, like, <laughs> massaging the area, like, <laughs> like, like the, the, the fat around his cock, yeah. and it's the most disgusting fucking image. But it does make you think, though, what if you got all the way to the North Pole? <laughs> and what that, are you talking about? And that happened. Don't you think Red Skull would be a better villain got if he all was just- shields. Don't you think he'd be a better villain if he was literally just a red skeleton with no clothes on versus Captain America? <laughs> Killer mustache. He's going, psh, you're punching him. He's imagine, just an actual skeleton running around. Yeah, imagine a motion captured real red skeleton <laughs> like, versus Captain America. And he's got a beating heart on top of his head. <laughs> Does he have the eyeballs still, or, or no, he's just I, a skeleton? I'm just imagining like a red skeleton. Like a really generic, like, CG red yeah, skeleton. Yeah, versus Captain America. That would be cool. Okay. We have to go find this missing script. What were you gonna say, Zach? I was gonna say, I have a really funny idea, why don't we all narrate every single line of dialogue that ever comes on the screen? What, is that a good idea? Okay, start in the top left. Top left, I can't read that. <laughs> find, the, <laughs> find the mail yeah, wait, why, why did you that, even say yeah, that? Zach, I bet down there, you, like, the, the, the people talking That's good! Oh, I want to five! I need a few moments! And that got old. And that stunk kind of ice. I don't even get to go! I don't even get a turn! Tom, are you read the little green marker down there? What does it say? Go ahead, Tom. Are you guys four meters? Does that really you. say four meters it says right there? It's 4M. That looks like fucking alien squiggles to me. I can't read that. Okay, Tom, I've got a great fucking idea. What's your, what's your idea? <laughs> this is this is a little technique I've, I've uh, figured out. It's called fucking murder, okay? I can, can I be you? Okay, cult bodyguard. There you go. Now I can do anything I want. Hello. That's another thing, kids. If you're in a cult, you can literally do anything you want. Yeah, with no repercussions. Even breathe fire. You ever, th you ever think about her name is Rouge, but uh, exactly what is so Rouge about her? Hmm? That's a good question. I think it's Ru Rouge because of the. Isn't it a type of green? Uh, Rouge. Rouge. Rouge is like red. Like uh, Moulin Rouge. Rouge. <sighs> Sorry, but she's more pinky and purpley and white and gray. 
Yeah, it's true. It finds the spot for me. This is kind of hard, though. Rouge is know. a good name for her, though. I'll give him it that. It is, yeah. But Rouge is perfect. They should have called her... Uh, I, I think Rouge is her stage name. I think her actual name is Abigail. That is stupid. That sucks. No. Whoever thinks that that's true, fucking go away. <laughs> that's true. It's true. Abigail. That's dumb. <laughs> that's like being like, Sonic's not really his name. It's Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. It's John Smith. <laughs> Rouge's real name should be, uh, Batilda. But Batilda? Batilda. She's a bat. Oh, Batilda? Or it should be like Bathew. It's or Abigail. It's that's her that's her name that's her original name. What about I'm Googling that. I don't believe you. Y you shouldn't, because I made it up. Good. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so bad of a name. Abigail but doesn't. But I think I think Tails is like that. Tails is ta uh, Tails Miles Per Hour. That that was actually just like the most that was like, can we make a clever name for him? And I actually think that's clever. It's, it's not name. clever because the Tails part doesn't fit into it anywhere. It's, it's his, his name nickname. is Prometheus Miles why Per Hour. Why wouldn't they call him like Tails Spin or some fucking his bullshit? Because like he's got two tails, you undeniable shit. <laughs> yeah, but why? Why is his name Miles per hour? Because because it sounds like miles <laughs> per hour. I know that, <laughs> but, but the tails part fucking is a big wrench in the middle of you it. You dumb motherfucker! His name is Miles per hour. Sonic said that's gay. Fuck that. Your name is Tails. That's what happened. He's like, but my real name is Fuck you, it's Tails. Because you got two <laughs> tails. You fly with them. Your tails. He's like, well, why are you called? Sonic. Cause I go faster than Sonic, you <laughs> <laughs> Well, I can't argue with that, I guess. I'm glad you're catching on, dummy. Pretty aggressive. Big's name is big cause he's a fat piece of shit. <laughs> Knuckles' name is Knuckles cause he <laughs> fists my ass all the time. Gee, I wonder why he has big <laughs> Knuckles. And Amy's name is Amy Rose. Yeah, let's give her a nickname. Your name is Pussy. <laughs> That's all I want. Amy the Pussy. <laughs> That's all you are! What about Vector the Crocodile? Because he's like, uh, fucking. Let's not... call him Beats! Because he's got uh -huh. headphones or shit, I don't know! Beats would have been a better name. But I like Vector, it's cute, it's endearing. <laughs> Beats is what I call my wife! <laughs> <laughs> Who divorced me? I'm actually fighting it. I'm Ooh. fighting it. Because there's like one emerald on his head. So hey, I'm... Sonic Vector here! <laughs> <laughs> that was Waverin! Oh yeah! Bye! <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm gonna check this out and see what's in here. I think this part actually is really scary. Well, All it's right. not anymore because you've ruined it, dude. I'm fingering my asshole while you're saying this to me. <laughs> <laughs> dude, if I was a woman, I would just do that constantly. You can finger your own asshole. Yeah, but it wouldn't you've be the same. You've got a prostate in yours, it makes more sense. No, it makes less <laughs> sense. Okay. You're speaking so much truth right now, it's crazy. You're speaking truth to power right now, and I appreciate that. I mean, I'd never do it, but uh, you're gonna do it. <laughs> You're speaking path to power right now. Dragon Ball Z movies- like Dude, I had the funkiest feeling earlier. Uh, I ran out of body wash in my shower, <laughs> and Monica had brought in this weird, like, peppermint Ooh. body wash. Yeah. And I washed my asshole because I'm not a fucking savage. Peppermint? Yeah. That stings. And it just fucking- yeah, it felt- <laughs> Dude, it felt like my asshole was bleeding. Not because it hurt, but just because, like, you're not used to mint in there, so it feels like a cold liquid pouring out. I can one-up you here. When I was 15, I jerked off with toothpaste. Oh, that sounds why like you, a horrible do that? idea. Did it get in the hole? Yeah, it hurt. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I thought it would be cool. I thought it'd be like, ooh, a nice tingling sensation. No, you know what? They make like weird minty condoms and shit yeah, like exactly. that to do that. I was like, this is a cool experiment. And it went horribly wrong. That, that sounds like just a recipe for fucking disaster. You know what's the greatest risk versus reward there is? What? I'd never do it, but, uh, fingering your asshole because <laughs> it's like the reward is it feels good if you touch your prostate, but the risk is getting shit all over yourself. <laughs> uh, that's not a risk, it's a guarantee. <laughs> yeah. Unless you're like, take a really thorough shit beforehand. So it's- it, you're basically- you're making two opposing forces, shit versus cum, fight each other. <laughs> Which one wins? Now you tell me, Dave. Uh, you know what, Chris? On a semi-related but less disgusting note, Do we need to stop talking about this crap. <laughs> no way. No way. Okay. Yeah. This this is worthwhile. This is important. Uh huh. This uh, I, all future generations need to know this. Okay. So they say online that like you can make your own sex toys at home by like like flour, gelatin, things like that. You can put that shit in the oven and make like basically homemade sex toys, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, I've heard yeah. of this. Have you heard of this? Yeah. 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 
Okay, and let me tell you, I don't know if I'm just bad at baking and that didn't work well. <laughs> what a great way to start, yeah. But, yeah, I, one time my family was like, we're gonna go to the beach, ready to go to the beach? And I was like, hmm. I'm feeling under the weather. Can I stay home, dearest mother? <laughs> and she was like, yes, my boy. Yeah. And so they went to the beach. And like the moment I saw the car leave, I hopped out of bed and got all this shit. And I've been reading about it online on my PSP with the fucking HTML internet. Yeah. And I got the flour and all this stuff. And we were missing a handful of ingredients. And I was like, well, that doesn't matter. I'll just substitute these, substitute these with things that are similar. Yeah. But dude, as the day went on, bacon shit became a fucking mess. Wait, you tell me you're going to fuck like a muffin or something? <laughs> no, no. It's no. like you, you basically make like a lady. Latex like fuck toy that you fuck. What out of what? Out out of like if you bake together like all sorts of like gelatins and flour and things, you can just it works. Yeah, I, I remember do, I, I remember there was one that I heard about that I was like, I that is way too much effort. But it was something to the yeah. effect of like you've got to you? put oil in something like a plastic bag you. and then you put that between two couch cushions and take like a a piece of ham and fuck. It was stupid. You no, know, it was dumb. No, it, it was it, like it is basically like that. Yes. Yeah. It's like, I it, know exactly what you're talking about. Right. Though. Right. And like, okay, Chris, do uh -huh. you know those things that are in gift shops? Those little like squish things that like infinitely loop. Yeah. That like if you squeeze it too hard, it'll burst and all the water will shoot out. Yeah. You're basically baking something like that that oh, you can fuck. Water or snakes. Yeah, yeah. Except I love those things. Except it's more like rubber than like water in the thing. Wow. Um, Tomar. Yes. Um, have you ever been on that ride before? Oh, one of those things. Yeah, yeah I have. I like those. Those are really fun. I like the ones that are enclosed where it, you get thrown up against the wall. Oh yeah, the, 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 like it, the centrifugal force pushes yeah. you against it, and you can yeah. piss in your pants, and, you can... and it'll flow up your back. <laughs> yeah, I haven't done that, but I have. I have stood up on the wall like sideways, and it's really fun. <laughs> you face inward. Yeah, like with my head going toward the middle. <laughs> That's so stupid. You're not supposed to do that. Yeah, but I really wanted if to, because what other opportunity would I if get? If you fell over, you'd break your head off someone else's head. <laughs> I think. I was- I think I was tethered in some way. I'm just imagining I, I, one lone guy standing. No. Tomar's just moving towards him and he's like, NO! NO! Dude, it's fucking hilarious. Ah, oh, the golden orb. The classic golden orb. I, I was gonna mention this a second ago that Corey talked about putting a joke where the item shit is. Mm -hmm. After I first played this game on GameCube, I thought it was so awesome that like- ah. Fuck. Like, that's when I made a uh, Rebidant Evil, the cartoon, and that's Classic. that's my cartoon that I regret the most. You made Rebidant Evil? I want to see that. Made Jill oh, Valentine Chris. in a wheelchair. Are you, gonna, are you actually gonna watch that right now? I'm gonna watch it right now. Oh uh, well, I guess we got time, so I'm going to the room. Chris, it's my worst cartoon. Rebidant Evil. I was I was trying for like two months to write a cartoon, <laughs> that so and bad. I couldn't think of one, so I made one. I just decided that it would be funny if Jill was a paraplegic. And Chris has to take her through the mansion like that, yeah. and it's really, really. Let's. Dare I even say it? Horribly gay. <laughs> okay, I'm watching it. That's a, that's a nice intro. This is this is embarrassing. Oh, the Phantom Arc. Oh, that's charming. Are you gonna put the put the editor put Don't put, put the footage on. on screen at the top right? Revenant Evil. Revenant Evil. That's good. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm cringing out my socks, dang it. This looks charming. This is how I feel when you put on the Final Fantasy cartoon. Oh, uh, this is one of my earliest cartoons. Cloud's balls are bouncing everywhere, it's like, makes me self-conscious. Man, if, if you made this in 2014, you'd be an internet celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 2004. Inside of a mansion, Jill! It's coming through Chris's oh, mic and everything. Oh, fuck! Isn't it neat? Wow. Oh, your voice is- I know, Who drew these bad. backgrounds? I had a friend help me with them. It. It's explosive, Look, my good old hometown it's friend. Bad Can I tell you something, Dave? What? Fuck I didn't know anything guy. about Resident Evil, so I couldn't Ready chuckle so along. That's okay. You just made Jill. I I know. That's that's, that's the joke. Want to lay down and, and she also talks like Stephen Hawking. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know what Dave's best cartoon is? Is his Pokemon one. His Pokemon Go one. That one's arguably even worse. Oh, no, Chris, put on his Pokemon Go one now. <laughs> this is too. This is embarrassing. Dude, this is, this is a, it's like a nice John looking cartoon. Thanks. But it's endearing. John, cause he's a zombie now. Oh. Uh. Yeah, this is bad. Ooh, Rick brains on the pavement. <laughs> <laughs> How long ago is this? Sure am, Chris. This is- what's horrifying is this isn't even that long ago. This <laughs> I finished this in 2017. <laughs> oh, she had a foot plug. Yeah. 
Whoa. Yes, she had funny abs in her inventory. Dude, no offense, oh this is very God. immature. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you think jumping <laughs> rock? That's the main joke, is immature, Chris. <laughs> Chris and Jill are exploring the Spencer uh, Mansion. I like when she gets pushed down the stairs in, stairs in her wheelchair. Jill, Jill's being kind of a downer. Maybe Chris can cheer her up. Jill, zombies See, lie all the there time. you go. They say everybody makes bad cartoons, maybe. I love how we're only halfway through the fucking video. Jesus Christ, Dave. <laughs> uh, I made it nice and long. I wanted to give people substance. Okay, I'm on your new grounds. So now I'm going to look up. Pokemon Go to the Poles. I think that's what it's called. Uh, okay. Something is Pokemon Go make friends. <laughs> and the, the Japanese subtitle below it says try not to get. <laughs> <laughs> this is LOL worthy. This is... This is like I'm being punished for all the previous sins I've committed in my life for this one moment right now. Come get free Pokemon. I like how Chris is like explaining it as if he's a reaction channel. Yeah, it is. It's very he's embarrassing. He's shoving his ass on the window? He's using Pokemon Go to lure in victims. <laughs> But the child wants the Pokemon really bad. Ooh, this isn't bad. <laughs> He's evil. This would have scared me as a kid. <laughs> Oh, he's fucking him. Hey, you stole my punchline, asshole. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> this, is, this, is where it's, this is where it makes you all. <laughs> he's gonna fuck him now, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, the Masada. <laughs> Don't say Topia, no. Yeah, see, it's the best one. I fucking love that you, you, you did a gotcha. He's not gonna rip. No, he is gonna rip. <laughs> uh. See, it is, it is funny, Dave. You gotta appreciate your stuff once in a while. That one's held up better than the Resident Evil one by a country mile, but it's still <laughs> all really mile. embarrassing. Oh, it's painful, and I got poisoned. If you could have a 2% increase in your IQ, but you had to have big bolts coming out of your neck and a big scar across your brain... <laughs> Just you for 2%? No. No. Why? No. Why not? Why? Because I don't want to look like that. That's not enough. Oh, Tomar, for you, 3% <laughs> three, three point increase. No! no I would do it for a 50 point increase. 50? No, 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 that's like ridiculously high. Exactly, I wouldn't yeah. do it for nothing small. I, I would, it would have to be pretty drastic. If you want to bolt through my neck. Permanent bolts. No, no, two bolts coming your neck like Frankenstein and a big scar across your head, but... Yeah, no. I better be a, like an actual genius. And... <laughs> Wouldn't it suck if the guy just... For just like the... four more IQ points? Yeah. Seriously? That'll make... You can file taxes like a little bit faster or something with that. <laughs> That's stupid. Okay, what about ten? That's quite a bit. No. Still not enough. The difference between 90 and 100 is quite a bit, so that's plus ten. Ten? Uh, no. That's quite a bit. What about fifteen? That's a, that's a real. Yeah, I'll offer you a lot with fifteen. I want no minimum <laughs> like thirty-five. No, twenty. Final offer twenty. <laughs> I offer not taken. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not fair, dude. Okay. <laughs> what, what the if, hell? What if it's just a scar across your head, uh, but no bolts going in your neck? Uh, well, where on my head? It's I'll, like it's like down the then center. Then I take like twenty. Okay. Where is it? It's like from your middle of your forehead to the back of your head. No, it's like down geez. that way. But but you can grow your hair out. But I can't. People will because I'm me. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Give him a free hair transplant. How many? Okay, that's yeah, throw it in. That's it throw it in. With that's free. throw it in. Oh, okay, yeah. I do that for like ten. For, free, free after you eat your hair transplant. Okay. I do that for ten points. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, if there's if there's like a mad scientist in Russia out there, what am I supposed to? The do? offer is that he'll take it. Well, I'll take it. <laughs> Professor Hersvich. I'm Professor Hersvich. Professor Akus Hersvich. Why did I do that? That was my only cover. That Damn sounds, it. There's a lot of other things that would probably make me not want to take a surgery that involved cutting my entire head open. <laughs> I just thought about that a little more. <laughs> okay. Oh how many? God. How many? Um. How many IQ points would you have to go up? How much money would you have to get? Um. For you to have the phrase, Tomar number one, carved into your forehead. <laughs> Tomar number one? Yeah. I'd like that. I'd do that I'm to not, me for free. Uh, no. For how much money? 
Yeah, come on, Tomar. For me? Yeah, it's a Tomar number one If I'm going to do anything that involves, like, <laughs> permanently altering my body and affecting my potential, like, employability, well, I mean, that, it's got to be enough to, like, still, live on. That would instill confidence in any employer you got interviewed by. No, it would not. No, because they'd be suddenly when a guy When a guy walks Tomar, into Tomar, an interview Tomar. and it says his name number one, Tomar. they're going to think you're psychotic. You're not yeah. listening. When you go into McDonald's and it's red, that subconsciously makes you hungrier. That is. What right? does that have to do with anything? It's not, no, right? Do you agree with that? That that's a real thing that you like. They make. I've heard about that. Okay. I don't so, know if it's so even. When, when you I can't in, say that the color red definitely makes me hungry. But the hungrier. But when you're getting an interview, you're got, the guy's like he's not concentrating on it. He's thinking. Subconsciously yes, he's concentrating on it. It's carved on my no, forehead. No, but it's subconscious. How can he not it's subconscious because he's talking to you, but he's thinking in his head. Ooh, Tomar number one. Why am I thinking that? He. That's stupid. You're you're full of shit. That would never work. I'm not afraid of you. So how much would you have to get paid to do put over one on your forehead? Like a, it would have to be enough that I don't have to worry about nobody ever wanting to hire me again. Like fourteen thousand dollars? What? No. <laughs> I'm talking about like at least a million dollars that I could invest. Fourteen thousand dollars and all of the Avengers Funko Pops. No. Yes, worth it. dude. Yeah. Dude, you can't fucking say yeah. no, please, Tomar. Yeah. No, please. all the Avengers Funko Pops. What? And a million dollars. Okay. Then I'll do it. Okay, that a million dollars really to have Tomar. Able, okay, that's a deal. Tomar. Yeah. Okay. Tomar. 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 No, I think I would take a million. Tomar. For that. Wait, the the Hulk <laughs> Funko Pops bigger than the rest. So. Tomar. Tomar. I'm Tomar. Tomar. All of them. Tomar. Tomar. You're not listening. Not listening. The Hulk, Chris, say it with me. The Hulk Funko Pop is bigger than the rest. But, but, but so what? I'm getting the Hulk You're one not too. Listen, dude, wait, are you listening? Wait, 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 wait. Pause, Listen. pause the game, Chris. Pause the game. <laughs> it won't let me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you guys going? Okay, with this? now go. Okay, it's very simple. Chris, you and I have to. The Hulk Funko Pop, you have to say it with me, Chris. The Hulk, the Hulk Funko, Funko Pop, Pop is, is bigger, bigger than, than the, the rest. rest. Okay, now, the, does Hulk, that, the Hulk Funko Pop is bigger than the rest. Period. End of, end, of, end of statement. Do you understand why that means anything? Because the, the, I mean, the Hulk's bigger than the Thank other. Thank you. Thank Avengers. Okay. All right. What? Really? Thank you. Clap what emoji. What the hell? Let's move on. That's all I needed to hear. Clap emoji. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Clap emoji. I'm glad we stopped everything for that. <laughs> okay, Tomar, I'll be your AI again. All right, Tomar. Uh, Tomar here. I'm the computer salesman. I just here. I, I built you this AI. Uh, here you go. Wait. Wait, when was that gonna be a plot? That's <laughs> thank, right, right now. Uh, thank you for the AI. Well, that's How do be, I turn well, it that'll on? That'll be ten thousand. Hey, 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 hey. That'll be ten thousand dollars. Excuse I don't, me. I don't, I, don't, I don't work for free, dude. Wait. You, you you invited you, me here. You commissioned you said me. I, you said I have you an AI for you to pick up. You commissioned me. That's not how I remember. <laughs> Anyways, you can see the AI here. Go ahead, ask it a question. <laughs> Disable the security sensor uh, uh, look Hey AI. Um. Hmm? How the heck am I supposed to reach huh? them? What do you think is going to be the ending of the Avengers game? <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of Avengers games. Which one are you talking the, about? The, yeah, wait, wait, wait. wait the one to, that was released more, in 2020. I built this. You have to be more specific. It's not. It's, it's, oh. not, it's not. It's not a fortune teller. You have to. You have, you have to, to ask like yes and no questions. Uh, like what? No, are you, no, no. You have to be mean about it. But no, you, you, you can ask. Be kind of specific you, to you, me. You, you can see. So he just. He just said. You want to say that again? AI just. Explain you want to be to kind of specific to me? You want to be kind of specific to me? That's what I. And I made him say that. By the way, I put that in. <laughs> so if you just ask him something. What do you mean you made him say that? I thought he's artificially intelligent. Bleep, blur, bleep. Yeah, but I did pro I did like uh I gave him a personality, you know. I see. I see. Hey, I, 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 I see I put, I put I put a funny chip in a watch. Uh, hey, okay. Hey, 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 AI. Uh what is uh do you know what DNA is? Uh dynamite pormorbic acid. See? So he does jokes too. So go but anyways, ask him a question. Sounds like he kinda just like muffled it because he couldn't remember the exact words. I don't, you're making accusations. That's all that's, part of the humor drive, Tomar. I think I think that's uh is, that your, is kinda comical. And he knows your name too, and I'll tell you something else. Uh he does know what he's talking about, so ask him another question. Go on. Anything you want. Anything your heart desires. Anything's on the internet, I know it. All right. The uh, cloud, as they say. All right. Um, what's the difference between an igneous rock and, uh... I can't remember any of that kind of... Metamorph... Metamorph... Yeah, yeah, that one, and the uh, other one. Igneous is, like, uh, hard, and the other one's not. See? <laughs> <laughs> See, and so I... Wait, wait, so, so I built this... This cost me my entire life, and I built this thing, and now you're talking to it. That's for, that's impressive, but I'm not giving you ten thousand dollars. Well, that was twenty thousand. The ten thousand is just up front. That's just that's the first payment. 
That's the first installation Wait, payment. <laughs> you agree? You agreed uh, 50 months of consecutive $10,000 a month consecutively. For 50 months? For 50 months, that's right. That's a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't- hey, I, I, I know, but I, I had to build this thing. I wasted a lot- I had to sell my house to build this AI. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go do that? Why'd you go and do that for? <laughs> it's bright and beautiful outside. I got hero challenge cards! Yes! Loot! Yes! Loot! Oh, fuck, I love loot. <laughs> on the days where I can barely crawl out of bed, all you gotta do is wave some loot in front of me and I'll jump out, I'll spring out of bed. So basically, I think this is a good time for Dave to tell his story. It sucks, but a while ago, me and Jeff started going to the gym, so I just like loaded up on like infinite protein bars and like peanuts and all sorts of stuff, and ate no vegetables and drank very little water, <laughs> and got massively constipated and filled with like Dave, all sorts of stuff. Dave, you had like a four-year-old sense of fucking losing weight. You were like, I'm gonna gain muscles by eating protein. I it was working. I gained a lot of weight. It was awesome. But then not being able to shit is not awesome. What the <laughs> hell, Dave? You fucking ruined the story. Well, how's it ruined? You skipped ahead. There's so much to this story. I just remember seeing you. You were making like peanut butter protein smoothies that smelled like, oh, yeah, that like crazy true. peanut butter. I mean, yeah, I was doing a lot of shit. I was doing a lot of shit to have this all happen and like uh, then it backfired. Yeah, then it didn't work. No, and so, yeah. uh, that sucks. That's how I felt. The dawn of the final day. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking explode. Yeah, so essentially Dave... What? Had like a turd that had scratched the inside of his colon that inflamed it. Oh my because god. Because he had eaten too much peanuts. <laughs> because you can't process peanuts like other things. They're kind of like corn. And I don't think Dave realized that. And again, Dave didn't eat a lot of like vegetables and stuff. Yeah, like, so he just no stopped fruit. on peanuts and meat. And before that, we went to fucking Fogo de Chao, which is an expensive steakhouse where we stuffed ourselves with steak. So Dave had a pound of meat along with a pound of peanuts. Oh. That's right, we did go to the thing, yeah. yeah. and then he just hibernated one day. Oh, and then Dave, that was not a good time. I, I, for a long time, Dave was like, keep it on the hush-hush, <laughs> but I haven't been able to shit for two days. And it's the equivalent of, like, like Play-Doh squeezing between a giant fucking rock. And I'm like, that's disgusting. Oh my but god. But essentially, it sucks. I had to go with Jeff, and Jeff took me in, and he took me to CBS. Yeah. Oh yeah, I want to tell the story just getting this, so I, I was like, alright, I've just got to get an enema, it sucks, but this is just gotta happen. <laughs> yeah, you told me. This is like a horrible time. You know what, it's funny, when you built it up like you needed to take an enema, I thought I was gonna come downstairs and there's gonna be feces fucking sprayed everywhere. No, it's only like that picture that I showed Tom where the guy just sprays shit all over the wall and he's like passed out. <laughs> like, yeah, I thought you'd be on your bed with an ass of shit leaning all the way to the bathroom, no. <laughs> but, so I went to get this thing and it's already embarrassing. Whoa. And I take it up to the counter, and the dude, uh, I put the box down, the enema thing, and the guy, like, looks at it, I'm like, yep, not a great day for me. And then, like, he laughs, and I've, I've officially de-escalated the situation. By and shooting your enema juice at him? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at me, he looks at me, and he uh. says, how am I, how am Super Mario? I was like, but that doesn't show. <laughs> no, I'm not like sick of him. He jammed two fingers at you and yanked out the. No. Okay. He he said about him that Super Mario, and I was like, I looked at myself to see if I was wearing any Mario clothes, and I was like, what? And he was like, he's like, yeah, you know where I can get, you know, some like shrooms. What? And then it, I pieced it together. Super Mario is like a drug term for like shrooms. Is it really? What? I mean, like like shrooms, Super Mario mushrooms. Uh oh. This is a doctor. Oh. And I was like, no, I don't. And then he looked down and he was really awkward about it. It's like, you fucking, you, that is not fucking fair. I, I made buying a damn enema not awkward and you had to ask me for fucking drugs. Yeah, I don't what take the fuck? Everyone asks Dave because you always, you look like the kind of guy who'd be stocking up. I'm a skinny white guy with long hair. I look like I do drugs, but I don't. I only smoke cigarettes and, which is a drug. Well, oh, uh, you, you're going to take it there. Dave, you kind of look like Jesus to me. Specifically, <laughs> okay. yeah, you do look good. I'm glad. You look like Jesus. Jesus and Moses mixed together. Say whatever you want to her. Who's it who? My lesbian lover from abroad. Okay. I thought she might have blocked me, but I guess we're still friends on Instagram. I mean, Snapchat. I said, I hope all is well, my beautiful biscuit. Here. My beautiful baguette. <laughs> yeah, call her that. Call her your beautiful baguette. <laughs> I hope all is well, my beautiful baguette. Yeah. I missed thine scent. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs>
<laughs> I missed nine cent. Yeah, and your girls. Say and your girls. And... This... Say gams, it'll make you sound like foreign and exotic to her. Well, how do you spell gans? What the fuck does G-A-M-S, gams. It's I'm like just... an old 1950s, like, hey, toots, let me see them gams. Oh. oh! I said I miss your... I miss thine scent and the gams of your. Ask her if she's down for nudes. <laughs> Anyway, you down for nudes? <laughs> That's a perfect text right there. <laughs> you're, you're so talented at this. Thank you. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm not saying that. Why? <laughs> you say it. Okay. There you go. You crazy guy. I want to take a picture of myself and say nudes. <laughs> 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 Should I save this? <laughs> yeah. Alright, on three, boys. One, two, three. <laughs> oh my god. Did you actually you send that? that? Yeah. Oh, you sick man. Oh, oh you wild motherfucker. <sighs> what, what, what can I lose? She doesn't talk to me anyways, and maybe she'll send me a nudie. <laughs> <laughs> what happens in Lego City stays in Lego City. Yeah. yeah. Dude, this is like maybe the worst game. <laughs> 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 So, what should be our first fucking achievement in Minecraft? Uh, let's build- I think we need to come up with some bold, uh, like, end, end goal here. Yeah, we need a place to, to put the sewage. It's gonna keep piling up if we don't get it somewhere. Yeah, let, let, let's make that our first endeavor. Alright, so we're gonna create a working sewer system. <laughs> yeah, yes, please. What if the actual laser came out of the TV screen to the real world of Blind and Lyle? I can't wait for 40 elements like that on my PSP. Your PSP? <laughs> I, used to, I think every kid in my school used their PSP for porn. Really? I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, you could put MP4s on it. Rural Christian. So they were like downloading porn and putting their porn on their PSP? Yeah, and bringing them into school and showing each you other. Remember, you remember when uh, our friend got fined $5,000 because he downloaded <laughs> porn? Are we allowed to say that? Uh, maybe not. Maybe I don't think you'd that. want people knowing that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really funny story. Yeah, you should probably cut it. It's really sad. He doesn't deserve that. Uh, was, I said, who the f I said, dude, who fucking downloads porn? You like, oh, I shouldn't have looked at it doing it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, downloaded it from where? I some porn website, and apparently the- uh, I'm okay. Some, some company found out that he did that. It sent him a check in the mail for a, fi a fine for a fee for 5,000 bucks. That's crazy. You think you can stand? Yeah, probably cut that out, sir. We can bleep his name, that's actually like a really fascinating it's story. It's true, it's true, I, I was talking about what happens. I don't remember if he, if he ended up paying it or if he ended up saying fuck you or what. Yeah, that's really weird. So, he downloaded it from like... I, I, I don't, I can't, it was, this was years ago. How... But I mean, if you go to a porn site and you download porn, that would insinuate you bought it, right? Or... No. He torrented it. Oh, he torrented I, porn? It might have been he torrented it, yeah. Has there ever been a, a, like a famous flea? No. Well, I mean, the guy from fucking Red Hot Chili Peppers, but I don't no, think no, that I think counts. I think he's talking about the little insect. I'm talking about the little, like, little bugoid. The little bug, yeah, the little bugling. Yeah, no, pretty sure not. Alright, um, let's come up with a new character. What's his name? Fucko the Flea. No, oh, can't use that, not no, brandable. That, also inappropriate, you can't put that at chalkrobot.com slash honey place. about, uh, f uh, Finbar the Flea? The, yeah, fin Finbar the, Finbar the, the funny flea. The fantastically funny flea. Okay. <laughs> Finbar the fantastically <laughs> funny flea. <laughs> what does he do? Yeah. He causes lesions on dogs. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah. There, it's like, there's like a Sylvester. He cuts uh, open dogs and he Tweety tells us he does stand up into the wound of the dog. He goes, hello down there. No, wait, actually. <laughs> hello down there. Man. Hello down there. Fantastically funny. Man. <laughs> and he looks like the flea from a bug's life, except ours is better. Except ours is like worse graphics. Really, it's really bad. It looks like Gaither's Pond. Ours has a funny what is little. Gaither's Pond. Oh, I love Gaither's Pond. <laughs> Lyle, you've really well, not seen We need seen... to watch Gaither's Pond. Yeah. This isn't real. It is. Uh, no, not only is it real, it, it'll be one of your uh, well, favorite Well, are you things. editing this? Maybe. If you're editing this, uh, bring up Gaither's Pawn and then, uh, it, with text, uh, post your reaction to it. <laughs> <laughs> no, Lyle, put in a webcam video of you, you have to film yourself reacting to it. And then walk into the bathroom and start pissing into the toilet. <laughs> and, then, and then leave the camera and keep going, and then you like, go, go make a sandwich and don't wash your hands. <laughs> <laughs> and scratch your, scratch your ass, and then you watch 
Like it smells finger. Smells wow. fingers. Watch something on Netflix for That's a little bit. That's like actually not a bad smell. Fuck! I wonder what that tastes like. <laughs> this <is> more toilet <laughs> humor. <laughs> We're on a bad roll tonight. <laughs> yeah, Lyle sticks his fingers up his ass and, and he sucks it. That's that's great. Hi, bro. Really great stuff here. Pe- people like work long. Fuck. People are stressed. They have no money. They're working long hours. Or they're not probably eating all. cereal. Listening probably to eating this. cereal. They're, yeah, they're, they're not even laughing. This is they. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I stopped watching around that episode where they're talking about Lyle digging his ass. It already wasn't very funny, and then they started talking about just eating like shit off his fingers. I don't know. <laughs> the whole thing had to do with Gaither's <laughs> Pond. NBA drafts Buddy Greenfly. <laughs> That's great. Gloria Gladiola gets million dollar book advance. She'll love that. Is this the Best first episode? Guzman yeah. Runs for pond president. This is gonna be my best newsletter ever! What the fuck is this? <laughs> what you doing? This is like what I was saying, when I said like a bug? I bet like that. Oh, like this guy? <laughs> Hello, I am the frog bassist. <laughs> That's a good new character. What does he do? He plays frogs. He <laughs> eats frogs before he his He uses set. his natural low bassy throat to create a bassy melody, which the other lake creatures join in with a large band I like this guy more than the frog guy. I like the guy explaining it more than the frog. <laughs> you like the narrator <laughs> the, character. The, the, the YouTube yeah. channel. We the, gotta the, zoom out and he's the main character now. <laughs> just just kidding, it's me. So there's all these different pond creatures The guy who, who explaining, this is like the video essay where it's like, the frog, the frog is actually... Yeah, it, yeah. It's, he's explaining it to a little kid in the library and they're like, what? You're weird. And the parent pulls them away. And that guy pulls in a mu- giant fucking tail. Life. Yeah. I'm just imagining like an old Stay dirty away guy. From my fucking child. He's like pitching this idea to his local church. And if we all work together, we could probably get this done within. And then a big fat southern guy stands up, and we'll call it Gaither's Pond. <laughs> that fateful day. If you had a supercomputer, like uh, we had the best AI ever on it, right? And if you asked it, who out there definitely wants me to die, right? And you searched and it showed you every person that definitely wants you to die. And not as a joke. Not as a joke, right? Not yeah. as a bit. Now, not as a bit, yeah. one night you're out driving around on your Harley Davidson in the desert, and you pull yeah. into a gas station, and you go for a wee, and then standing next to you in the urinal is the guy that wants you dead, but he hasn't noticed you yet, right? Right? Yeah, yeah, he yeah. He slips on piss, cracks his head on the sink, and now he's passed out, right? So now, you can tie him to the back of your Harley Davidson and drive, drive him out into the woods. And now, what do you do? Wait, so I've already made the decision to tie his feet to the back of my motorcycle and drag him, like, five miles? <laughs> yeah, but his, uh, biker jacket is keeping him safe, like... So his head's not, like, hitting- his head's not, like, He's like, completely safe, and you're bringing him to the... to the cabin. So he doesn't become, like, tomato soup yet, No, he's him. completely safe inside of his cool biker jacket. So I've already jacket. made the decision to fucking kidnap the guy. Yes, because you know that he wants to kill you. He just hasn't noticed you yet, and he passed out. But Do how you... can I explain to anyone that I know he wants to you kill me? You can't. You- only your supercomputer knows that. So what- what's the- I, what do I torture him? Is what you're asking? What do you do? At all? Is he awake? No. Yes. And by the way, you asked your computer, like, what does this guy want to do? Oh, he wants to, like, cut you up and he wants to, like, murder you and, and, like, torture you and cut your fingers off and cut your nose off, cut your ears off, cut your dick off, and cut your ass cheeks off, and your fingers and your toes. Gotcha. And that, blind you. That, well, that definitely isn't good. So, what I would do is probably. Well. What, so you're saying, I, I, am I allowed to do that back to him? Am I allowed to you do- You can do whatever the fuck you want. Uh... I would skin him alive. <laughs> and then wear his skin and become him. That's a cool power fantasy and all, but what would you actually then, really listen, do? Listen, I would skin him alive, and then I would wear his skin, and then say I'm that guy and ruin his life, and then put his skin back on. And he'd be like a big red meat guy, and he'd go, What'd you do to my skin? And I'd be, I'd be like, shut up, and I'd knock him out again, and I'd put the skin back on him, and then I'd send him back on his way, and then nobody would believe him that I, he, I wore his skin. Yeah, but he remembers. Well, that's why I take apart. I I I remove part of his brain. <laughs> you lobotomize yeah, him. I lobotomize him and then send him back out into the world. Okay. So See, Zach, I don't think that's a serious answer. I don't think you do that. You don't think I'd really skin the I guy alive? I don't think you'd really do that. Um. All right, then I would just chop his head off and and uh, kick it around. I think that's a very difficult question. I don't know what I'd do. Well, it's a hard hypothetical because I've already fucking kidnapped him, <laughs> and he's got like brain. I've already committed a crime. 
Like, there's a guy out there that you 100% know for certain would kill you if he ran into you and had the jump on you. Exactly, so why have I taken him into my house where he's gonna wake up and instantly kill me? He's tied up, you tied him up. So I've tied- exactly, but if I let him go, he's definitely gonna kill me now. Exactly! Cause he wanted to kill me! What would you do? It's such a scary question. I'd fucking kill him then, I guess. You would kinda have to, but you don't want to. I, I, would, I would have to kill him cause I kidnapped him, but I didn't have to kidnap him. <laughs> if I saw the guy slip, I would just leave. <laughs> Because I've already kidnapped him, which means he's gonna kill- But I that means he's still out there, and you know he'd still kill you if you ran into him again. Wait, when you say he would kill me, does yes. he want to kill me? Yes, or he, he wants you or dead. Or he actually would kill me if he could. He, he would kill you, and he wants to kill you. Well, Zach thinks, Law, what would you do? Uh... I, I'd kill him, motherfucker. <laughs> Jesus, you're yeah. psycho. Yeah, man. I mean, you you came up with this scenario. I'm just ordering from the menu. I just think it's a good hypothetical. What the fuck? What would you do? What would you do? I don't think there's really, like, realistically any way to know 100% that someone will kill you. If somebody is, like, actively threatening you, then they've made the threat, and if they had... If I look Bill at Gates the has... He's gone online and said, My super supercomputer is 100% accurate with its predictions. He's not lying. He's he's got his hand on a Bible but saying what, that. But what if the guy that made the computer hates this guy and is trying to do 40 chests to get me to kill his enemy by oh, making me think? Fucked. You know what I mean? That's a scary ending. Yeah, see. That's a good twist. That's a good Black Mirror episode. That's a really good Black. Hey, that, Charlie, whatever the fuck, don't Charlie steal Hebdo, that. Charlie Hebdo, fucking that's don't steal our idea. idea, and it's worth a lot of money. So and don't I know steal you've it. already done Facebook becomes evil and Twitter becomes evil, but don't steal our good idea, okay? Yeah. You fucking idiot. Yeah. Don't you, steal AI becomes evil. That's yeah, that's a new idea. <laughs> <laughs> Commenter, I want you to explain what you do, and I want you to start with would or wouldn't, and I want a big long paragraph of why. Yeah, that's that's, that's a, your homework. Yeah, and the 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 more votes one gets, the the more reasonable we'll think yeah, it is. Exactly, and then we'll we'll come back with a really measured response. We'll steal the top comment. And just say it, and pretend like it's our idea, and then delete that comment. Also, like the video for would kill him, and dislike it for wouldn't. That's actually a good way to, to gauge that, that only we would see. <laughs> that way they don't know if we're, like, buckling the popular opinion or not, which we definitely would. I like this idea. Yeah, no, it's pretty cool. This is a video game. <laughs> it sure is. This is what you immediately think of whenever you hear the term. It's the Atari 2600, and it defines the word classic. What are you reading? Nothing. His memories, his opinions and thoughts and, and minds. Even though the games are so simple and the graphics so primitive, it has a charm that will Chris, never be matched. Chris, can we matched. go back to- we, we all- we, we went out to just get food right now, we thought of an update on oh, the- Oh yeah, on yeah, the yeah, hypothetical. Do you wanna say it, Chris? Do you wanna propose? Well, I was asking our other friend at dinner, Jack, about the same hypothetical to see what he would say, Which, and then- by, by the way, just to refresh the hypothetical- The hypothetical was, if you had a supercomputer <laughs> that could definitely 100% like, accurately tell you that there's a certain list of people out in the world that want to kill you if they run into you. Uh, so, so just to be clear, the computer is a it is accurate, there's no trick. It knows these people want to kill you, and it's given you a list, and right? It would, and they would kill you if, if, if they, they ran into you. If they ran into you. So the hypothetical was, <laughs> if you were out in a gas station bathroom, and the, one of the killers walked up next to you, started pissing, and didn't right, did, they didn't see you yet, but they slipped and, <laughs> and passed out <laughs> on the ground, and you got to kidnap them, and, and bring them, them up, and you tied them up, and, and put bring them, them back to a cabin. No, wait, okay, just, let, let's take the, <laughs> let's take that out of the equation. No, but that, that was what Zach was getting to. That was, that was what he, he was- he found a way to fix it and make it better. <laughs> Which was just- why- I- because I- when you were asking it initially, I thought you were gonna ask, the guy slips and hits his head, and it's like- it's like a Breaking Bad, like, like, Walter White Jane thing, where it's like, do you- do you, like, tip his head away from the pee and let him drown in pee, or do you let him live? <laughs> but then you said you, like, have a, like, a- you cut his hands and feet off with a knife, then take him back to your cabin. Okay, the yeah. question is no longer what would you do, the question is how do we fix this hypothetical? You know what we're well, going I for. I still think my hypothetical works slightly better. Better because Lyle, you you also said that uh, if they're just gonna die on their own, then that's not really a moral question on you. Really, right. you, you're saving a murderer. Like you probably still would do that, but you wouldn't because you know they're gonna kill. Yeah. Exactly. No, but, so but it need it needs to be a scenario where you we, have we, to actively kill them, or you can leave them be. No, no, and no. You'll or be just fine. or just they're gonna die. Do you save them? 
No, I wouldn't save them. I feel like that's exactly. too easy. Yeah, it's too easy. But, 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 but is it, though? Okay, okay, fine, 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 fine. They're laying there unconscious, but you can tilt their head, and they choke on the pee like Jake. Like exactly <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Jake. See, that's better. So you can kill them, but it's just tilting their head to the left. You're not, like, strangling them. Yeah, honestly, I don't know why I included the whole cabin part. You could just do this all in the bathroom and leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, th I think, you're, yeah, we, we need to decomplicate this scenario. I, I guess so I was being you... slightly more realistic, because if you did it in the bathroom, you got caught on security or get seen or so something. So would you tilt his head and make him choke on the pee? Um, like there's pee in his mouth, but then he's like laying on the side. But if you tilt his head all back, all and see, then he, if so, if, see, if, this if, is her jumping on the pee. What the fuck was <laughs> happening? Whoa, that, that does look kind of cool, honestly. It does look kind of like my pee. Yeah, this is this is the last thing that they'll see before you drown them in pee. If you uh... see, I still don't know if I would or not. You wouldn't I'd, turn their head and drown them in pee? I'd feel too bad, but then also, as soon as I leave, I'd be, like, regretting it. I'd be like, God damn it, that guy's still out there, he's gonna kill me, he's a murderer. Am I breathing underwater? But then if I did it, I'd be like, what the hell, how am I supposed to know if the, if the AI was lying or not? Oh. I, I, that's, I, mean, that's, I that's, think that's, that's the biggest problem with the hypothetical is you said that the guy isn't lying, <laughs> but how do we know that? He could've been lying to you to, to trick you into killing. I, I don't know, you just, okay, okay, you have I, to really trust it, I don't know. Okay, uh, what, what if instead of, because this is also the problem, if, if you know a guy will kill you hypothetically. Okay, let, let's ch let's change it from a computer then. Let's say, let's say you meet this guy and he kills you, and then you wake up, like, five years earlier. Yeah. Uh, and so you know it's gonna happen, it's like, you, you, you live the exact same yes, day. Would, then you would, definitely yes. would. Then you definitely would. Or, or, what if you know he killed somebody else already? Let's say, let's say well, there no, was a- Well, no, then he's, then he's already killing and you know he's gonna kill you, now no, he's no, like- No, 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 I'm saying he, you don't know he's gonna kill you. Let's say he, like, tr like cut, cut old face off and, like, made a nice <laughs> apple pie of it, and, like, did a little jig and- Then like, I would, he then, danced, yeah. like, He danced like Pennywise on her Ooh, dead body. you're good. Thank you. And then, uh, <laughs> and that, so, so he's definitely already done it. He's like the old lady. That still makes it too easy. He's the so old lady would, hatchet then. killer. Yeah. Okay, how about this? What if, uh, you accidentally hacked his cool email and, uh, he was sending emails to himself saying, I'm definitely gonna do it. I'm going to kill Zach Hadel. Uh, was there anything else in the emails that was of interest? Pictures of you with knives photoshopped in your heart and head. And he definitely made it? Uh, yeah, he signed it. So his Hotmail account has me dead on it. Yeah. But then again, he might just be a <laughs> who's just like taking it out on you, just be like, joking. healthily as a joke. <laughs> okay, but okay, okay, I-, I Yeah, just, like I'm when gonna... you talk about fucking Kevin, Kevin Smith's chest, that's which not a I real would, which, which I would, by the way, which, which I think is what <laughs> That's not a the, joke, I would do that. I would do that, and I think that's what gave him the panic attack, by the way. I think you're right. So Chris, let's say same thing to you. Yeah. You hack his email, and there's 99 pictures of him photoshopping like a big, uh, uh, fire in the sky needle into your eye. <laughs> Guys, I got a way to fix the hypothetical. What's- how do you fix it? You're out in your backyard, you're drinking Diet Fanta. Look, 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 look. Right, you look up, you see a green flash. A big meteor crashes in your backyard, killing your dog. And, uh, inside of the meteor, is this is this computer right? You're like hmm, and you bring it in, you put it on your kitchen table, and now you turn on the computer and you see you in real time, right? And now you can I would put, immediately close it at that moment. No, you in real time, and then you put your hand on the mouse, and you can like you can scroll around and look around you in real time from different angles. You can zoom out into the world and fly around and look at things I would going assume on. I've gone fucking crazy already <laughs> by this point. I assume like dying or like even a like a daydream. No, but you're able to fly around the world in real time. You're able to go anywhere. You can type in France. Now you're in France, looking around. What's going on? You could say rewind by. <laughs> 10 seconds, and you see what happened 10 seconds ago. Go into the future, 10 seconds, and you see 10 seconds of the future, right? This thing is confirmed that it is absolutely accurate, and, uh, there's no reason to believe it's not. So it's like the computer from that show. By, yeah, uh, by the uh, show Pewter, right. <laughs> yeah, pew, yeah, Pewter. <laughs> Pewter. <laughs> Pewter. But, uh, yeah, you, you, you can ask it anything, and it always gets it right. You're like, what's two plus two? It's like four point one. You have a god like, computer. Oh my god, that's amazing. You have a god computer. Yes, you got the god computer from the aliens, and it works. So now you're like, you can ask it anything, and you could say, does anyone out there want to kill me? And it's like, here is forty two people that definitely would kill you if given the chance. And and what do I do? See, so what do I do with that knowledge? And you're, you're like, saying? what? You're like, what's the closest one? It's like there is one thirty meters walking outside with their dog. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, oh my god. See, in this scenario, I'd assume the aliens want me to kill my neighbor and, like, lock me away. No, well, but, but you, you've had this computer for, like, 
Let's say you've had it for 20 years now, and, and then you decide to ask you that question. It's been accurate every time. It's been accurate for 20 fucking years. You've won millions of dollars with the lottery. You can trust this thing. Would I... No, because the person's walking their dog. If I run out to them... And now they slip on pee. Bring back the pee. I think we're almost there. This is like one of those puzzles <laughs> where you're just like trying to... F <laughs> I, I feel like it's it's very clear what we're trying to ask. Yes. And we just want you to think about it. I could for totes eat a boig. Oh, yeah? I could totes eat a boig. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm hungry. Do you want to go somewhere or do you just want to order something? There's a roach down in the garage on his back. We could eat that, yeah. Have to cut it up though. Cut up the roach yeah. into three portions. Yeah. And now I, would you would you split it evenly or would you do like the Tom and Jerry thing where you like you like try to take a bigger cut for yourself and then and then me and Zach would each divide it differently and then we'd have a big fight. I feel like because- Are you talking about if Chris slipped on a urinal and hit his head? It's yeah. It's called Oni Place, so I would take half and you guys would get a quarter. So we're talking like Chris, uh, Chris slips on a urinal, hits his head, now he wants to kill you and you know that. Yeah. Wow. And, and what would I do? Yeah. Well, I would skim alive. <laughs> Corey, uh, come up with a new DLC for Resident Evil 2, go. Yeah, Corey, expand on the story, the lore. Okay. Alright, let's- okay, here, we'll, we'll help you build it. You play as- in this DLC, you play as what? Go ahead, go. Ash Redfield. Ash Redfield, <laughs> alright. The new relative to Chris that no one knew about. <laughs> Perfect. Alright, he's- he's- he's four foot five, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and what, what's he doing? Where is he in Raccoon City? What's he doing there? He's not in Raccoon City. He Where? happens to be visiting a zoo when the outbreak happens. <laughs> but the outbreak happens. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, he's four foot five. He's at the zoo. Is he a child? <laughs> <laughs> no. How old? Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. He is. He accidentally falls into the he's the Chris's silverback. Little, he's silverback. Chris. <laughs> <laughs> he's Chris's little cousin, Ash Redfield. And he's at the zoo, miles away from the outbreak <laughs> happening. He's nowhere. He's yeah. in no danger at all. Suddenly, a silverback really comes out and like picks him up and tosses him at the wall. And then the police all say he must have the T virus. <laughs> Kill him. They start shooting the, the gorilla to death. Which unleashes the bees that start stinging everybody, <laughs> and now the zoo is infected because the, 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 the gorilla. He and this is why when the outbreak that happened, they had no trained officials to handle it. They all died with the, the, the bee outbreak. Trying to save Ash Redfield, of course. This is lore. This lore is beautiful, Corey. Jesus Christ, thank you. <laughs> why, why, why did you say the bees? I don't know. <laughs> Where the fuck did the bees come from when they're shooting the gorilla? The fucking the gorilla was a hive the whole time. <laughs> okay, okay, Corey. Boy, thank you. It wasn't making. It was. Look in my eyes. Look what you did. <laughs> I'm sorry. You fucking bastard. Well, Chris, is, Chris has the the <sighs> crying cat eyes right now from <sighs> laughing. Uh, that was so stupid. It was really <laughs> dumb. <laughs> he gets shot, releasing the bees. <laughs> <laughs> Who said the bees had VT virus at all? <laughs> there is no T-Virus there, Corey saying the bees come out. <laughs> no, the bees are infected Editor, with the T-Virus. I want you to go back and put a countdown timer for when Corey says that until the point where I realize what the fuck I just heard. <laughs> I don't even remember. Oh my god. That was great, Corey. Thank you. You're welcome. By the way, that's just the intro. What happens next? What happens to Ash Redfield's story? <laughs> okay, so after the bee outbreak, <laughs> he goes into a- wait, 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 wait. You're making the DLC here. What's the player doing? The player's just watching Ash Redfield get smashed by gorillas and the bees This is all out. just a 30 minute cutscene that <laughs> you right. can't skip. All right, the game starts. The bees are everywhere. Ash is smashed against the wall dead. You're trying to walk with tank controls as bees bite you, so you can't use your gun. So you, you have to use action commands to knock the bees away so you can blow them away with a shotgun. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, there's more, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Corey. So when you finally get inside, you have to do a, a small mini game with both of the clown music playing. Wait, no. It's like a Home Alone oh, vibe. I don't even know what's going on in this story. Ash Redfield. <laughs> wait, we're gonna wait for this cutscene to shut up. Thanks, sir. <laughs> okay, Ash Redfield. <laughs> He gets a call on his, on his Nokia 3810. <laughs> it's Chris Redfield's big cousin. He says, oh, oh, oh. He says, hello, Chris, uh, Chris Red, my cousin Chris Redfield. And then Chris says, Ash, this is a zombie outbreak and I need your help. <laughs> and, uh, I'm so people with like, I'm 500 miles in a zoo with bees. It's like, I'm sending a drone over to collect you right now. 
He's like, but my mom, my dad. <laughs> the drone comes down with a big fucking claw arm, picks up Ash Redfield from the dungarees and flies <laughs> away the with him. So he brings it. Okay, so he drops uh, it in a raccoon city. Suddenly, a bunch of Antifa starts throwing bottles at the drone child, and he falls into a fucking tree and down the sewer. So and now, now the that's sewer. where the game starts proper. Okay, you finally He's in the start. Sewer system. So the first setting you see is the fucking dreary sewer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's hard to see and anything. After the the perfect perfect first first level. Level. <laughs> It's hard to see anything. You have 15 second after battery your, life that you have to continuously smack your thing to work. After you're emotionally invested in your parents murdered by bees. <laughs> oh, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> That's a game mechanic to smack your light to work. You have to continually smack your butt. I don't think I've ever seen that in a game. That's genius. This is like the worst. Continue. This is the worst fucking idea for yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> When this goes live, Capcom's gonna take you away from the office <laughs> You're gonna be held hostage. What the fuck is this genius? <laughs> okay, so when you run into your. Oh, no, no, Jesus, Jesus oh, Christ. Fuck. Dude, come to the door. Does he have a shotgun with He's the a skin on launcher. it? Mm. Oh my god, okay. Oh. You're, in, so, you're in the jury sewer, the perfect first level. Yeah, you run aesthetic. into your first zombie. You have to make sure that you're not smacking your thing because it also interrupts you being able to shoot your bullets. Uh, oh god. <laughs> He's That's... like, Corey, get back here! <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so you're in the sewer. You're in the sewer. Where, where is Ash going? Why is he in the sewer? What's he's the trying to make his way to Chris? That's like that's like the whole point of the game is Chris is gonna protect you from the zombie outbreak. Yeah, you gotta get to Chris. And so Chris you have needs to your help. He, need, he needs oh, yeah. your like teenage what? or he needs your uh your your tech prowess because you're a fucking with an iPad. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you have an iPad, but broke, so you have to get a new iPad he's from like, your big broke Chris. Five Nights at Freddy's. It scares me too bad. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> your your SpongeBob flashlight keeps going out consistently, so that's why you have to smack it. Okay, Ash is in the sewer. <laughs> um, there's two paths he can go. He looks behind him. There's a big, like, scary dark sewer. <laughs> behind him. And yeah. in front of him, there's a big scary dark sewer. So he has very limited options. Exactly. But one one way, he does hear someone calling his name. That sounds just like Chris Redfield. Like, hello, Chris Redfield. <laughs> I mean, Ash, come Chris this Redfield way. here, definitely me. <laughs> come towards my voice. So if, if you walk. Okay, you walk towards. Boom. It's actually just a mimicking zombie who sounds exactly <laughs> like Chris Redfield. You get your fucking face not off immediately. <laughs> so when you reload the game, you go the other way. Uh, honestly, you're joking, but zombies that talk like people would be a crazy that scary would be really that's fucking scary. scary. That's a really good point. Yeah. There was that movie, The Return of the Living Dead. Yes! Yeah. When they're like, yeah. send more. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. It was really awesome. Oh, God. So, oh my god. It sounds so oh it can my like god. they're like parrots, so they can mimic the voice of the real people. So you'll be walking around, they'll just be like, Ash Redfield, over here! You'll have to avoid all people. <laughs> that, yeah. That's actually good writing. Yeah, <laughs> that's brilliant. I'm trying I'm trying to like think. So when you finally make your way out of the sewers. Wait, wait, how do you get out of the sewers? There has to be some kind of trick. Yeah, what's the event? What's the what's the cinematic event for when you finally get out of the sewers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your reward to watch the cinema. Oh my god! That's oh my scary. god. <laughs> Holy shit, he just fucking bolted towards you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Too bad the loading zone will stop him. And then he immediately bolts towards you right up here. Oh, uh, yeah, then it will be all over. Jesus Christ. Is he running towards you? Oh my god. This is so fucking this scary. This is fucking horrifying. Oh, oh my, my god. god! That's so cool! Go! What the fuck? <laughs> it's scary, this man. Sucks. I love this. Where are you? Uh, hopefully you never run into a dead end. What? What? What is Ash Redfield's greatest challenge? I want to say the fucking like the gorilla shows up in the sewers, <laughs> like pouring bees out of the front of his head because he's like the whole setup was like the bees thing. That's beautiful. But he also mimics Chris Redfield. So yeah. He's like, Ash, it's me, Chris Redfield. But it's a gorilla <laughs> spraying bees at you. Nice. <laughs> and I, I don't. And then you throw your fucking SpongeBob flashlight into him. He explodes. <laughs> he explodes <laughs> and again. More. B we already fucking exploded into Jones. <laughs> he fucking explodes again. <laughs> you throw your SpongeBob flashlight at him. It explodes in nitrous oxide and freezes him solid. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoy a nice popsicle and you have the energy to climb out of the sewer. <laughs> <laughs> you made it way more better. <laughs> Uh, oh, you take the nitrous outside out of the SpongeBob flashlight. You fucking throw it at him. <laughs> no, Holy he's gonna fuck. punch my ass as soon as I click off this text. I dare you to do it. 